All right, PKA, <laughs> episode 335 with our guest Steve Hofstetter. Kyle? you got to give them what they want. you got to give them what they want. Uh, a few advertisements tonight, Casper, Nature Box, Zip Recruiter, uh, and Bowling Branch. You can check down in the uh, description below. Any more details you want to get for them, you want to check on them right now. We're going to talk about them more later in the show. We've got our good friend Steve back with us. Steve, how's it been? Uh, it's good. You know, I really enjoyed my time on the podcast. It was great. Uh, I decided I'd be a little friendly and I went on your subreddit. Uh, and I gotta say almost everyone I interacted with was, was a really, really great person. Uh, except for one piece of shit. Who <laughs> Just one. <laughs> is the moderate, one of the moderators of your subreddit, uh, a total, total piece of garbage, uh, like real, like human excrement. <laughs> he, his comment was that uh, my forehead was too big. That was what he was upset by. So here, let me give you a big view, you piece of garbage. Uh, <laughs> like, a, like a real, how do I describe him? Like a sewer person, you know? <laughs> like, the, like a person that doesn't fit anywhere else in society. And so he's like, I've got to live in the sewer now. And then he's like covered in urine and stink. And by the way, his username is Legitimate Rage, just in case anyone <laughs> thinks, am I, is he talking about me? No, I'm talking about that piece of shit. Uh, just like a... Just like the like the kind of person that you know, like in elementary school, where like you you te everyone kind of teases this one kid. You know what I mean? The kid that yeah. that kid teases. That's who I'm talking. About. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of a garbage human goes? Oh, his forehead was too big. Fuck you, man. You've never produced anything worthwhile. All you do is is comment on Reddit about people's fucking appearances. You garbage human. But hey, it's really good to see you guys. I'm really happy to be back <laughs> on the show. At least it didn't get to you. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the most important thing. <laughs> that's I've really actually funny. been doing, I've been doing forehead exercises ever since then because I'm really <laughs> self conscious about it now. I'm trying to make my forehead bigger, actually. You don't skateboard, do you? <laughs> trying to just stretch it. Oh, dude, I, uh, I, Kyle brought it up. <laughs> Kyle brought it up. I, I <laughs> if I can say right. real quick about the, uh, that, the user thing, I, yeah. when you were saying before the show, I want to go off on this guy. I, I thought it was going to be like a big list. I didn't know that it was going to be one. <laughs> One thing that is so much more benign than I ever thought. Well, because it's just such a dumb forehead. thing to say. It's just a, like, what, like, really that, and look, I get it, all right? Russell I am James. progressive. A lot of your listeners aren't. If you want to have a problem with my politics, okay. You know what? You don't find me funny? Absolutely. That's great. Comedy is subjective. You have your opinion. You don't like the way I dress? Fine. That's still a choice. But my forehead? Fuck you. Like what a what a small little I, well I guess in my case it's enormous but what <laughs> like what a nonsensical thing to be concerned about like that is the critique of of art that like you listen to a podcast oh, I didn't like the one guest's forehead eh, I don't <laughs> I don't like anything about him well on the bright side that means it must have been a pretty good show if it went that low <laughs> on the list of something to pitch about you know well you're yeah, exactly. about this something. time I. I'm I'm sure they won't heckle you at all this time. They, oh, they'll yes. have nothing to say. Yeah, yeah. They're you good. set them straight. What is it hey, about this it thing that got to you guy. though? What 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 is it no. that is cuz oh, I, I you, you think Oh, he froze for me. Oh, I I lost Steve as well. Oh, wait. that's a shame. Oh, oh. I'm yes. losing you guys. There you are. We're back now. I think. Wait, what? All right, I froze. Uh, no, I'm uh, it, like it's not anything I'm genuinely upset about. I haven't been like carrying this with me. I was just thinking, hey, I'm going to be back on the show again. Oh, I remember that one piece of shit who complained about my forehead. <laughs> it's more like that. Um, I, I just think the thing that stood out to me though is in the is in the discussion in the group. Like a lot of people were like, hey, how come the hosts never come on this board? You know, I really want them to come on the subreddit. And I'm like, well, it's because your mod is a piece of garbage. <laughs> just heap like, it all on that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's because your mod is is a horrible person. And like what do you expect? You expect like you expect the guys to come and interact with you when you treat other people like shit? Like, no, just be a be a kind human being and then maybe it'll it'll go a little bit better for you. But like seriously, it's so good to be back. I, I actually have there have been so many wonderful PKA fans who have come up to me at shows, who have, you know, been following me online. Like nice. I hear I probably hear more positive feedback from like Hey, saw you on PK, and now I'm a fan. Than I did when I was on Rogan or Corolla. Yeah, Seriously. we have That's a awesome. very cool very fan devout. base, and uh, and they've been yeah. around for so many years, and they kind of get what we're doing here. They, you know, if someone hops on board last year or something, then they might enjoy our content, and what we do. But if someone's been with us for like seven, eight years, which is entirely possible at this point, 
they understand yeah. what we're doing here and what it's all about. And so, like, if we if we have an ad uh, <laughs> an ad read we do, well, if they go and buy that mattress, they they're in the comments. Like, like, yeah, I love your thing. Thanks to PKA. Thank you so much P to PKA. PKA sells mattresses. You know, they're they're letting our yeah. advertisers know <laughs> that like we sell fucking mattresses. And you know, the, by the same and then the same way, if we if they see a guest out there, they're like, hey, yeah, PKA introduced me to you. Just know, just know. Yeah. What it's I love cool though is I love that like the divisiveness of it, like the comments where people are like, hey, you're one of the best guests they ever had, and people are like, this was the worst show I've ever seen. <laughs> it's and very I was cool. like, okay, cool. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. Our fan base is really invested. The, the, not so much yeah. in the recent days, but last week, especially maybe this week, um, we've been doing this fitness thing, and instead of working out, working out, I've been playing. <laughs> I grabbed, a, I bought a skateboard and I went skating. I used to skate a lot in my younger days. I wasn't great at it or anything, but I was competent. And uh, oh my God, they went off on the age thing. Like uh, skateboarding is just age inappropriate yeah. for me at this point. Thread after thread. And it's not like someone said something, right? Someone says something and it gets hundreds of upvotes. You know, like yeah. everyone who went there that day decided they loved this about the subreddit. And they're just fucking rip it. And, and, and in my head, it's very much like making fun of a fat person at the gym. Right. Everyone yeah. says it's absolutely criminal to laugh at a fat girl on a treadmill. Right. But everyone seems to think it's fucking awesome to laugh at an <laughs> old guy on a skateboard. Right. That's hilarious. I can't believe you're drawing this parallel. <laughs> that is. <laughs> ah, man. Yeah, I yeah, think there's that's a little you, bit of a difference. <laughs> that's, that's what's you. happening to you. You're that morbidly obese person who got brave and went into Planet Fitness <laughs> yeah, and, and looked away yeah. from the free pizza and got on there and despite the audible jiggling and slapping of his folds, <laughs> he storms ahead. That's you. On a skateboarding skateboard. in your driveway going, those internet goblins. <laughs> you know? I love the idea <laughs> my that, like, skateboarding day. <laughs> that you, you compare like trying trying to like not fall off your skateboard as the same as like really bettering yourself as a person. That's what I'm doing. That's why I'm, I'm not skating because I want to skate. I'm skating because I'm too fat. <laughs> That's the whole point. So are you skating on like a giant board? or? Yeah, I got a long board. <laughs> <laughs> I got a long board. It's, it is it's over. Okay. Sized. <laughs> it's a it's a surfboard with wheels. Nearly, yeah. I, I uh, but no, I'm getting better at it. I went out today. My, I go out with my son. He's on a bike. I'm on the skateboard, and we just rip around the neighborhoods. Wait, wait, wait. So then you're going around like with kids, and you're on a skateboard. Well, I gotta fit in. I'm just well. There aren't a lot of adults out there to skateboard with. <laughs> yeah, it's just that me. way they have someone to look up to. <laughs> like the bicycle and skateboard. Is there any possibility of like putting a rope on the bicycle and and like you like Colin pulling you a bit? <laughs> oh. It's been like a jet ski. So it's funny you mention that. Fitness, not today, not so but the session before this, I pushed it too hard. I was like, you know what? I should go back to the house now. Nah, fuck that. I'm going to keep pushing on. And I go further. I go, I don't know, another three quarters. Curfew's not for another half hour anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go like another what three quarter your, mile. So, so, the, so that we understand, what was your push? Like, are, are we talking like you went three more miles or are you talking like three two more houses? Miles? No, it, it, yeah. it was <laughs> another lap around the house. It probably was three quarters of a mile or you something like that. So uh, yeah. um, anyway, like now I'm headed up this, the, the, my driveway is the toughest part of it. It's kind of longish and it's uphill and it's not that smooth. So when you push, you instantly have to push again. I'm fucking exhausted and dehydrated. I didn't bring any water. And I'm just like, at one point I grabbed Colin by the belt and I had him tow me to the, across the finish line. You know, does, does any part of this skateboarding and bicycling stuff, does any part of it make you think, hey, if I paved this driveway out here, I'd have my own little skate park. <laughs> do you want me to build a skate park? Well, you know, I don't want it, you to build a skate park. I think an RC park, park is a better really investment. What you really need to be focusing on is some sort of RC car <laughs> racing track in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. You've got to get that project fixed and then the pool, and then you can put in the skate park. Like, one thing at a time. Mm. Wait, I'm not a that... skateboarder, but I, like, I was thinking about this as far as, like, the exercise part, does skateboarding get easier and easier the better you get at it? Yeah. Or it does? I'm finding that that's, already. And I think that's true with a lot of sports, right? Like, like lifting weights. I think that in that first two months, you get a lot of gains that aren't necessarily strength, they're technique. And uh, now I'm finding I can go farther and do more with the same amount of effort that I spent before. 
I just picture him like the like uh, Kevin Spacey in American Beauty. <laughs> like just going, just going around the neighborhood. <laughs> at you do what you can. You know? Yeah. Uh, By the way, love, I'm also I'm also that. totally shitting on you for doing this, even though I don't work out at all. American Beauty <laughs> like, just cost me twenty thousand dollars. There's a there's a scene in there, and the mom is like a real estate salesman, and um, yeah. she's trying to sell a pool, and it's a lagoon pool. Now I. I never knew anything about pools, but I just, I'm just buying one now. And a lagoon is a shape of a pool. It kind of looks like a penis. Like it's got two, like three circles sort of stacked. And uh, she's selling it as a lagoon pool. And the buyers are like, what? Like when I hear lagoon, I think plants. And she's like, what do you think these are? And they're like, no, like, you know, waterfalls and flagstone. And, and she's like, I have tiki torches in the garage. They're like, this is just a concrete hole, right? The next day. The, the, like, whatever, our pool architect guy comes out, and we start, like, finalizing some plans. And I've got this concrete hole in the ground, which is exactly what I was going to buy. I was going to do what they said, like, they hated. And I'm like, well, maybe I should upscale this a little bit. Oh, my God. You, you, just, you just, you upgraded the pool because of Kevin Spacey? Well, his wife in the show. But yeah. I, actually, <laughs> I actually think was... that, that that story was just trying to get us off the topic of him skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about skating for a while. No, no. He, he will talk about skateboarding longer than we want to talk about skateboarding. <laughs> yeah. No shame in my game. Just, so you, uh, wait, you, you spent an extra 20 grand to make your pool better, and now you found out that it's not actually going to make it better? No, I think it'll be better. And concrete's more expensive than you might guess. And, uh, and we weren't doing just concrete. Now we're doing, like, I don't know if it's pavers or stamped concrete or some sort of upscaled stained, you know, concrete that looks like rocks. We're, we're getting quotes in. But we definitely did a lot more than just a four-foot strip around the pool, which was the original quote. You know that meme where like it's uh it's like the first world problem meme. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was written for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we we do at least one or two of those a week here. Uh, you know those are the kind of problems that I have, man. <laughs> I can't lay enormous recliners on the sides of all of my pool without having to walk uncomfortably with my feet in front of each other. <laughs> without stepping into the pool in the front, you know, I want to be able to walk foot. big, girthy, swingy steps. We were going two bags to in hand. cross grass on some of the travel ways, and that brings organics into the pool. Can't have that. So we can't. Ex <laughs> you make it sound like that's like, oh, we can't have we can't have grass and dirt in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Solve that with a water hose. Just saying. Mm. Yeah, we always hosed off. You know? Did you? Yeah. Well, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. Stupid movie cost that me twenty grand. That won't be a problem grand. anymore, though. Yeah, no, I grew up no. in. Uh, I like I to have a little York shower City. out by the pool anyway. Like, yep. like all the, like, like every time I've been to a pool that I was like, ah, oh, yeah, this is really nice. There was a little shower. The same way there's a little shower at the beach. You know, I, we're doing the that. Home. That's always my favorite part of the beach, by the way. The, the shower. outdoor shower you get to take that finally cleanses the beach off of you, <laughs> and you, and and the knowledge that there's a real shower that will further cleanse you of the bullshit you just underwent for someone else's benefit. I, hate I was the beach. I was doing a uh, I was doing a gig in Cabo, and you know, so they put us up at this like really nice resort, and there's a wedding there, and the wedding is like in this place that overlooks the beach, but there's one of those outdoor showers, like right there, mm -hmm. and like the public, you know, still has to walk through, like it's the you know it's the one passageway to the beach, and I really wanted to just walk through and just start taking an outdoor shower in the middle of their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Just feel like, See, how's that's this something gonna work that they would have hated in the moment, but 20 years from now, they would have looked back with a lot of smiles about it. You know? So you could have taken one for the team mm. and made a scene knowing, like, I'm making, the, I'm get, I'm making memories on what behalf of these people. What if, what if I did it naked, though? I think that, the, oh, that would be even better. Because yeah. you know what? <laughs> You're not two. just making memories for the bride and the groom. Think about all the people sitting there who burned vacation days so they could indulge these fuckers who are like, do you think you know Susan and, and Price you know, care enough to come? Do you think they'll spend yeah. four days on us? Well, let's guilt them anyway. You know, and they sent that off. Like You're making memories for that guy who doesn't even want to be there. I think out of four courtesy to the groom, you should it. just uh, take a cold shower, though, so you don't show them up. Just saying. Well, also, also I'm a pale man. So I don't think that that would. I think I would. Uh, I think I would have blinded people with the reflection of the sun off of me. So that would have been dangerous. Ah uh, yes. Also, get your wedding the fuck out of my hotel. Like I'm. I'm. I'm hanging out. Here. 
<laughs> you guys are in the way. I had a walk can, through. Yeah. I had a walk through. There, they had a couple weddings there, and like there's one that was like on the way to like I went to the gift shop to get sunblock because again pale, and it was just kind of annoying to like have to be like ugh like I'm used to wedding like if a wedding's at a hotel it, like the space shouldn't be where other guests have to walk through. You know what I mean? Like there oh, yeah, should be yeah, like sure. separate I remember OE 90 space. seconds ago when you were throwing salt in my first world problems. Tell me more about the wedding that <laughs> inconvenienced you in Cabo. <laughs> uh, look, we, we need a, a voting all, system. What's the what's the less big deal? Your pool <laughs> not having enough room for a full-size recliner or Steve having to deal with looking at vacationing wedding people. In Cabo. First of all, that was like three minutes ago. Second of all, Cabo is not exactly first world. So <laughs> okay. I was first world in a place. But... No, that's a fair loophole. I'll allow it. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah thanks. <laughs> there was a straight up first. It was like a first and a half. Well, Cabo, I guess, like the part, the resort part is first world. But then you go like outside of it. And like that's like fourth or fifth. Mm, that's how it always is I knew. to those resorts. Where yeah. I wish that they would have maybe this is like a first world problem that's kind of benevolent. Like I wish that it you know how you'll go to Mexico or something and stay in a really nice hotel and literally like if you were to leap off of your balcony you could make it and land on one of the fucking favela, uh, you know corrugated tin roofs over there, like that close. Interesting. I stay in better hotels, but go ahead. But they are they do exist. This it was like I'm describing no. the one I was in the Dominican I'm Republic. Just being, I'm just being a dick. I know, I know, I know. I've caught on. And, yeah. you know, so, like those ones where you could like jump on there. I wish that like if if I, I know the rest of the country has to be poor and shitty because it's just poor and shitty. But could you at least make the few neighborhoods of that country surrounding our hotels a little nicer so that we could go out on the porch at night and enjoy your beautiful scenery without feeling so guilty? For, All right, we have a winner. winner. We have a winner. <laughs> I was just thinking the problem. same thing. What if they painted yeah. a big mosaic but it between you and the the poverty, mm. and it was just a big mosaic of like a beautiful forest and a lagoon over there? Oh, maybe take the resources you would use to improve the community and make a mosaic for me. <laughs> yeah, so I actually a wall. Think they, we I, could I, have a wall. A, a wall. What if they did no, it? On a, well, if they attached to a big wall, I thought that was <laughs> just. What if they did it on a green screen so that we could all make our own backgrounds according to what we liked that as long oh as it wasn't God. poor people? That's that would what I think so heaven be is like Hicks if there is a heaven. <laughs> graffiti. Yeah. I, if, if there is a heaven, I, it would have to be that each person gets their own individual heaven for it to be any fun at all, right? Mm. Because if we're all just walking around in some big palace of gold, there's some fucker out there with some irrational fear of gold, right? He doesn't want to yeah. go to a city, a, a city of the streets are gold too. Like, like there are people who would have zero interest in that, you know. And I'm one of them. Like, like if everything's made out of gold, then it's, it's just glare all the time. You need some blue blockers or something. And I, I imagine it's pretty bright. You're in the clouds anyway. So yeah. each individual person needs their own specific. Mormonism heaven. is oh, the one you're looking is... for, I think. Right. I'm going Wait, somewhere with this. I wanted to know what continue. your specific heaven was. That's you know, about, like, like if yeah. you get to pick your afterlife, that will of course. Last forever, infinitely. What's what's your afterlife like? Like what you you get there, and let's just say there's a you know Saint Peter himself is there, and he's got his iPad because it's you know modern times. He doesn't have that quill anymore and that big parchment, and yeah. you know he's like he's like beep beep boop. Like what do you want? And God's so, over there like sitting on a throne. And am I understanding correctly that in your heaven there are no Jews? Oh no, of course <laughs> yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> just, just making sure. Uh, my what what would mine be? Uh, mine would be um, the Mets would not lose as much as they do now. <laughs> they would still lose some because you got to keep it interesting, you know. Mm -hmm. But it wouldn't be as like I wouldn't want them winning all the time. That's boring, Yankee fans. Yeah, without, um, no, without, without darkness, there can be no light. Exactly. <laughs> you need some of the darkness. Uh, I would want uh, tons of comedy shows all over the place. Like you could just go up and have great crowds. Uh, oh, guess, that would be so. So every night you go out and you're. I don't know, Madison, Madison Square Garden, fucking sold yeah. out. And you look in the front row, and it's like, it's like all the people you most want to impress, and you just kill every night. Is, is, is that heaven? Uh, yeah, but even that, I think, would get boring. Like, mm -hmm. that's the thing. Like, heaven, heaven for me, I like a challenge. I like things being changed up, you know? So... What if yeah. every night it's a different special? You've got to write a new one every day. It's heaven, so time, you can just pause and take as much time as you want. But every day yeah. you're having to come up with a new special or you go to hell. Oh, that stakes are high now. You're Those on your eighth special Actually, no, stakes couldn't be lower if you can just pause time. 
Well, you're on your eighth special years. in a row, and the seventh special took you 400 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is now, this yeah. heaven has become its own version of hell. Rather you're quickly, starting hasn't to wonder, it? <laughs> what do they do in hell? <laughs> <laughs> you're starting to like wonder. That. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably. That's the interesting hell, being forced to create your own heaven, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. Because no matter what you create is going to be hell. Because, like, even if Steve yeah. did the whole special thing, Every night he'd go out there and be like, hey, 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 you know, this, that, and the other thing. And they'd all, like, laugh uproariously, and you'd have to look at them and go, you're kind of just like a mannequin in my fever dream. You're not really laughing. Oh. You don't have a choice. Like, got, you don't have your own heaven because you're not real. All my friends I, are out there with their own world. I got bored. So I'm on, like, this is the best tour I've ever done. Like, things really exploded me for in the past for me in the past year. I'm guessing it's because of my appearance on PKA. I was going like, to say that. Undoubtedly. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's been amazing. I'm, you know, different city every night. Most of the shows are sold out. It's been incredible, you know, lines of people afterward. It's been, I, I've been, I felt really like lucky and, and, and wonderful to, you know, I would use the word blessed if idiots on Instagram didn't hashtag it all the time, but like just, I, I, I felt amazing. But then the last night I was so tired and like, I was like, I can't go up and do my material again. I can't, you know. And and I'm like, wait, this is the thing I've been trying to do for 15 years, and I have it now. And I'm like, oh, I'm tired and bored. So yeah. it's, I think I think even in heaven we would get that way. You would. Yeah. Well, it's just because like I'm, you, you I'm, like set your anchor point higher. Yeah. You know, like if you Absolutely. had to like go back to the beginning of where you were in comedy right now, yeah. just like performing for you know six people at a you know graduation party, or I don't know what you did to start. Probably not <laughs> yeah. that bad. But, uh, like if you had to go six, back and do six that, six would have been. Speaking of blessed, six <laughs> would have been amazing. Have been I once my worst blessed. crowd was two people, two people in a snowstorm, and one of them was my dad. But by the way, right now, right now, there are people listening to this who are going, "What a piece of shit!" Bragging about his tour, like not even getting why I brought it up. So that's uh, that's also hell. <laughs> a lot of hell. Lot what of, if we're all, yeah. we we might already just be like non playable characters in someone else's hell? Like like this could be someone's hell we're living in right now, and we're not mm. even the real people. You mean like someone having to listen to this? Yeah, exactly. Some individual out there. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. Yeah. What if you are an NPC, Kyle? Like, what if one day someone comes up to you and they ask you a question? You have to say, "Oh yeah, that's down there beyond the river." And then, like, the next day you wake up and the day feels oddly familiar. And then, and then you get you to that to same say. place and that person comes up and asks you a different question. But it wasn't the right different question. So you have to say, oh, it's right down over there by the river. You know, and that's your NPC hell. Where I'm you just to have myself, to hope that the PC asked the right question. My knee's been injured for weeks, right? For you. Could I have taken yeah. an arrow? Hmm? What of... What game would you would you most want to be a non playable character? In? Fuck you all! That's funny <laughs> shit right there. Fuck that was every very one good. of you. Very good. Dead Space. I smile lightly. <laughs> I think voice. Dead Space is one of the games that you would most not want to be one of the non playable characters because I don't think any of the non playable characters survives, and that is to say that none of the non playable characters don't have their soul taken by some sort of alien demonic force and then have their bodies mutated into some sort of hideous like stabbing creature or like turned into a baby with medusa horns or something yeah, like they that die horrible all the of the npcs in dead space just just there, there are no winners they they, they all get yeah. mutated and have their souls taken grand theft auto is kind of like that too there are survivors right. though. There's always that like pimp that you see down go down the street with like a couple of hoes. And I mean, you don't if you don't kill every hooker, then I mean they're out there getting laid and getting paid. Like, yeah, they're but they're a good time presumably. But they're they're just chum. <laughs> like they're 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 there for target practice. That's you're just that's like, all of us Imagine here, right? the stress and the yeah. panic you would walk through every day in Sim World as an NPC. Every single car isn't just another car of a person. Mm. It's any of them, you know. At hell, most of them are complete sociopaths that take glee in killing you. So, like, you couldn't, you couldn't, you, and you're the whole time you're having to pretend like it's just a normal day and you're going to Jamba Juice. So, yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. Not as bad as Dead Space, though, because I saw a clip in Dead Space where the NPC picked up a gremlin, like, alien baby and it exploded her into a million bits. And so, that, yeah, I'd rather what just if, get hit by the car. What about like Rocket League would be good because then you're just watching a game. That's good. Yeah, any sports games. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the same match forever. Yeah. 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 It would be a hell. It's not good there, to be a there are some people character. on Twitch. There are some people on Twitch who do that voluntarily. 
Mm. Uh, yeah. I never got into watching Twitch. Do any of you watch Twitch? No. Not yeah. lately, but I yeah. have. Yeah, I, I watch it sometimes. I've been watching some people play Battlegrounds, uh, that Battle Royale game that I've been playing a ton of. I love, fucking love that game. Getting better and better at it. Uh, it's really, really fun. Um, I've been playing with some fans. Uh, that game's a lot, of, a lot of fun. I'm not going to shift into talking about that, but yeah, I've been uh, watching some people play that on Twitch. More and more, I realize I like, it doesn't matter at all how... Well, I, I want the player to be above average, but really, that shouldn't be hard, right? You know, like Most people who play a game a lot are above average at it. You don't need to be top 5% in my mind. It's all about your entertainment value. With this, this game might be the exception mm -hmm. because it's, a, it's, a, like, um, it's like the Hunger Games, of course. So if you're not top 5%, then you don't get to the showdown at the end. You don't get to like the the last phase of the game when there's like five people left and we're playing in a circle the size of like a barn and everybody's just in corners like eh, like hiding with shotguns and rifles and stuff and crouching in plants with ghillie suits. Have you suits won again shit. yet? I've only won uh, one solo. Uh, I've I think I played second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all that shit like multiple times, but I've only won one. It's very hard. It's like my grades. I got all the grades. Yeah, you know, all the beach. grades that they offered, I, I brought some of those home. Yeah. Oh, I w did you see that uh, video of the Turkish bodyguards just going ham on yes. those protesters? Yeah. No, I that didn't. was fucked up. Is it, it a funny video or is it, um, no? Is Look, well, it all depends on your perspective. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you're a big fan of, uh, if, you're a a if you're a Turkish bodyguard, if you're a Turkish bodyguard, that video is hilarious. You're flexing somewhere like that is how we do shit. <laughs> yeah. I, tell me if I'm going to lay out the backstory and, and tell me if I have this wrong. It, from what I understand, the Turkish president was traveling in Washington, D.C. There were protesters there unhappy with his presidency or the way he runs shit or who knows what. And he told the D.C. police to, like, silence the protesters and beat them up or whatever it takes. And the D.C. police were like, no, that's not how we do things here. So he sent out his own bodyguards slash thugs to beat up American citizens. And they were, like, kicking them in the face while they're laying down. How, uh, how like bad? It's, it's, it's hard to ever know because, like, when this stuff gets <clears throat> talked about and they say beat up, like, was it a couple punches or were there some Let's severe the people? Yeah, Kyle, like, do, can you find badly. one or do we hunt for it? Yeah. I'm getting it. I also like that you're like, look, look, look. If he... If, if he if they kicked him a couple of times, it's perfectly okay. <laughs> I just get aggravated when I hear stuff on the news where it's like, huge violence at a rally, and like you click the video, and it's like three people with sticks, and you're like, huge violence? Like I was yeah. expecting a, a Braveheart-style brawl here, and I'm oh, really here's, disappointed. Here's a question. So this uh, this was a debate that uh, like unraveled on, uh, on one of my Reddit posts, because I posted a thing about how I had a video... That like I had a heckler video that went viral and it really you know changed my life and you know changed my career and then it got animated like animated James who's a big YouTube guy uh, animated it and so I posted that and there was like a debate over whether or not that my title was clickbait and so someone was saying that like anything that gets you to click on a video is clickbait and then a rational person in my opinion at least was saying that no it's clickbait when they get you to click on a video with a sensational title that doesn't deliver. But if the video is actually the thing that happened, then it's not clickbait. Yeah, if a, if a video is man fights off three crocodiles and it's a video of a man actually fighting off three crocodiles before being killed, undoubtedly, then that's not Unless clickbait. Unless it's Woody. But if it's three yeah. like little baby <laughs> crocodiles and it's like yes. one of them like nips his finger and his girlfriend's poorly filming and he goes, oh, ho, ho, and then it's like, oh, you, you know what you did. You know what we expected. Yeah. And we saw three alligators in the thumbnail because you didn't put the little ones in there. You put the, yeah. the Nile ones, the real ones that we want to see. Or, so that would be or they zoomed in on the little ones to make them look like the big ones. Ah, I might be yeah. okay. I got into clickbait <laughs> hot water last week. I um, so I was flying my paramotor. If you don't know what that is, it's a like the fabric. What you know, was the title of the video? Is, uh, I will get to that in a moment. I was, I was flying <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, oh, okay. it's a little clickbaity, but I thought. In a minute, we'll get to the title. <laughs> yeah, we will. So I was flying my paramotor. If you don't know what that is, you got the fabric wing like a paraglider, <laughs> but a uh, propeller on your back so you can launch from flat ground. Anyway, I clipped in wrong, right? You're supposed to clip in is very important. Like a parachute, you know, you got to clip in properly. My riser was twisted like 360 degrees and I didn't catch it. So uh, I took off and in flight I realized that I had fucked up and I managed to <coughs> land. And the, uh, the title was Woody's Gamertag Cheats Death. 
<laughs> which you yeah, know. that's uh, completely clickbait. Woody that's gamer totally tag <laughs> cheats blister might have been more accurate, right? No, like, I was Woody's, I was pretty Woody's scared. Tag, At first, I Woody's thought gamer tag uh, <laughs> cheats the system by titling it this. <laughs> oh, Woody's gamer tag avoids sprain. <laughs> yeah. No, I I wasn't sure if the wing would continue to fly well. In hindsight, everything was fine. <laughs> but at the time, I was like, oh my god, Woody, take a breath, chill, don't panic. Um, you know, because I, next time, make the title like I'm still bleeding as I post this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> the you, landing you went have, poorly. I you thought should have put a picture of a severed hand. Mm. Yeah. Make it say like oh, severe head injury. That was but another then thing. Have it misspelled a little bit. So, so later, they know you have a head injury. Oh, <laughs> nice! Like the end of flowers for Algernon. I I, <laughs> I did an unintentional clickbait as well. So um, like it, I landed, I fixed it, I launched again, and then I started doing acrobatics. So the thumbnail was of the acrobatics, right? So the title is like Woody's Gamer Tech Cheats Death, and you see like me fucking upside down with like the wing towards the ground and stuff. And I yeah. guess people thought the death defying part was related to the picture. And How did I they get that idea. Right, right. I I could see where they're coming from. Although in my head, I just grabbed the most interesting frame from the whole video and use that as the thumbnail. It's what I've been doing for months now. And uh, yeah. so, but uh, yeah, so there's some thumbnail clickbaiting too. I get some people. <laughs> some people think that because my heckler series is titled Heckler Owned, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, that's such clickbait. I'm like, what do you think the word owned? Do you think I actually own the person? Mm. Like I bought them. <laughs> like is that when you click? So on are we paying no, too I much attention to the fussing people? The same thing that all these other videos are called because that's what people search when they want to see that. Yeah. Like oh, the other thing, the other thing that uh, people seem to get on me for is titling in third person, where they don't seem to understand that like that's how everything gets titled. Yeah. yeah. Like there, there's it depends not what it is. I, I think like like and it depends who you are and what kind of channel you're running too. Like you've got a very like personal channel. If you if it's the first time you've ever done it, like Wing said that time when all of a sudden he uploaded a video that says "fat guy accidentally bayonets his TV" and and all the subscribers are like "fat guy, you mean yourself? Like what what the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, but but yeah, I guess that yeah, makes but, sense. But also, but the idea that like it's not called you know the it's called. We'll never know what it's called. Hello. I, I, think, I think we have him back Gross. now. Okay, where did I lose you? It's not called something. Oh, well, it's definitely not called a Frozen for like three minutes. Um, it's not <laughs> called, a, I was saying it's not called The Late Show with me. It's called The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Like it's, because you, you do that when you title things. And uh, yeah. people, don't, people don't search for, like if, if, like if I just wrote, you know, I dealt with a heckler, like people, no one searches I. I mean, I guess some very vain people, in case they think that they're going to do that. <laughs> Have I ever owned a heckler? Right! Yeah, let, me, let me check. <laughs> no dice! Like, none of these videos are me. But yeah, of course, if someone's going to Google, if, if, you, if someone sees your sit and, and they're like, hey, I like Steve Hofstetter, I'm going to look him up, they're going to Google Steve Hofstetter, or they're going to do that on YouTube. And so, of course, you're going to put your own name in the title for the same reason that those people who have, like... Uh, commentary or political channels on YouTube or whatever, they'll always put their name at the end so that when you search yep. their name, they all come up. Like, it's just what they all do. And it was, and it's also funny because sometimes people will get on me for writing, like, they'll be like, you know, why'd you write comedian instead of your name? And I'm like, because I'm not famous. Like, it's, it's a, it's like me saying, it's me admitting that, like, I'm not big enough to do that. It's me, like, like, that's a self-deprecating thing. And then people yep. will still get mad about that because people will get mad about everything. They do. Yeah. Let's people, watch this video of some people having their civil civil liberties well trampled upon and their heads trampled upon. Well, guess what? I bet people are going to be mad about this on the internet. I keep I keep I, my civil liberties in my head, actually. So what we do yeah. is we queue up at zero, and I'll count it down, and we'll press play together. So tell me when you queued up at zero. Oh wait, He's hold on, hold counter. on. Wait. <laughs> we trust him. I'm the best I counter. I was supposed to do this. Sorry. He knows so, all the fucking numbers. Forwards and backwards. Right. All right, well, I've seen him go as high as 845. <laughs> I mean, at least the comments are good. Uh, highest rated, fucking Turks, showing the animals they yeah. really are. Fuck Turkey. <laughs> there is a reason Europeans hate them. They are scum. Uh, next, another one. Fuck America. Fucking two-faced country. Spelled wrong. 
Yeah, YouTube comments are always good for. And it's the number two, second comment. Fucking good. turkey monkeys. I went to school with some. What a bunch of inbred, backward monkeys they were. Well, now, like, I by that logic, by, by one... the transitive property, Taylor should like Turkish people. No, Kyle, I... you can't read your own comment. <laughs> <laughs> I was, as I typed that. I, I've I only ever known one Turkish person, and he was a real piece of shit. He absolutely was, like, like super misogynistic. Like, like it was, like, and it was a cultural thing, um, and and just really like. Sweaty and slimy and greasy and like he was like the a gross Slavic Fonzie with his slick <laughs> back hair and like 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 he was always like oh the women they love slum. me the women they love me and I remember like he's always like hitting on our reception he's like look at me I am beautiful no and like one of his eyes looked the wrong way and she's like <laughs> <laughs> always why lie like, on the prize I provide you <laughs> his name was Barack. He was the worst. All right, let, let's see what these. Uh, I like that they've all got suits on because you've got like three distinct groups of people here. Maybe four. You've got the protesters holding up signs protesting all the evils of Turkey. You've got the Turkish bodyguards in their nice tailored suits, and then you've got like DCPD, I guess, with like like uniformed cops who occasionally get a, a whack in with a baton. And then there's just people watching the shit show. Ready? Well, before we queue it up. Before we queue it up, I just want to say I know one Turkish guy. Uh, I went to college with him. He was actually a Turkish pop star that then came to America for college. And he was he was a sweetheart, but we all used to play his songs and make fun of them. So <laughs> that's all I know about Turkey. You Ready? guys had very different Turkish experiences. Ready, very, very set, different Turkish play. Experience. All right. All right, it so is this a is the fucking kind of free for all. I yeah, was imagining it would be not disappointed yeah. by this. There are, there are oh, I like twenty-five that the... people in like mixed combat on asphalt At and least. grass. This guy oh. took two good kicks to the face. Ah, oh, maybe the nose of the eye on that second. Oh, I don't no. feel like the DC police are being harsh oh, yeah, yeah, enough yeah, on the Turkish. That, he just randomly kicked that woman. Yeah, they should be being way harsher on these fucking assholes. Yeah, I mean, like Turks. he sees a guy if, kick a protester oh in the face who's laying down on his side, like in the fetal position, gets kicked in the face, and the cop holds him by the shoulders and says, "No, no, no," and guides him away. That's that won't do. Yeah, and then the cops. Carry away a guy that just got his ass kicked by a yeah. guy in a suit. Heaven forbid a concealed carry guy like kills one of these bodyguards here. Oh, oh my God, that would have been a an interesting way to see it play out, where Erdogan or whatever had to be like, you know, you killed two of my men. He's like, well, you broke our law, and this shit happens here. Thugs are treated very differently in America. Yeah, the, yeah, the other is. people you're fighting have guns here, so good luck. Should, should totally whoever, whoever filmed this is a is a hero. Yeah, like, right. Is, He's got a stabilizer. Landscape. Yeah, this is, a, this yeah. is good. This guy has a stabilizer. Like like you like usually I, I'm accustomed to World Star Hip Hop. We're good <laughs> lucky if you know, but they're not like giving a hand job with the same hand that's holding the camera. No, this I'm is not. this is quality filming. I'm rewatching the first part again. This is like. Honestly, this filming is incredible. He's even panning around the scene like it's like yeah. two lines clashing in a Roman History Channel show. <laughs> like he's, he's even going around. This is well well done by oh, whoever yeah. filmed it. Yeah. yeah, this is unbelievable though. Look at, the, look at the callousness at like 20 seconds when those assholes just walk by people on the ground and just like throw side kicks to the back of their head. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, that's that's how they handle oh. this sort of thing in their country. You know what upsets uh, me about this so much? It's that we lost, right? Like, if anything, I'm on Team America here. I'm on the protesters. And undeniably, yeah. they came in last place in this thing. That's what bugs me. I'd be cheering this thing on if those bodyguards went into the crowd and the crowd beat the crap out of them. I'd be like, yeah, yeah that's we how we, we do. We didn't have any of our good protesters there. That's exactly. The we needed some... Where was Black Lives Matter? I was just going to say them. we needed those Ferguson we needed protesters. Street we need we don't have uh, we don't have Kurdish Lives Matter as a movement. We need that. <laughs> That's the issue. I, I I just feel like if we had our, our our most violent protesters here, we could have taken those thugs on. You know these I were. I just think that it would have been better if we saw like twice as many DC cops there and see some DC cops. Give them a good bash. And these DC I, cops I, I look like they, they enjoyed can... a donut or two, right? Like, yeah, it I, look more like that's TSA. not unusual. 
<laughs> it looked like more like TSA showed up. I saw a 240-pound black woman wearing at least one size too small uniform swinging a baton like it was her first time she'd ever swung it. And the person she hit turned around like, hey, what what'd you do that for? Yeah. And it was a protest before she hit it. Can you imagine being a protester on the ground getting kicked by one of these guards? And you look up and you're like, oh, oh, thank God the police are here. And some some morbidly obese five foot six woman is you know, her her gait is just hobbling towards you, and you're just, oh, I'm gonna die in this field! You know, just laying there <laughs> like she's not gonna save me. Why? You know, you know? It reminds me of, uh, you know, all those, like, basic shooter arcade games where, like, you accidentally shoot the civilian and, and like, a red X comes up? <laughs> like, that's what those cops were doing, basically. Like, they were playing target practice for the first time. Yeah. Just John as McCain you said that, they... protest was dragged away. Kyle? Yeah, that was really shitty. John McCain was saying they should throw those uh, guys out of the country. And they absolutely should. I, I didn't care for that at all. I don't think yeah. anyone who sees that is going to care for that. Uh, that was Never to up. return. They get a lifetime ban. You're not coming back. Yeah. They will, though. Yeah. But now the question is, so that guy, I guess he was seeing Trump, or he was going to the White House. I don't know if he was specifically actually seeing Trump. Should they have tossed him out and said... You know, no, like this ruined the your whole president? visit. Was this, was this at the, the end of the thing? Government. This I thought it was Erdogan. I thought that, like, uh, I thought the president of that country was Erdogan. The guy, they just had an attempted coup in that country, didn't they? No, like six so months they ago. They met with our government to figure things out. Who knows what they were talking about? Should He's we have, like, guy. denied him that meeting? And I, well, but then how does the hotel in Turkey get built? Yeah, fair point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean,. You got to look at the business. Always two of steps it. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Was it, uh, was it like right as the as Erdogan, Erdogan, whatever, was going to talk to people in our government that I this was, was happening, afterwards. or was it I, like I, as he's leaving, he's like, oh, and and go cause some shit, you know, like. I might have it wrong, but I watched Trump and Erdogan do their joint press conference next to each other. At least I, I'm like 99% sure that was Erdogan. That they, and uh, they both spoke, and then uh, then they left. And then I assumed that like Erdogan was leaving the building or whatever, getting in his motorcade when all of this happened. But that's it. what they're doing there seems entirely unnecessary. It was almost like someone said a bad word and he was like, "Get him," you know, like yeah. he, like a, pre a protester like offended whoever was in charge, and he was like, "Go fuck him up," and they just did with they no went consequence. In speed too. Which Lord they, of the Rings was Erdogan in? Uh, two. It was Second two, one. right? Second yeah, one. yeah. Okay. Uh, he was the guy. He was the guy whispering in, in, in the uh, in the wizard's ear up on top of that tower. Right. I get you know I get those movies confused sometimes because some you know like you watch them back to back it's hard to remember which one is which. But I knew you know Erdogan was out there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. <sighs> Arrow to the knee. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh when I, I he think... says it. That'd be unfair. <laughs> well, I said it was a callback. Uh, so I that's true. It was an inside joke. No, but I, I think that that's I think that's one of those things that like there's a lot that we disagree on as Americans. Hell, you know my politics are different than yours, but like I think it's it's pretty easy for us to just be like, well, fuck these guys. We don't like oh what yeah, happened. I like when stuff like this happens. That like like you won't show this to anyone in the country who's like, well, but you have to understand what the <laughs> Turkish dictator was thinking as he sent his groupies yeah. to beat up unarmed people with megaphones. You have to consider as they're kicking with those sneaky James Bond knife in the toe shoes into elderly people's eye sockets as they're like getting back in their nice SUVs, you know, and they, you know everybody hates it. And it's great. No, they're, they're actually, I, I will bet anything that there are people who watch that and be like, well, you know, those protesters shouldn't open their mouths. Like I bet there are people who think that. Yeah, the, a lot of the, the a lot of the Turks apparently. Yeah, and also uh, uh, your piece of shit mod. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I was gonna say that joke, and I'm like, no, I can't get. I, like uh, legitimate rage. I think he's done some timelines for the show. I can't jump on this this bandwagon. <laughs> so the only people who approve are the people involved and our mod. <laughs> 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 <sighs> that's good man i mean it's not good when people get beat up in public by you know foreign officials but it's, it's it is it, no it's not, no it's not good but it is wait, nice. wait, wait, wait. hold on hold on Fine. if i knew that that's what this podcast was going to be about i never would have agreed to come on <laughs> i cannot stand behind that statement I, I was fucked. like yeah of course nobody likes to see that but for once it was really refreshing to watch a video that was as this ties into the clickbait we were talking about. Mm. That was the kind of fight I was expecting when you guys were describing it. And it seems like the yeah. last, we were out on a streak of the last 12 
disagreements and riots that I'd seen, I was like, oh, fuck everybody who was talking about this. Like, there, there's not a huge battle scene or anything. But no, this is pretty good. This, mm. And it was also, you know, camera work, to be fair. <laughs> I've this seen worse like Pepsi commercials. Yeah, the camera that. work was amazing. <laughs> <coughs> man, man, YouTube comments are mean. Aren't they? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's such a, a roller coaster reading them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> while you, just while you read them, I just figure I could comment, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, it feels this like it's next. time for our first ad read. All righty. Get that out of the way right now. While you oh, do like, it, can I keep holding up this sign? Actually, no. That's probably not a good idea. Let, let's take that off while I tell everyone about mattresses. Yeah. You, you, you want them? <laughs> Maybe they don't care for that. You never know. Casper mattresses, you see, are obsessively engineered American-made mattresses at a shockingly fair price. And now you can save fifty dollars toward uh, you can get fifty dollars toward any mattress purchase by going to casper.com/pka and using code PKA. It combines supportive memory foams to create an award-winning sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Over twenty thousand reviews, and uh, they have a four point eight star rating. It's quickly becoming the internet's favorite mattress mm. free shipping and returns to the united states and canada uh you can try casper for 100 nights risk-free in your own home if you don't love it they'll pick it up and refund you everything designed developed and assembled in the united states of america so get 50 dollars toward any mattress purchase by going to casper.com slash pka and using code pka i love my casper mattress come on people you know your mattress is old and needs to be replaced women won't sleep with you just do it it's you easy. should and when you get one Get a box spring, too, for your mattress because women don't want to have sex on a mattress on the floor. That yeah, is they're, something. They're, the <laughs> amoebas that's fucking migrate, migrate, too. Like, you want to be a couple of layers above the floor so that the bacteria doesn't, like, migrate up the bed and get to you. You don't know what's down there. I, I sleep in a, a, a sex swing with a, ham a hammock in it. Yeah, I'd recommend that, with a, a, net. Uh, a bed yeah. frame also in addition to the box spring. <laughs> Because also a mattress on a box spring on the floor is kind of the same thing as a mattress on a floor. Now who's first yeah. world? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, this time I did a callback. <laughs> yeah. Are we done? Are we done with the live read? We're yeah. done with the mattress. Okay. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Check them out. Now back to, back to that. Oh man, you Just really dislike sure. that guy way more than. I wonder no, how I this is going to go down. Will he become a subreddit hero, or will they all make fun of him for getting made fun of? I don't know, but I, I do I do know I, this. So I, a friend of a friend predict, of mine. Yeah. I predict they're gonna come after you real fucking hard now. You 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 poked the, the hornet's nest now. Like they're like, ha, that hurt his feelings? Oh yeah. man, I've got oh. I've got opposition research here just waiting. Like, this, won't, know, <laughs> this won't cause this to possible. happen, but, but again they could screenshot again, you into a roast me session at this point. Me, <laughs> me making fun of him does not show like I don't know why you guys think that it means it hurt my feelings or it means it like made me upset. It means I think it's funny that he's a piece of shit. Like it's it's not it's not like I'm walking around and be like that guy really got to me. It's like no, like I think it's hilarious that that is what he took from the show. I don't know if that distinction will be felt upon. Yeah, you are trying <laughs> to redefine <laughs> internet rules, and I'm telling you, yeah. these rules are set in stone. No, but yeah. I think, I, I think on the internet see. is not always well received. I think if I, yeah, I think if I was like genuinely upset by it, I don't think I would have switched to the "I like mattresses" sign. Mm. I think that's probably. <laughs> no, you would have sat there and been like, "So they really don't want me to hold it up? Well, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out my video because I'm not putting the sign down." You know? uh, well, I yeah, you're definitely gonna have to like hold resist. the thumb over. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I just like, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think it's silly and fun to, to poke that stuff. And I also know I've been doing this long enough to know that I'm binary. Like people either like me or they don't. It's ones and zeros, and that's fine. Like there are people right now who heard that and go, "What is he's making a math reference? He thinks he's better than me." Like there's, <laughs> and doesn't it say you know, something for the year that we you we live in that when you said I'm binary, I thought you were about to like qualify what your sexuality was. Oh, yeah. were you? Oh. That's ridiculous. No, no, no. I meant people's reaction to me as binary. Uh, yeah. No, but j just, the, just the idea that, like, I, I know I'm not for everyone, and that's okay, and none of us are. And, like, the, I, I have a theory. Like, people who leave, like, one-star reviews, like, who go, like, on restaurants, like, one star. What happened to you that's the worst possible thing that could happen? Like, what happened? The waitress smelled like shit. 
It's like, yeah, okay, what if your waitress smelled like shit and I put my dick in your burger? That would do it. One star. That would give you more than a... You would not get one star. Is, <laughs> what I'm saying is leave yourself room for fewer stars. <laughs> <laughs> there can always be a worse review. What you're saying. That's a, that's like a life lesson. That, yeah. is what, that is what I'm saying. I think that there, there are some people who feel that to make themselves feel better, they got to go shit on something else. And you know what? It does work for some people. And you know what? I'm, I'm out here making fun of someone on the show, but I'm doing it for, you know, for the entertainment value of the show. The fact is, you know, our you know, user slash legitimate rage, who is, I guess, an angry enough person to name himself that, uh, <laughs> or herself. Maybe you're just pretending to be an out-of-touch guy. But the point is that, like, if you, but if you go and actively try to hurt someone, like I've had people who have like heard me on a radio show, who have like called an employer to try to get me fired, because mm. like they didn't think I, oh, they didn't think I was funny. It's like, how is it this big of a deal to you? Like, just, just fucking move on, and it's fine. If you don't like me, that's cool. How many episodes do you guys have? Three hundred thirty-five. Three hundred thirty-five. So I think that there's enough entertainment that if someone doesn't vibe with one guest. Who the fuck cares? Move on. Go. In this case, they're down to 333. Yeah, that's true. I've I've eaten up two episodes. <laughs> or I was only on like half the other episode, so it's fine. That's true. <laughs> that's the way all the guests are, though, with their reception. Like it's, it's, and yeah. it's not just the PKA fan base. It's every podcast that I've ever listened to. Like it's rare to read the comments on any forum and see them be like, oh, "This this guest was okay. I don't." I don't really, you know, let him come back if he wants. Like, that's even the way I feel at the podcast that I listen to. Like, I'll be like, oh, man, Joe Rogan, you know, that guy is the worst. I listened to 20 minutes of it and it was trash, like awful. Like, I don't comment that because I got things to do. But, like, oh. then if there's like a Jordan Peterson one, which is really interesting, it'd be like, uh, that was really good. Have him back on, you know, next week and the week after. That was really interesting. So I think that's just a natural internet thing is you get like a little taste of something you like and you just, keep picking at it or you get a teeny little taste of something you hate and you have to make sure everybody knows you hate it yeah that's well, all it is steve you're like thing. that bad part of the pecan they they yeah they, they, they've had you and they're just like no nah, no nah, not that again that bad giant four-headed part of the pecan um i like i think it's not just the internet thing i think a lot of people when they say like oh well it's the internet but we're all human beings like every one of us behind a keyboard is a human i mean most of us are i think i'd imagine so I don't know if you have any robot listeners. I don't want to offend anyone who identifies as a robot. Like, I know that maybe that's a... Yeah. Like maybe you're binary tra- folks? Yeah, ma- yeah actual <laughs> binary, binary folks. folks uh... <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I think, it's, I think it's, a, you know, it's a human thing to want to feel important by having an opinion. And there are some people who understand that, like, you can have that opinion and that's fine and talk about it with your friends, but don't actively try to shit on somebody. And then there are some people who... Like, that's their whole thing. And so the reason I'm shitting on legitimate rage is because I want him to know how that feels. I want him to listen to this episode and be like, man, that guy's really being mean to me. And then realize, (laughs) like, yeah, that's what you do. Do you think he's going to have that reaction? Because I think it's just as likely that he goes, you know what? I'm getting kind of famous. Like, I I have succeeded beyond all expectations. Vindicated is what he will think, I think. Because it seems to be any time anyone is indulged for any reason online yeah. you know that seems to be the response but I, i've been hated on this? many times and never once has a response from me made them go you know what woody strong point i've changed my mind that have you ever had that happen on twitter happen. where you like have a discussion with someone about something that you disagree with and at the end like they'll go like oh that was that was a pretty good point yeah i've had it yeah, on reddit it. it's almost I, like confusing because you're like <laughs> ah, no no you're you're, you'll are be you back fucking with, with me? Something. Yeah. Are you doubling back? Are you you're talking to me sort of like you're in the, trap? Yeah. What are you doing to me? Yeah. You're acting you like a reasonable person, yet here we are yeah. on the internet, so that can't be it. Yeah, every now and then, I find it most common on Reddit. I've actually seen it on YouTube every now and then as well, which is weird because most... Have you ever seen that YouTube comment filter where you could change everything to say herp, derp, 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 herp? It's amazing. No, I <laughs> it's, I it's, it's really great. Uh, but you know, and, and like it does, it does happen. And that's the thing. There are reasonable people. And like I said, everyone behind that keyboard is a reasonable person. So look, legitimate rage, whoever you are and whatever, whatever sewer you live in, uh, I no, like right now I'll stop making fun of you right now. And I'll say that like, you are a human being 
and you want to be treated like one. And so do the same to other people because the vast majority of people on, on your Reddit board were awesome and were like really gracious and were, you know, excited to interact with a guest and were just really, you know, genuinely good people. And then there were like a couple of total shitheads who are the loudest. So I wanted to make a sign for one. But here, I'll change my sign now. Here. You should make, for the next episode you're on, make a sign of your favorite one of our users. Oh, and that's then, a great you know, idea. Nothing but praise. <laughs> to, Positive you know, things. Weigh it out. Yeah. Uh, or, or just l leave them be, you know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 thing I can see Kyle's face. Of <laughs> I was like, is Taylor's thing going to work? Are people going to compete for favorite fan? No, of course not. No, <laughs> no yeah, you're right. That, that would never possibly work. <laughs> I don't work. give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure that sign got better. No. It, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to fuck him. I mean, that's true. Well, yeah, but I don't. I just felt like it was more of almost a compliment the first time. I don't know. Okay, here. Hold on. I'll, the funniest I'll... thing in my head that could possibly happen right now is that, and, you know, I don't know this user at all. But if he yeah. ended up like posting a picture of himself online and he has like MS or something, <laughs> and and you just look the like the biggest, thing to you? most brutal bully ever. <laughs> oh, I that thought you thought funny. it would be funny for him that he had a debilitating disease. No, <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought that's what, that's you, what were you were laughing at—the prospect of him having MS. No, MS. I'm saying it because because yeah. it would be the, like, the yeah, Reddit be post would be Steve Hofstadter <laughs> bullies, no cure. you know. No uh, cure. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best part. I actually, I actually like want forehead. To on his forehead. And it's degenerative, so it, you know, yeah. he's got to live so with it. It fucks him up. It's the best. Yeah. No, I like genuinely. I will say this genuinely because if he's still listening at this point, which I know he is, because we're talking about him, and you know, people have ego like that. Uh, I will say that, like, I'm, I'm done making fun of him unless he takes another shot. In which case, I will make many, many more signs because I find it amusing. Many, many more signs to just hold up. You're going to start your own video podcast, the anti hip podcast. Yeah. No, I mean, I just think I wanted to I wanted to set him forth as an example of like of just someone being petty. Like, I think it's I think it, it is it's funny to me when people want to be heard so much that they have to think of. Anything they could say that would hurt. And, and then yes, you, you, you pointed out how petty he was being. <laughs> yeah, shined a real light on it. Yeah, shined a real, a, a giant spotlight on his pettiness. That's yeah. the exact point. Oh, what? Wait, what's this thing that was? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, don't read that oh. out loud. Don't read that out that loud. But that is true. That that, that <laughs> happened. I can vouch for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. very glad you told me not to read that out loud because I was about to read that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is, Woody did it to him. He vaccinated him. Oh my god. That's not that's terrible. That, none of that is true. <laughs> Kyle's added to <laughs> it. It's not true. <laughs> there, it was true until Kyle joined in. <laughs> he just oh, skateboarded man, on over to him. Oh, that's the pushed shit. the plunger yeah. and skateboarded away. Uh, good good bumps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I but have you ever like I mean look, you guys do this, you guys do this a ton. And when like and clearly you guys used to be on the Reddit board, or at least that's what they said, and then you stopped going on. So I'm curious, why is that? I mean, you guys, you guys are joking around that I'm being petty about it, but like, like shit Bible, like that does suck. In the Bible, in the in the Old Testament, God was showing up left and right, right? Like he was he's yeah. making his influence felt upon the I world. I already love that we're gods in this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could not like, have asked for a better answer. Fit us than into that. a different <laughs> parable and make it right. I don't think you can. So, so we're yeah. you know, and and after a while, you know, man started just. You know that four hundred year period after the ending of the writing of the Old Testament before the yeah. beginning of the new one. Those four hundred years were the Maccabee era. You know, that's where I think the, the subreddit is. They're in that 400 years of, you know, keep the faith. They'll be back. They'll be back. <laughs> they will. It's, like, it's risen like a phoenix. Era. Like Christ. So it, it's like the hate lasted eight days when they only yes. thought it would last for one. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like that. I still pop in and comment on stuff over there every once in a while. I just don't comment on internet things that much, like forums or articles or threads. I don't know. Yeah. Easier what do you... What are your what are your go tos? What are your sites that you that you use every day? Reddit for sure. Uh, like, like I, Reddit I, or hockey I and a few other things, and then ESPN. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I, I still go to everything. Yahoo Sports, and everyone like rips on Yahoo like it's the worst thing in the world, and I, it's just organized in a way where I I know where all the articles are. I yeah, I there I I use yeah, Reddit for virtually everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I watch CNN. Uh, you know, for, I was gonna for... say CNN, but I thought that I'd be like targeted as some sort of liberal Kool Aid drinker or something. But well, yeah. no, they've got a live app on Sling, and it's 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 easy. It's right there. So I watch uh, I watch a lot of um, CNN. I like Anderson Cooper. Uh, Wait, but I, I here's cool. YouTube, YouTube is way bigger than any other site that I use. Like, do you guys use YouTube more than I any do. other site? Hours a I day. I definitely, yeah. definitely do. Like, it blows all the other ones out. Of and what's mind. funny is I, it'll be like, oh, you know what? I just don't really want to commit to like a forty minute show right now, like a TV show yeah. that's called an hour. Yet I'll watch like six fifteen minute YouTube videos. Yeah. Yeah, I sat there. It, it, it's really it's funny to watch like the watch history, effective. and you can clock my day. Like it, it's like two hmm. hours of like me watching Acolyte or uh, Jack Frags play Battlegrounds, and then all of a sudden I needed to know how to make stuffed potatoes, <laughs> and I went through like four videos of that, and then I wanted some fancy bacon. So there's like three videos on bacon, and then there's like some then there's like some 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 some, some sexy moments from some movies, and then there's no more record for like. 45 minutes because I shifted to a different website and then I'm back to the battlegrounds again. <laughs> 45 yeah, minutes. Sexy moment for movies. Taking your time. Yeah, 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 yeah you really want to edge minutes. it out there. Make it make it a show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That is, I don't have that kind of time. Oh, I, you know, that's, I embarrass I get, myself I get the idea Reddit. and I and I I execute. I surf <laughs> through Reddit so much Reddit runs done. out of content. Like, that's when you yeah. fucked up. When you get to the bottom. Yeah, well, it's on my phone. <laughs> you can get to the and bottom it's... of Reddit? It, yeah, after like 1,000 yeah. or 1,200 or so, it'll stop giving you new <laughs> articles. It just keeps going. I've never known yeah. I've gotten down to 1,200 before. <laughs> oh, it's if so I get down bad. To, you know, like a few pages and there's nothing good, it's like, eh. This, it's so when you're on R all, once you get past like 150 articles or so, it, it's like Buzz Lightyear. Porn. Porn everywhere. There's oh, just yeah. naked girls. Yeah. Like every so fifth porn. article is is a is a naked girl of, of one. Yeah, and the good ones too. You know, the cream rises to the top. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I go to the bottom There's a too. For that. Speaking of yeah. Cream. So oh God, people. <laughs> yes, there, there's a right. subreddit for cream, Kyle. You were saying. I I, I just meant it, it's called cum sluts. Oh, yeah, I thought I, you. I oh, I'm familiar with that yeah, subreddit. Yeah. Yes, no, I. It, I don't think he was talking about what he puts on his potatoes. No, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm I'm all, I'm understandable <laughs> in thinking so, though, given the proximity yeah. to potato discussion. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Or I what do you use those potatoes for? Yeah. Mm. Ah, or why are you judging what old, he puts on his potatoes? You know. What's that like old oh internet God, meme of uh, of what people did to like fuck, uh, like you fuck a bagel or you fuck like a pineapple in the microwave or something do you remember hearing about that like that that meme from years ago i think you and i have different internets <laughs> I don't I always, I, internet. it's funny because i'm like it's tomato <laughs> you know, it's, oh, okay it's maybe it was tomato. Tomato. I, my uh I, like early in my marriage my wife and i got a vhs tape on like how to be better at sex there was like a a guys and a girls like dual tape thing and uh yeah. Like and, a box set, and, and each of you yes. had a video cassette, and it was one was, was like red and blue, or did you have like the symbols for male and female? Like it was how did pink they... and blue, and, and yep. one had like a heart on it, and I don't know what the blue one had. A cock, and it, probably. <laughs> yeah. and, and I remember we wait, we, wait, one had one had a heart on it, and the other one had a heart on it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. And I remember we we watched it, and uh, like I read like it had to be a better lover to a woman, and she not read watched and she watched the opposite and then at one point i was like it was like you know it just makes sense that we watch the other person's tape even though it seems gay to me to figure out how to like better handle a cock you know let's see what they're teaching him there yeah and it was like cosmo like like hey check this out put a hole in the tomato microwave it for like 40 seconds jerk him off with that and i'm like no, i I, don't oh. you ever I get to see like 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 that first, if you hadn't checked up on it, she comes to walk toward you. You're blindfolded, tied to the bed with a heart on, and she's got a tomato she microwaved for two and a half minutes, <laughs> which is at is at fucking thermite temperatures. And as she slides it over the head of her cock and you start screaming louder than she's ever heard in her life, she's like, It really does work. <laughs> 
Do you think I that just... those tapes were made by like an angry divorced woman? That's quite who possible. Was just trying to yeah. like fuck with married couples. That's so stupid. That that's so yeah. stupid. I've seen so many of those Cosmo things about like putting a donut over his dick and eating it. Like, don't put a donut on my dick. Like, are you fucking crazy? Like, first of all, you don't need a donut. Second of all, doesn't even matter what, they what she looks like. That is is chewing time. They didn't factor into that. It's not just you bite a donut and then you eat the whole donut and then you're quickly on to the blowjob. No, you're now sitting there with your penis stuck through a sugar dough ring as this person slowly takes their time eating Ooh. the donut because it was never about giving you head. It was an excuse to eat the donut the whole time. <laughs> and I'm worried was. that now I've got sugar on my cock. If that cock goes in her pussy, we could have a yeast infection yeah. scenario. You on the, the cock donut and your <laughs> coffee. Like, make it a morning ritual. Like, like, what is this? That's absurd. I don't if want I any put that. sugar in a girl, that's like exactly how this happens. That's how you ruin you know a game. doesn't. That, that's absolutely true, Woody. And, and wait, but one, like, don't put sugar in a vagina. They don't mix a, mm. at all. And, and and I'm so shocked that that like like a lot of people don't know that. So they're like putting like jelly and jam and pussies and eating it. And mm. uh, remember, remember when we were watching that 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 uh, that video about the prisoner talking about eating a jelly ass. Like, yeah, I could my ass eat. <laughs> I get my yeah. salad tossed all the time. <laughs> Little grape jelly in my ass. That boy gonna eat eat my ass, boy. Tur toss my salad in my jelly ass. You know, so so don't do that. You'll mm. get a terrible yeast infection. That doesn't work. But wait, There's so yeast, many lubricants. Yeast plus sugar equals donut. Mm, oh wait, you, so you, you add some barley down there. We got a <laughs> and then you make a new donut. Where do you put the where do you put the tap in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it only works for trans women. Yeah. I, is, oh, every time we do this, I'm like, my mom watches this show. <laughs> yeah. My mom's watching this right now. Well, no, my mom is definitely not watching this, this week. <laughs> uh, yeah, she took issue with you once, Kyle. I think, I think that you uh, disparaged what some, like, you, you made a distinction between good labias and bad labias. You were all about the any, and, yeah. and, um... Your mother and was she, offended by that? She was. I don't she, want to talk about your mother's wow, Now we know what... I well, we don't know, no. Vaginas. I, I think I she just felt like in general, you were being there are selective. Two of vagina. Mm. Okay? And it, 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 it's like travel used to be in the old days. Okay? <laughs> Remember, we, we've all seen the Titanic. Mm -hmm. There's all those fancy people up on top with fucking champagne. <laughs> I can believe I can fly and all that shit. And then there was those dirty cocksuckers down below, like triple <laughs> bunk bedding it. That's what those big meaty pussies are for. They're triple bunk bedding it somewhere down in a lower class of people. <laughs> Nobody wants your big roast beef vagina <laughs> that, that can't be contained within normal people underwear. You've always got to have some big wide cross. Like, like, I know does it look I like shop, you're like walking, like, does it look like uh, they stole a newspaper? It's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, just like a bundle down there. <laughs> it looks like a jellyfish is, is like, it looks like a regular one. Vagina. That's, like, like, I don't want smuggling. any part of it. The it, any it's a, vagina is the pinnacle of vaginas. I have been fortunate to experience many an any vagina in my life. One of my favorite subreddits is r any i n n i e. Now you go there if you want to see some quality vaginas. There's no that's belly buttons on, like, that, like, on that on that subreddit. <laughs> that's an any vagina. That that's that's perfect. That's what we want. But I, but if I see a a sloppy Arby's roast beef and cheddar kind of fucking pussy. I oh, immediately it's the cheddar that is that the, the risk. Yeah, the cheddar is definitely the problem. <laughs> <You> <laughs> although the although this tomato part. goes with it quite well. Yeah. A little horsey <laughs> sauce, maybe? Horsey yeah. Sauce. Okay, yeah. well, here's a legit question, Kyle. If hmm. you are with a girl who is otherwise a 10, and then hmm. that happens, what do you, you know? do? No, I, I've, I've, I've had this, and like I fucked the girl, but the whole time I'm like, ah, God, that thing is gross. I don't want that thing on my penis. Like, I, I don't want serious? that. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Like, I don't like. I always thought this was one of the penis. reasons that guys were better than girls. That, like, that that, that we don't discriminate, discriminate based on, on vaginas. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, I absolutely. Like, will big labia, like small labia, also, medium labia. We're cool. Say, we found a winner with the first world problems. <laughs> this is, not a first world. This is even worse than me wanting green screens to be up to spare me from having to look at other people's misery. <laughs> even worse than that. I, I, I don't want like, a fucking ugly pussy. But I, like, like, I, like, like, <laughs> and I could just imagine like four women sitting around and be like, "Well, I just won't fuck a, a guy who, who's not circumcised. I just won't." Like nobody would shit on her idea. She's like, "No, it's unattractive. It's gross. There's skin hanging off the end. I'm not into it. I will not well, fuck an ugly you, guy." What can you do if you are a woman with that? 
You can get a vaginoplasty. Uh, there's a uh, there's a surgery. They'll go down there. Labia. And they'll make Labiaplasty, I think. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. We can get both, right? There's a there's an um, there's another. Yeah, if you're, if you're, well, while you're down there, just <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> like, there's another surgery they can get to that'll actually tighten your vagina. They can make your vagina super tight, um, and they can even I saw I, I saw a thing where they uh, gave a girl back her virginity. They cut like a patch of skin, and they uh, they made her a false hymen. So that when she no, had that's sex, that's it, clickbait. No one was given their virginity back. This isn't the Bible. <laughs> no. All right, all right. That might have been a Law and Order back? episode. Like, wait, <laughs> with hold on a second. <laughs> wait, did the did the surgery look like someone just doing this for a while? <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of rubbing, the way I remember it. Um, I lost. <laughs> the Are you sure this, was, oh, was like, this wasn't a Pornhub yeah. massage video? <laughs> yeah. I, that, that's a, I've got those bookmarked. I would never get them confused. My that, bad. That, that, that yeah. Is, yeah, um, no, I, I'm not into uh, unattractive vaginas, and the more, the more labia there what is, is your the outer because lip I feel like is. that's part of the confusion here. Mm. Is like you're, we well, we might be we can pull up some images, but I'm not sure we can show the crowd. You no, know, obviously can't that, show pictures of vaginas to the crowd on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all right, let me tell you some characteristics that would immediately be like that's a no go. Whenever I see a porno picture and the girl is just standing, like there's a subreddit I enjoy called that gap, and it's all about mm. the gap between a woman's thighs when she's standing. If there are that gap, yeah, that gap between her thighs, like right below. It's a ass. trademark of a very fit woman. Yeah, it's almost like a, yeah. a certain uh, silhouette shape. It's indicative of like a sexy lady to begin with. Uh, if that's there, it's probably yeah. true. Like when guys have that that good, whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah that, that V thing. Of, of, like like Jesus. Yeah, yeah the Jesus look. That's great. Christ, look. Christ figured out those kettlebells a millennium <laughs> going. Never on skip that court day. Never skipped. Can't wait day. for fitness talk. We'll have to cover it. <laughs> well, yeah. Lots of cardio, too, I'd imagine. And, and the fish diet. That, that I like to think to, Christ like, was a swimmer. To, we're, we're, finish the vagina thing. That? Yeah, the you're vagina about? thing. Uh, if, if I see pussy lips hanging down, like if there was a silhouette of you and I can see inner lip coming down, that's an absolute no-go. Like it's okay if when you're aroused... They peek out a little bit, right? Like, like because you know they're they're going to become engorged with blood. This is a sexual organ. It's going to change. It's appears it's going to change a little bit. If it's hanging out during like regular walking around time to the point where I'm like, yeah, yeah, that there it is. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, there's a lot of it. I, just, no, absolutely not. No, it needs to be an any. Like, 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 it really does need to be. Honestly, for me, it would have to be like bananas. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, for me, I like, know. it would have to be to the point that I would be concerned of, about, like, for, a for me, condition or a disease. It would have like, to be if I had just the tip in and it's still covered. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, like, that's, yeah. that's too common. much. No, it's not for, common. For me, like, for me, at you. Wait, how <laughs> small is the rest of it? Uh, for me, it would have to be actual physical bananas. Like it would have to resemble <laughs> a cluster of bananas. Actual <laughs> cluster of bananas. Yellow and five, six inches long. A cluster yeah. of bananas yeah. <laughs> with a peel. And even then, I'll give it to go. And the, only and the little, way to and the little to nubbin at the end. <laughs> yeah. Bananas are fine. You might wait for thirty seconds. So with the peel, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, let me, I'm going to show you some graphic images now. Like, like, like this vagina right. simply would not cut it. This vagina. Is, it, it would not cut it. I can't wait to By see this image. By the way, Kyle did not search these. He just had these up. Yes. Yes. This, I, this is my wallpaper currently. Yeah. This is my wallpaper. <clears throat> so this would, this would be a, a no-go for you. That's a no-go. That is a no-go. Too much going on there. That, now, I will admit there's a lot going on there, but I don't <laughs> think you're going to find a showstopper that... that yeah, that, yeah, there's a lot going on there, but I mean... Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give us, give us a show stop here. But if we if we if we can sense that there is something afoot, like an STD or a deformity that you're trying to pass off as a normal vag, we will know. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, feel and, like. And also, the butthole is important too. If she has a gross butthole, I'm not into that either. Like, like that thing needs to look like a balloon knot, right? Like it just needs to like. It needs to be a cute butthole. I, I don't want some gross butthole back there that I that I don't even want to look at. And every time I do catch a peek at it, I'm like, Ugh. like you know, if you if have it to make some like, tactical thumb remember that testicle? Just... <laughs> if, if it looks like something from Rick and Morty, like like uh, look at that asshole. It looks like it might go blah 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 and like talk to me out of nowhere. Like no, no. Look, I, here, I need Kyle, the problem is with... you've got to stop having sex on mushrooms. <laughs> 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 So much more fun. I can't <laughs> show you the images that Kyle's linking. 
However, they do kind of exist on the reflection of my golden play button. So if you look real carefully, yeah, you, you'll see very little. Oh, I just yeah. thought that that was what YouTube's golden play button looked like now. <laughs> just a big labia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic just set of meat curtains. So, but Kyle, you, you've, brought, you've brought a nice young woman home. You're about mm, yeah. to, to kick it off. You pull off. Her, well, I'm going to wait for you to send the next image. Are you sending another one? I, I was looking for some of the worst ones, but like, like some of them just look like, you know, but yeah. what is this? What is that? Ah, here you go. Like, like <laughs> here you go. Nobody, I can't nobody wait to would see. fuck this. Like, you'd have to be a farm animal or he something. really is this slow is... at copy and pasting. <laughs> well, it's because I'm, like, using one hand, and I'm just using a mouse, and I've got, like, multiple... I don't have multiple Ooh. monitors. And... What's the other hand doing? Oh, yeah, that's not... That's... that. There's Next no way this is a thing. Here. That's not real. <laughs> yeah, there's no way <laughs> this is a thing. Yeah, oh, you might have found one. one. This is extraordinary. That... This oh, is that's... All right. That's that is great. a penis-sized labia, really. Oh yeah. By the way, I am. I am. As soon as these pictures come in, I'm scrolling back up to where you wrote "bump" a whole bunch of times. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you, like the, the disparity here with my out. opinion. This vagina, I would be okay with, but because what's been done to this vagina is they took one of those pumps and they put it over the vagina. And went, oh, the penis pumps, the, the vacuum yeah. things. Yeah, they have a penis pump that that has a vagina attachment. It's shaped like a big cup. And you put it over the entire vagina, and it doesn't fit every girl. She has to have. If you start with some big fucking oh. nasty vagina, it won't work. But you, and it like super engorges the entire outer and inner vagina. It's crazy. I've never done this, but I would totally be down. But that keep, looks keep prolapsed looking. almost. It looks I, like an overripe I'm, peach. <laughs> it does. No, I, I'm I sure you're say, right. Say it looks a bit prolapsed, but but yeah. it's entirely healthy. What's <laughs> happened here? Now they do make another attachment for the asshole, which I would not recommend, and it basically does like prolapse your asshole. Don't do that. But the mm. vagina thing's okay. There'll be no lasting side effects. People are this. purchasing a tool. Can I to can I subscribe to your newsletter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got well, I've got an email. I send out an email biweekly. Um, okay. toys, coupons, all kinds of stuff. Toys yeah. and coupons. <laughs> it's yeah, I mean, but okay, Kyle. The question I was asking you, or I was starting to. Yeah. The second one, not the most recent one you posted of the the blown up one. The the second yeah. one. You, you mm. have a wonderful night with a lady. You go to dinner. She's very sweet. You're getting you're getting on well. You get home. You start taking the pants off. You know you you've you've ignored the bulge thus far. So <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> and you get you get those panties down, and you're. And that's that's what you're confronted with. What this, what happens realistically? Well, Don't say well, get out of before my he house goes. You know the second one for people who don't have the benefit of the image was the most extreme one. It was a four and five yeah. inch labia. Also, before yeah. he goes, uh, Kyle, do you bother to go to dinner first? Because <laughs> yeah, with those, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, but the way because yeah. the way you were talking about it was like oh tens and I I'd kick them out like it just it sounds like they're all just like right outside your door right now just waiting. There's at least two or three out there. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're clawing um, yeah. like Walking Dead. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to go to dinner for a movie. I'm not not to say they're just gonna fuck them and, and not take them anywhere. You know, I like a little companionship. But but yeah, we're we're, we're having say, if if I pull down her panties and it's it depends how big it is. There is a point where I'm like, ah, there's something wrong with do, that. Do you do well with women in like high school and college? Uh, I did okay. I didn't go to college. Uh, but, okay. but I've kind of I've kind of done okay always, I guess. Not fantastically, but you know, as, as life has gone on, I guess I've done better and better. Right. Because what I'm wondering is, you know, and like that that's true with you know a lot of guys, especially guys with you know successful careers, you tend to do better. And what I'm wondering is, when did your standards change to this? Because I don't think that that's where you were when you first started. Oh, it absolutely no. There's never been a time when I would like. I've always found that those. I remember my cousins. My cousin had porno mags that he'd taken from his dad. Oh, thank God that that's where this went. Yeah, yeah, right? You're like, oh, this cousin had a huge fast. labia. And <laughs> Southern, turned me off for the rest it. of my I, life. Yeah. I need an adult. Yeah, so, so, so he had like porno mags that he had smuggled and he had a supply. And, uh, and I remember looking and seeing this woman with, who was like spread eagle and you see her vagina. And it was the first time I'd seen like the inner lips and she had them spread. And they were, it was like a, it was like butterfly wings, you know, like coming out and they were so big and they were very dark. And I remember then at like 12, maybe I was definitely attracted to women and I was like, oh, I want to see more of this. But I was like, Ugh. I didn't Less know that. that. There's, Wait, there's a difference between what you want to see. I didn't know that this was going to be part of sex. It, ma it literally made me think that like every time I'm going to have sex, 
one of those is going to like clamp onto my dick, kind of like that thing from Alien. Like, like I, I found it really repugnant, specifically the lips, because there were plenty of other like, vaginas. Like you thought in that they were like prehensile head lips that would be like whipping like out it. there. I recognize that not every pussy was like that because there's other pussies in the book, right? It's like a Hustler magazine, so there's lots of that. That would have been amazing if every single picture was of that same person. Same. Yes, like, that, like what if that was my man. uncle's fetish? Like he, like he, yeah. his, the magazine was called like Meat Hangers or something, and he's it's just like page after page of fucking low hanging lips just just sticking out like a sick cow. Fucking yeah. just no, I, I I'm sorry, I, I I wouldn't be into that. Um, How great of a like band I, name I, is low hanging like, lips. There's a the lot of other things that I'd be okay <laughs> with. I would be okay with the girl being a little overweight. Or like I don't know, like like you know, having a lazy eye, or or, or. you would prefer other... a lazy eye and being oh, overweight yeah. to a yeah. large labia. I knew a that girl, is bananas. Uh, I knew a girl, and one of her eyes went a little bit to the left. You know, her left eye went a little bit to the left. And if you're having a straight on conversation, you notice it. All the other time, very cute, very attractive, totally would have been down. And I always thought, like, if I ever get with this girl. I'm gonna offer to fix her eye because it's like three grand, and it would improve her exponentially, right? And like built an excuse to not listen to her stories, right? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't know you were talking to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking to him. I you were talking oh, to him. that would hurt her it's feelings so here, much. You know? <laughs> oh, of course not. You never do that to someone in real life with a lazy eye. That'd be awful. <laughs> yeah, I would much rather have a girl with a lazy eye. Um, no offense to anyone out there with lazy eyes. It's not even a big deal to me because I. Cause I it's, it's a surgery, you know, you get those muscles, uh, they, they fix it, and it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm, not like I got a big forehead or something, can't do shit about I just, that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just fucked love in the that idea situation. of, like, Kyle just <laughs> being that. this, like, generous, like, sex fairy. Like, the idea <laughs> that, like, like, he'll have sex with a woman, and then he'll just be like, you know what, that wasn't perfect. Here's three grand. Go get that fixed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> or, 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 <laughs> I've offered that to girlfriends before. Like, like not in a, like, like, this sounds like super, like, like, misogynist and crazy. Like, you start dating a girl, like, yeah, you could use some tits. Like, right, like, right away. But, like, I've totally offered girls who were already inquiring about this. I'm like, ah, I'd kind of like a boob job or a butt job or something. Like, yeah, let's do that. It sounds like an investment. I'll invest, but we'll both benefit from this, right? Like, I'd like you to have some new boobs, too. That sounds like a good thing. But, yeah. but seriously, though, I would much prefer the lazy eye to a very large labia. Um, there, there's an. Ex- you you there's wouldn't a... want to like just like have it like let her drag it across your face. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 like I imagine like like spreading it and like putting it over my nose and it like covers my whole nose and it's just it, and, and I try to pull away but I can't. It's got me. It's what about using it? If you, but you could use it like a like if you have to blow your nose during sex, it's convenient. You could like grab the lips and. Yeah. Why's <laughs> that be her you're, favorite you're thing? Out and she's like, "Oh yeah, keep going." You're like, "I know what I'm doing." <laughs> <laughs> you become vain every time you eat your pussy. Because you're fucking or just every six seconds you have to. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You know. And, and I'm saying this from a place where, like, if there was something wrong with people. my genitals, like, like if there was something unseemly going on with mine, I would totally be like, "Hey, this isn't cutting it." <laughs> I, if I were a woman with a large labia, I'd get it fixed. If I were a man with like, let's just say, I'm not going to say with a foreskin, but with like some crazy foreskin, like you read that where people have problems, like they can't get an erection like because the skin will tear, like the skin will come back over the head. Like there are people who have like issues like that. Like if you had some crazy anteater thing where like it's just absurd, like a wizard sleeve, you know, you got <laughs> to get that fixed. By the way, if you did have that legitimate rage would comment about your huge foreskin. <laughs> That's his fetish, and he'd be right yeah. to do it. You know? <laughs> In fairness, on that one, I would agree with him. Uh, yeah, you see, it's, oh, uh, man, this is a topic I didn't see us venturing into. No, no, that one was well, not on my Bob list. Wanted to, 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 <laughs> to, 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 <laughs> this was in the show notes you guys emailed me. Don't pretend. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if it's show notes. Like, I don't think my mom com, is man. on Team Kyle yet. I, I, I think you just. It's, it's a divisive issue, and she's not on your side. Well, maybe oh. Kyle said something that was compelling to her this week. You'll have to ask. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll come up. Oh, my. Yeah, ask her if I sold her this week with, with my right. description of, of okay. what a vagina is supposed to look like. Shouldn't men really have some input on that? Well, yeah, of course men have input on just like women have input on like, you have a total right to be like this even if we think it's silly. Like If you're like, I only like this particular physical trait. And you I know, in Australia... I, I, this is another PKA fact. This might be like that Law and Order uh, episode where they gave the girl back her hymen. But 
isn't Australia where there's a certain class of vagina that they won't even show in pornography? Like, I, I'm pretty sure in, in Australia that they will not depict a meaty vagina in their pornography. Let me let me let me double check. I that. think I was, what you're thinking of is Australia. this. It, it, I, I'll go. They, in Australia, they have child pornography laws that make it illegal to show women who are over 18 but look under 18. So, you, like, they can't have small boobs is one of the things. That like, is. That is doesn't make any sense at all. Actually, it's that the Australian Classification Board decides what vaginas must look like in soft porn. If a vagina has excess wow. tissue, it may be labeled as offensive. So porn companies must digitally edit or remove parts of the labia, leading to only one type of vagina seen in porn magazines. First I of was, all, who uh, is still looking at porn magazines? I was just in Australia about a week ago, and somehow this didn't come up. <laughs> uh, no, nobody mentioned it at all. It's a real no hot one, button like, issue. Look, I was there. I was in. I went to three different cities, and no one, not even once. I think that maybe that was like they were prejudiced against me for being American, so they didn't like let me in on what was really going on. Otherwise, yeah. I think this would have come up. Here, I'm reading. Um, an anti-censorship Australian sex party is talking about the 2005 ruling, which spe specified that even depictions of women who are over 18 but appear to be underage may be judged illegal. This practice is a strategic way to fight child porn, but it's an absurd to a perfectly normal female body type. And then it goes on to talk about how small boobs are one of the things that they ban in Australia. Mm. A lot of women, yeah, would, they it's think just it's sexist. Like saying, yeah, if you have, if I have not too many Australian yeah, users on the tiny tits woman. subreddit. <laughs> I, I wonder if I, they not like, old. do they ban small dicks for the same thing? Like, you know what? Way, that guy's I'm, a little petite. I'm so terrified of Kyle's uh, front page on Reddit. Like, what you're subscribed to? <laughs> <laughs> I've got some good ones in there. Bad mm. Dragon's my favorite, but we can't spend a whole show talking about Dragon. We've already Cock. spent a whole again show about <laughs> two shows. <Yeah. laughs> that's actually, you ever yeah, see a Dragon good. Cock? It's going to get weird if we talk about it again. Uh, <laughs> and the horse ones are more disturbing than the dragon ones to me. And they're colored. <laughs> so we're gonna they're talk colored. About it right. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it on Reddit not long ago. First of all, they're like as long as my arm. Uh, they actually ejaculate these dildos. And, Some do. But the most disturbing part of it for me personally. Hedge that statement. Make was, sure we don't give any false info. Good thinking, Kyle. You know, yeah, you know, the Kyle, coloring. You, like, you, you know how there's open, horses, open they're spotted. So, I'm an investor, okay? I, I got to keep it safe <laughs> over at baddragoncock.com. It's not bad dragon cock, but they, their products are great. I just saw, like you said on Reddit, there was some girl like fucking herself with a horse dick, and she was like, ah, it hurts my cervix so good. And I'm just like, all right, just keep on flipping through the homepage. Like, like this is this that is, is an Reddit. uncommon opinion I've learned. Uh, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. That it, some girls are like, ah, you just punch me in the balls, and, mm -hmm. and then, but then some girls really like that. So you, you, you get a little bit of both. Well, I, I learn something I've new every day. Episodes of SVU to understand what a cycle of abuse does. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> SVU teaches a lot of valuable lessons. Yeah, well, it, it really it teaches one valuable lesson over and over, which and is Ice T can No, the main the main <laughs> the main thing that SBU teaches is that when a show is successful, they stop paying for writers. <laughs> Nineteen seasons in, like, when are they going to give it up? Like, they can only fuck so many ki fuck a kid so many ways. Like, hmm. but John, I mean, John Mulaney has the definitive stand up on Law and Order. There's no one who will ever write better Law and Order jokes than Mulaney's already written. Yeah, his. I hope he comes out with a new one soon because he's a guy that. Yeah. Like, he's, his stand up is just fucking hilarious. I, I don't. Like, I, I've never like gone on the YouTube adventure looking for his interviews or anything like that. I've just watched yeah. the stuff on Netflix, his two specials, but they're great. I know you he, like him as well, Kyle, right? Mulaney. So yeah. I, I got to work with him, and the show couldn't have been better set up for me to succeed and for it to be difficult for him. Like, it was. We were both doing an hour. And it's hard to do an hour after someone has just done an hour. And it was at uh, Northeastern University, and the sponsoring group was my fraternity. And so, like, everybody came out for me, and I had a great set. And then he was on stage for maybe 30 seconds before it didn't matter that I had ever been alive. <laughs> like, he is so good that it, like, in that, this situation didn't matter. He was just amazing. He, uh, I just every time I think about his jokes, the the thing that jumps out at me is like his eighth graders make fun of you 
the way they know you don't want to be made fun of. And <laughs> yeah. then the way he calls out with such self-awareness, the, his own physical flaws of like, you know, look at that high waisted man. He's got feminine hips. And like, then you yeah. look at his body and you're like, holy shit, he has incredibly high waists and mm. big feminine hips. Like that's exactly what those kids would say. I don't, I, don't, I, I think about that and just laugh sometimes. It's one of those. It was things. brilliant. But yeah, hopefully he yeah. makes something new. Kyle, what does your shirt say? Um, it's a Sunnyvale. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm captain of the Sunnyvale. Uh, uh, what is it? Ball hockey league. If you don't know, what chance do I have? <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch like 12 seasons of Trailer Park Boys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I just saw the I just saw the NY for a moment. I was like, oh, is that like a New York thing? I'm like, nope. Yankees Turns out no. I used to play ball hockey. Yeah. It was my first style of hockey that I played. Uh, Great story. Ball hockey. I know. Yeah, yeah. We, they called it deck hockey where I was from, and it's basically yeah. street hockey, but in a arena with boards and stuff. Oh, nice! I played that in. I think I played that in like gym class in high school. It was fun. Yeah, something like that. That's all I got on the subject. Uh, <laughs> all you got on the hockey subject. That's that's more than Kyle brings to hockey yeah, subjects. <laughs> I have more. I have more on, like regular hockey. I haven't watched on, hockey on or even hockey. paid attention to it since the Blues got knocked out. Please tell me I Pittsburgh always, is losing. Uh, Pittsburgh's losing two to one in the series. Good. Yeah. Against Ottawa. I am a New York Rangers fan, and we had it looked like we were going to take Ottawa down, and then we uh, did. We totally shit the bed. So that sucked. <sighs> On the plus side, though, I had Montreal beating New York in the first round. I thought that was going to be hard for the Rangers, and they ended up. Totally yeah. proved me wrong on that. I didn't yeah, think the I, Blues it, were going to make it through the first round. It really looked like they had turned around and been a completely different team, and then they were uh, leading by a lot, and then they sucked, and then I stopped watching as well. I always, like, I, I'm, I'm watching the games again now because I want to follow it all the way through, but usually yeah. the round right after the Blues get eliminated, I just check out because it's just obnoxious. And then in the end, it's all... Yeah, yeah, I catch up by the Stanley Cup, but, like, because the Rangers are never knocked out in the round before the Stanley Cup. Usually it's a couple of rounds before, so it gives me time to recover. So. Yes, oh, first world problems. Year. Do your teams make the playoffs? Yeah. <laughs> your team? No, you don't even get to complain, Woody. The Flyers missed the playoffs by one fucking point, and they got the second overall draft pick this year because some random dice roll nonsense. So I yeah, will that's still really complain. It's, it's so crazy, by the way, that the Celtics got the first overall pick also. They're yeah, I don't know much about the, the NBA, playoffs. but they're gonna like. How does that so they work? Traded for they basically oh. traded the they basically traded the Nets for the ability to like trade up in picks, and then the Nets pick is the one that got it. Which so then the Celtics got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I, I don't know anything about basketball, but I saw that trending on Twitter, and it just made me feel like, oh man, if I loved basketball, I would be so pissed <laughs> right now. Like at, at yeah. you know, if you're like a 76ers fan or whatever the hell and you see that the team that's in the final four they're in the final four right like the celtics uh, it's not called that but yes oh yeah the, the last four uh, they are the they are part of the four teams that are remaining but the part final of the four, four is, remaining yeah. team yeah final four yes. that's college, college basketball. basketball yeah but yeah my knowledge is showing anyway, <laughs> that's all, uh, i ran out of things to talk about about basketball mid-sentence that's well, how yeah, little, i think I know. Yeah, the way that you're like, yeah, if, if that basketball team scores more runs and they wear their football hats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they wearing their half pants? You know? Yeah. <laughs> Those, I really like, I want to get a pair of basketball knickers. <laughs> basketball knickers and a sleeveless tee. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be, I'll be hip. I'll get $1,300 sneakers made by a starving Cambodian. Yeah. <laughs> People yeah. will respect me. I think it is fun though that we then send the like the team that loses in the finals, we send those t-shirts to the same kid that made the sneakers in the beginning. It's a nice mm. Hakuna Matata. I really yep. like that. The circle you always see that in slavery. like charity fixtures where you'll see like, you know, two thousand ten Philadelphia Flyers Stanley Cup champions and a bunch of people like with hands cut off because they didn't bring enough rubber back to the factory, you know, wearing that yeah. sad macabre shirt now. Look, they so. should have thought of that before they didn't bring that rubber back. Well, it is sleeveless. <laughs> That's true. They yeah. knew oh my God, Kyle. Kyle, time. <laughs> Kyle with the three pointer yeah. <laughs> from downtown. All right, let me uh, give everybody a quick word here from Nature Box. 
<clears throat> what do you do when you want a snack, but all you can find is junk food? Rely on your self-control to resist the temptation? Please, you eat the junk food. Start snacking healthy with Nature Box. Nature Box makes snacks that actually taste great and are better for you. Created with high-quality ingredients that are free from artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, so you can feel great about snacking. Some of our personal favorites here include the peanut butter nom noms, the chocolate <laughs> hazelnut granola, and the praline pumpkin seeds. I also like the coconut cashews a lot. Uh, Nature Box recently made their service even better. Now you can order as much as you want, as often as you want, with no minimum purchase required, and you can cancel any time. It's simple. Go to NatureBox.com and check out their snack catalog. There are over 100 snacks to choose from, and they are constantly adding delicious new snacks. Choose the snacks you want, and they'll deliver them right to your door. With Nature Box, you'll never get bored. There are new snacks each month inspired by real customer feedback, and if you ever try a snack you don't <laughs> like, Nature Box will replace it for free. And right now, you'll save even more. Nature Box is offering Painkiller Already fans 50% off your first order. When you go to naturebox.com slash PKA, that's naturebox.com slash PKA for 50% off your first order. Naturebox.com slash PKA. All right. Yeah, I would show you what the food looks like, but I ate it all. Tweet. I ate it all. It was so good. Yeah. I think you I guys like- should should talk to nature box and have a thing where like they send a free one to your guests i'm just spitballing for ideas <laughs> they did that once they they, they had that uh, offer before but currently it's 50 percent off so it's it's kind of like yeah. that but better mm. yeah well i mean i don't get a free one but you know i don't care look i don't care what if your audience gets a discount i mean that's very nice for them and <laughs> it's i not congratulate about them. them on it it's about steve it's about, it's about i want a free nature box right now uh, and a free mattress as well, please. Well, we're just glad you're speaking in the first person again. Yeah. Yeah. For all this. T- yeah, I was going to be like, comedian wants free nature box. <laughs> you guys title do like a clip. Like that. Just title it. Uh, I had a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine put up a heckler clip. Uh, Miles Weber, uh, who, oh, who I'm performing with this weekend, um, had uh, put up a heckler clip uh, where it said, uh, comedian kicks heckler in the face. And it was like, and he was performing in a stage where like the stage is much higher, where people's faces are right around where his foot would be. And so it really looked like that could happen. And then obviously he just handled the heckler really well. And the comments he wrote, like, you really wanted to see me do that, you sick fucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, this is why you clicked on the video, you, you terrible person. Well, uh, I've seen that, right? Like, like I, yeah. can't rec- I don't know who it was, but there's that one comedian who's kind of like in... I don't know, it looks like he's in a bar. Like, his stage is, like, one step up. It's the opposite of what you just described. And some yeah. guy who, like, seemed like he fucked with him a lot, heckled with him a lot, they're having this altercation. He's like, come at me. Go ahead. Come up here. I dare you. I dare And the guy comes at him again, and he just drop kicks this guy to the ground. Oh, I don't know that. Uh, I'll see if I can find it. Yeah. I, I saw, I've, of course, seen the one where the comedian, I think he's either a comedian or maybe the he's guitar a player, musical yeah. comedian. No, he's a, yeah, he's a musical guy from, that was, Dunk. like, God, that was, like, the 80s. <laughs> He dunks it with a guitar and like decks yeah. the guy, and he's like, "Hey, you all saw it, right? He came right at me." And they're all like, "Bro, yeah. <laughs> like, no, yeah. bro, you took him out. You escalated like four notches." <laughs> yeah, Let me see if the, I can find uh, where the comedian, comedian kicks the guy. There's there was one where uh, Brian Bruner got attacked on stage, like a physical attack. I've never I've never been like I've dealt with a bunch of hecklers, but I've never had any physical problems with them. Um, you know, the, the trick is to make sure that the rest of the crowd is with you enough to stop any of that. So in case it comes up. The only one who's made it to the stage, there was a woman who made it to the stage once, but she just was drunk and wanted attention. And she tried to grab the microphone and I kind of just like, just shouldered her away. Um, that's not my shoulder, that's my elbow. But you know, I, all right, I kind of did that. And, uh, and it was a new club and the security guards like were afraid of like grabbing anybody. And so then they chased her through the crowd like it was the end of a Benny Hill episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like they wouldn't touch her. And she just kept running around over and over again. It was uh, utterly ridiculous. Something about the drunk woman, drunk woman wanting attention makes me hate her. Yeah. That, I, there I, was I, a, that's like a class of woman right there with the one who yells stop at a fight. I, it just, stop! Yeah. Stop! Oh, hate him, hate him, hate him. <laughs> yeah. The, the yeah the, well what she's yelling is this fight needs to be about me. <laughs> like, right. You're not paying attention to me in this moment. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, the, I was it's, uh, it's the, I need to see if any of you empathize with this too. I was listening to another podcast that's one of my favorites, The Dick Show with Dick Masterson, and he yeah. I, I'd never articulated the thought in my head, but he said something that pissed him off, and I like immediately resonated with it so much, and it was like fake gasping 
that women do that stresses you out when you think something bad has happened, but it's like, <gasps> you're like, <gasps> oh. oh, oh, I thought I'd misplaced my purse. Or like or <laughs> yeah. something along those lines. Or, <gasps> oh, or, oh, I, th- I thought I forgot my mascara in the car. I'm going to have to go get it. Like that kind of thing. And it immediately triggered it's like something in my head where like, not just like girlfriends, but like even like moms, grandmas, whatever. Like it's just a woman thing where they just. Things go, are <gasps> very low stakes in their world. Okay. Like, it doesn't take much to elicit a. <gasps> like when in I your was... world, that's when a tarantula yeah. lands on your jugular as you were digging through those boxes in the garage. <gasps> to them, it's like. I wore my brown shoes. When I <laughs> when I was uh, first learning how to drive, like the, the first time I was in a car where I was driving and my mother was in the passenger seat, mm. like everything I would do, she would like grab at the dashboard and gasp really quick. And I was just like, you understand that's going to make me crash, right? Like the, yeah. the idea that you're making me think that something's coming at us from your side. Yeah. <laughs> like I this is way more exactly. dangerous. My yeah. mom did that too, where it was like, you know, the best thing you can do is just sit there and pretend like I'm not in danger the same way that like when a kid falls if you go like oh my god oh my god oh my god are you okay they're gonna be like but if you go ah this guy fucking on the ground the kid will be like am I hurt he's responding in a way that leads me to believe I am not hurt you know and so the kid doesn't do it like but oh the whole gasping every time you put on a little too much "Mm," you know and there's and there's a car you know a mere half mile in front of you so. I used to, and the other way around. I used to, uh, I used to have this constant disagreement with my ex, where every time, because I would often, yeah, I'm a big sports fan, and you know, I would look at my phone, and I'd be like, oh man, and she'd be like, well, what's wrong? I was like, what do you mean, what's wrong? Like the Mets lost, and she's like, oh, I thought so. I was like, we've been together seven years. You don't know my noises yet. You know what I mean? Like you don't know my level of like, if something was genuinely wrong, you think I would only go, oh damn it, <laughs> you know, like wouldn't it? <laughs> Wouldn't I have done something a little bit with a little bit more flourish than that? Let's watch yeah. this comedian kick this guy. Oh, by the way, I know I know this clip, and I can tell you some behind the scenes from it. Oh, cool. Uh, just a second, I'm queuing up. Are we starting yeah. anywhere? Or are we going from the or <coughs> just beginning? Uh, we could start from ten seconds to save you a little bit of bullshit. All right. Yeah. Go- I don't even need to watch this one. Three, two, right. one, play. Right now, have a seat. Ray, Ooh. Ray, if you put your hands on me again, if you put your hands on me again, yeah, this was again, the guy who regret. got okay. dropkick is like a mentally challenged Go guy who goes to a bunch of the open mics, Go and a lot of the local comics in that scene don't like the guy because you, you know for a while like you feel bro. bad when someone's mentally challenged, and then after a while you're just like, but this guy is ruining all these shows. He's and wearing an aluminum foil hat. Yes, and he... Ah, so the retarded gentleman is the one in the tin hat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Actually, I think he's the one on stage in this clip. Uh, because it's the, the idea that someone... You've got someone like, yeah, and he's being annoying, but someone who is clearly mentally challenged is, is like, walking slowly toward the stage. You could tell he wanted to fight him ahead of time. Like, you could tell from this clip that this guy was, like, waiting for an excuse. Yeah. And he did, he did the whole, like, you saw it thing also. Like, he came at me. No, he didn't. He was an old man feebly walking towards stage being annoyed with you. That was all it was. I think both of them are very, very wrong in this clip. Both this is of them? A real, a real stomach kicking. Yeah. yeah, I just saw the kick. That's where we are now. And now he's yeah. laying on his back. I'm pro-comedian on this thing. That guy approached the stage, finger in his face... At a fast walk. No, but he's retarded. <laughs> like, you can't this is not be like, stranger. I hold you to the same standard as someone who yeah. knows what they're doing. Now, <laughs> like, the comedian no. said the man had already put his hands on him once. And to be fair, it doesn't matter if this man knows what he's doing or not. He is doing it. And he's yeah, probably but, incredibly strong. But also, yeah, he has that, he has that super strength. But also, three times a normal man. I want to see the true. kick again. He fucking, this is Sparta at him. Look at that. Yeah, yeah he did. <laughs> fucking, this is MMA fucking front kick. Just a straight. Right. Do you this think, is do you Sparta. think the comedian was genuinely afraid for his safety, or do you think he was looking for an excuse to kick this guy? I think he wanted to kick the guy. When the guy came again, he was like, all right, now I'm going to fucking show you. But to the yeah. comedian said, and we didn't see it, he was like, you've already played your hands on me once. That's what he's saying from the beginning. He's like, don't you touch me again. Don't you touch me again. Don't you put your yeah. hands on me. And then he's approaching at that fast clip. 
he's he's one step away from being like in personal space and then like punch yeah, range. Yeah, but he gave him a kick right before punch range. The, the only already... thing that makes it questionable is the fact that the guy is handicapped because yeah. if uh, if someone was charging at you like that, like with that gate, that yeah. quick walking, and, and well, they and were also, sound of mind, you I, you'd be fine kicking them. I think also that they know each other, like. He knows oh. he knows that he knows that this guy is not all there. He knows that, and he knows that this guy is not all there in a harmless way. Like, well, I don't know. I don't know that. I, well, I'm, I don't I'm know telling that. You like, like, that from you don't know that, but I'm saying he does. Do you know I that do. guy? He's no, okay. No, but I know other I know other comedians in the scene who are who like know this guy. The guy raid zone. He is in. He is an annoying person who none of them like, but at the same time they deal with. And it's, you know, he's not someone that anyone's ever been afraid of. Like, it's the cheese show. La da da da, it's the cheese show. Eastern Europe and were the downfall of. Oh, are we we're good? All right, we're good. <laughs> and we're recording. <laughs> uh, so glad to be here. So Kyle glad to be here. Kyle has a very clever thing that he does when he's trying to get someone to hit record that I like is he starts going off on some anti Irish or anti Semitic rant because he knows some whoever's responsible for recording will hit record really quickly. <laughs> well, I just like. Tech. You know, I, I am, as uh, as Kyle puts it, one of the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's only what he says to quote one of the to good your ones. Fix. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, oh, yeah. The yeah I believe the, word, the, the words uh, damn and dirty often come before describing me. So, mm -hmm. Are yes, there redheaded nice. Jewish people? You're the only one I've met. Uh, no, we're talking are, about the Irish. There, no, <laughs> there, uh, there are redheaded Jews. It's not common. But I used to do a bit about being a redheaded Jew, and every time there was one in the audience, you could just see them be like, "Oh, preach it, brother," because it's, it's <laughs> a very thing. redheads are two percent of the population, Jews are two percent of the population. So even that makes us incredibly rare. But also, like, we just don't have. There's not a lot of redhead in the genes. Basically, it was my ancestors were raped by Vikings. Whatever. That's how it works. So. Mm -hmm. Do you ever yeah. get like uh, like shade tossed at you from other Jews who are like uh, like they don't they don't quite give you the the acknowledgement no, right we're away? Just, we're just so happy to have any numbers <laughs> that we're, we're we'll taking take anybody. We, yeah, yeah. take so anybody into the my, club. My favorite my favorite joke about being Jewish ever was written Stickle by Wayne. Fluoride. Uh, <laughs> Wayne Fetterman has a great joke where he says the thing about being Jewish is that everyone who's more observant than you is fucking crazy. And everyone who's less observant than you may as well not even be Jewish at all. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, the perfect summation of how it is. Yeah, Woody was torrenting a lot of pornography, apparently, and, we, and his connection went down a few minutes ago. Yeah. So this is kind of like our part two of PK. No, two. Kyle, that was a private thing in the text. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you weren't supposed to. All that labia porn, you got him into it. <laughs> yeah, really, you're half responsible on this. I don't know if you're more or less responsible than that comedian who kicked the retarded guy, but somewhere in that realm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Who would have known that giant labia made up such huge HD files, enough to crash anyway, your, your giant you know, setup there? Uh, giant Three labia, is, that's the name of my other band. <laughs> uh, giant labia. Uh, Play, yeah, we're I playing at that. I, I don't know how I'm going to edit these two together, whether I'm going to cut out the, like, 15 minutes of me troubleshooting. But Because uh, there aren't links in the description. Well, they can just click. We have, like, timestamps where they can go to every topic. But um, anyway, if I do leave Wait, it Wait, you in. can't just slice it out? Like, that's the laziest edit of, like, I'll just leave in 15 <laughs> minutes of dead air because I don't want to take the three minutes to edit it. I was narrating what I was doing the whole time. Like, all right, now I'm doing this. Now I'm sure I even say a little. Charming. <laughs> you know what? I actually the reason I don't. Oh, I you see. To, you went into your one man show while we we're gone. No worries then. The reason I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't want you to leave podcast. it in because I actually have a whole podcast devoted to fixing my own internet connectivity issues. Yes. So, <laughs> all right, just that's going to be a competing. We have a very strict no compete yeah. clause here. We're not. 
I, we, you did not tell us about your internet connectivity <laughs> podcast. Yeah. Here's what I do. I actually, like, I just look at the screen and I'm just like, oh, okay, uh, come on. All right, uh, it's not that. <laughs> and I just do that for 15 minutes. And then I sing Woody's songs. So, do you often like break it up with like a, oh, yeah, no? Oh, I thought that would have been it. Okay. Yeah. Do you like uh, drop one of those every once in a while? A yeah. And sometimes was I, I'll just be like, okay, uh, turn the Wi Fi off and now <laughs> back on. And still, oh, no, nothing, nothing. That's actually, uh, look, it's hard. I don't really want to do my material on the air, you know? <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, you don't want to quote yourself. So, well, no, you're giving away company well, secrets right now. I half like, want to leave my stuff in there so they can see how much that resembles. How accurate it was. <laughs> sometimes and sometimes, in the like, if, I really, if I really want to get the audience engaged, I'll be like, man. Fuck AT and T, huh? And then, yeah. God, anybody else? Uh, anybody else less than enthused with their Comcast subscriptions? Anyone? Maybe I'm just you know crazy. <laughs> Anyone else? People agree. Okay. Just spitball in here. Yeah. Well, just, you don't I'm understand. Like I walk through the halls, my phone's going off. Like my mom, wife, they're all texting me. My my mother in laws, you know, she's like sitting up in her bed, like you know, come on, I can't watch my television. And it's like none of this is my fault. It's, it's like a, outside. It's actually oh. a video podcast, you know, because like a lot of it is because because <laughs> once I decide that, that it's not going to work, I I will walk around and just hold my phone up to try to get the best signal possible. <laughs> and so then that's that's actually most of the. Most of the final eight minutes of the podcast, just me doing this. So. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, well, but in all seriousness, we should not leave that 15 minutes in because people will be upset. Yeah. Because well, <laughs> like, they'll never get to this gold. No, they won't. Thanks. They'll be, they'll skip right past <laughs> it and go, I don't want to hear anything about this. Yeah. Like, well, you know, they can just imagine what it was like because Steve kind of just did a play by play. That, yeah. Uh, that was it, but 20 minutes Ch long. Chiz just texted that, uh, It'll get really good when he calls the AT and T support line. My favorite part is actually not calling the support line. It's uh, them listening to me choose through the menu, and then <laughs> there, there's actually a, there's actually a part where like I tune out and I don't hear all the options, and then I have to press nine to play the menu again. That's really the that's the meat of the podcast. <laughs> that's that's, that's one of the, the recurring bits. Yeah. That's the labia meat of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> My wife wanted me to call in. I'm like, that's all you, baby. It's got to be you. She's like, what? You're working. And I explained yeah. to her the whole tethering thing. I think she might be calling AT&T right now, which about is a task Arabia? that's really relegated to me. Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Ask them. I mean, they'd be an authority, maybe. Mm, I don't think the people have ever I, I, This big labia thing is going to be a mainstay of the show from now on. I, I'm, I'm holding on to this with both hands. It's actually going to be called. Yeah, that's to. what you yeah. do. Yeah. PKA, 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 PKA. I was like, somebody will take it, right? Somebody will grab. Yeah. <laughs> Wear it like uh, a hat. The gloves are off. Okay. So, <laughs> Steve, have you completely avoided all this Trump material in your show? Uh, I don't really do much Trump stuff. I the The main bit I do is addressing the idea that he's good for comedy. Because people like will say that often, like he's good for comedy, and my take on it is that it's hard to do stand up in a post apocalyptic wasteland. Mm. Uh, like it's gonna, Ooh. it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult to just be like men and women are different, or at least they were before the radiation. So it's like, <laughs> a, you know, a little bit of that. Um, but for the most part, it's I don't want to do material that everyone else is doing. And also, I've seen so many comics just do such lazy Trump material. It reminds me of the of a lot of the George Bush material where. I did a, I, I was on a tour briefly. So uh, this promoter made this tour. They called it the Blue Stater Comedy Tour. So mm -hmm. this was in like, oh, five, oh, six, something like that. So, uh, and uh, like I did one show with them and it was like Tom Simmons, who's brilliant. And then like a couple of comics who were just being like, fuck Bush, right, man? Isn't he stupid, right? And I'm like, this isn't comedy. This is, this is a complaining tour. Like this <laughs> is, and by the way, I have, and I know you, like, look, I, I know we have our political differences, and I've talked about that, but I did a show recently for a progressive charity where the whole audience was, like, not just progressive, there were a lot of elected officials there, and when I was doing my set, I was like, this is everything wrong with progressives right now, because there were so many oohs instead of mm -hmm. laughs, there were so many, like, 
oh no, you know, and I just wanted to be like, you're pushing me conservative right now. You, you, you fucking sensitive dicks. Like I've said this that is, too. This is not what we are. This is not what we are. Uh, and uh, I, I think extreme. And and there were now look half the crowd was wonderful, um, but you mm. know there was a half the crowd that was just a very like we should all get along. And so I finally I close my set and I go I want you to know something. Uh, Stand up comedy is the last art form that will be censored. So when you censor us, it's over. So keep that in mind. And uh, and what do you mean by that? The last. I mean censored. I mean that stand up is always supposed to be counterculture. So I fully believe that, like, you know, that books and movies and things like that will be hit way before us. If, like, we do come into a culture that actually actively censors stuff, you know, it's our job to not be. And so when stand up gets censored, then it's over. Do you think there's like, a problem with comedians ever with self censorship where they don't want to say certain things because they know they'll be kind of ousted from a community? the community um, of comedians and they won't be invited on shows or anything like that. I, I think sometimes people do that, but I think there's also a level of self-censorship because people don't, people are so afraid of someone not liking them that they don't have anyone like them. You know what I mean? Like that they'll do, like I had a promoter. Say, or they're like two middle of the ground milk toast. Absolutely. And they'll be like, well, you know, I'm not going to talk about politics because I don't want to divide the crowd. It's like, oh, so then no one will have a strong opinion about you in either direction. Like, and not everyone has to be political, but if that's the reason you don't get into it, it's cause you're, it's, you're being a coward. And I, uh, like I had a promoter once say to me, like, cause they wanted me to be clean for a show. And I go, I was like, Hey, you know, the crowd who's coming to see me is my crowd. So they're going to want me to be me. And she goes, well, I've never had anyone complain that a show was too clean. And I go, yeah, what they do say is that show was too boring. And you don't understand that what that means is that show was too clean. Yeah, I could see. I, there are a lot of comedians that are totally clean. Or not a lot. Because, Did you see that uh, Tim Allen's show really got good. canceled? Uh, Tim Allen? Yeah, I, I've never watched it, but I heard. I thought it was like a really successful show. It yeah, was. Yeah, I did, but it's been on for a, for a long time. Um, I think, and then look, there are some wonderfully clean comedians. There are, you know, Brian Regan. Uh, I wasn't saying he was, he was clean. Yeah. He's conservative, though. Uh, that, that's uh, that's the thought process by a lot of people about it, why that show got canceled. Oh, that's, yeah, it that's came silly. out. I don't know. It, it's making money. Mm -hmm. Like, it's ne like a network <laughs> is not going to pull a show because one of the people on it has conservative viewpoints. The I mean, whole Kelsey show was Grant. about that, though. See, see, the show is about a conservative family and their lifestyle. Yeah, um, like a nuclear family. And right? it was making money, and yet it was canceled. Yeah. They, 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 that, that's what the like the, the the that's the story that there was this show that was about sort of a right wing conservative family, and you know they they prosper uh, despite all that, and yeah. um, <laughs> it was it, and the show was doing well on the air, but it was recently pulled. I. When you say it's doing well, what measurement? What's the metric? All I, I, I read that it was doing well in the ratings and that it was a, a, a highly watched show. I don't know what the Nielsen ratings for it are or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, like I'd be, I'd, be curi I'd be curious to see. It, it's not the ratings necessarily, it's the sponsors. So I'd be curious to see if the sponsors affected it at all. Like if anyone, because, it, you know, and I don't know a ton about the show. I know some people who work for him and I've opened for him. Um, oh, but that's cool. I like I for something like that, when people immediately jump to politics, I don't think that there is this vast conspiracy. If there was a vast conspiracy to keep, you know, conservatives off TV, why does MSNBC interview or why does uh, CNN interview Tommy Lahren? Like, it, why does, it seems I, Steve just makes a lot of sense here, right? It seems like it would be all about the sponsors. I mean, hell, they did. Everyone knows I'm no fan of Trump, but if he advertised on this show and wanted me to go full Sean Spicer, I would. I'd be like, oh, yeah, fucking <laughs> idiot. Yeah, the call me firing had nothing to do with that. <laughs> yeah. This message brought to you by Trump. I'd say it. <laughs> yeah, it's Maybe. it's there, there's um, I mean, the same way that like uh, I'm sure that there exists a tape from The Apprentice of Donald Trump saying horrific things, even compared to the stuff we already know he said. And why does Mark Burnett not release that, even though he's not a fan of Trump? Because he has a business to look after. And he wants people to trust that they can say anything on tape without it being released. Yeah, it'd be pretty so, except for the time when it. he released the tape 
right? No, Burnett didn't release that. Yeah, he didn't Billy release Bush. that. NBC released that, right? Uh, uh-uh, I got leaked. I, the way I remember, it was um, from that Billy Bush show you're talking about. The, the yeah, Pussy yeah, Adam. that wasn't. That was that's NBC. A completely, that's a complete. No, that wasn't even NBC. That was. Uh, I don't know. I forget who else, but that was a. Yeah, that's a completely different thing. Um, the that was like a staff member going rogue, and no one knows exactly who did it. But the point the point is that like there's too much money at stake, and it really is like Chiz just texted it. It really is true. Like the show's been the same since it started. So why suddenly now? I, I think it's because you know if they're not making money off it, or they fear that they're not going to make money off of it, that's why they'll do it. You know, there's plenty of conservative voices on TV. Kelsey Grammer has had a you know a bunch of shows, and he is the most conservative. Kelsey what Grammer's shows? had all. Of his I, I don't shows know anything about like show makers. What are his shows? Uh, Kelsey Grammer had Cheers. Frasier forever, and he was on Cheers for a very long time. And then they tried. To, I think they tried like three or four other sitcoms with him that didn't work out. But they kept giving him remember, shows. Uh, remember, what's his name? Kramer from Seinfeld. Um, Michael Richards. Michael Richardson. Yeah, Michael Richards. Um, yeah. Like he had like that, that. A couple. All the Seinfeld cast had those failed shows. I guess um, Mary Louise Louis Dreyfus. Like like her show, Veep is obviously really successful. Yeah. She had that thing. Uh, yeah, Julia Louis Dreyfus. New Life of Old Christine. Of old Christine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that did well. But fucking George, uh, uh, Jason Alexander, and Michael Richards really had a, a shitty time of it. They they each. Tried two or three times, I think. I remember I can't Kramer. See George as anyone but Costanza or Michael Richards as anyone but Kramer, but I can see Julia Louise Dreyfus as other characters for some reason. Yeah, Kramer was like yeah. a private eye smoking a pipe in uh, in, in, in his first like uh, attempt at a sitcom. Mm. It was super lame. Yeah. So <laughs> speaking of that, I'm here at the Laugh Factory right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> oh yeah. Tell us about that. That's where You're that went that down. Now. Speaking of yeah. super lame, tell us about your, your <laughs> life. <laughs> That's where that went down. I actually, uh, I tried to get the, I tried to get footage of that incident, like because you only see half of it from the TMZ stuff, and so I went back through the archives to try to find. I think someone deleted it. Um, like probably someone who worked in production a while ago thought they were helping, and like that's a very dumb thing to do. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm now the I'm now the executive vice president of uh, television and film for the Laugh Factory. And, That's awesome, um, man. Yeah, we're, awesome. we're going we're going to market with a whole bunch of uh, TV shows and movies. And uh, my vision is to position us where National Lampoon was 30 years ago, and still would be if all the CEOs didn't keep get, getting arrested. Um, <laughs> the, the CEOs of National Lampoon were like the Illinois governors. It was just <laughs> it's a stepping stone to prison. I love um, La- National Lampoon's uh, vacation movies. The, the, those that yeah. fucking Chevy Chase and Beverly well, D'Angelo. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, roll them up. They, look, so many <laughs> quotable lines, and of course, you got Beverly D'Angelo's just giant, perfect titties, like right there in the like, first quarter of the movie. He's driving that mint green fucking piece of shit. Like that whole movie is great. I like I like all the vacation movies, but that one and Christmas. I watch yeah. Christmas Vacation well, every year. And a lot of people don't realize that Animal House is also Lampoon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There's. I mean, they they did some really wonderful work, and then they lost their damn minds. And I say this as someone who I wrote a book for them. I used to host a radio show for them. And like my theory was that what they should do is they should go like they should re-release Animal House. And when they do put it back in theaters, like as an anniversary. And then when they do have like a little preview beforehand that says like, we've brought you some of the greatest movies of all time and show a bunch of clips and then go also the last 20 years. And we're very <laughs> sorry. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Yeah, they need to pull a Papa John's. Remember, no, a Domino's. Domino's. Who did it? It was admitted like we've been making some shitty pizza for a long time, and we know it. Um, Yeah, give us a second chance. We got some better tomatoes. Uh, That's real (laughs) garlic in there, and 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 eighty five percent of the cheese in your pizza is now actually cheese. Now, if you if you microwave this tomato for two minutes. Yeah, <laughs> and you cut a hole through the middle, you know, or just right, so, don't cut a hole if you're a gumptious fella, you know. Yeah, <laughs> if you're really hard. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. Uh, so, so this whole time during this po- during this show, I've been sitting here, and the office right next to me is like my staff, and they've just been listening to one side of this because I have my headphones on, and they're just wondering what the hell is going on. So they're like, you know what? Uh, we don't know who Steve is talking to, but we're glad that he's he's you know given a voice to all the big lady gals out there, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, standing up for the the little fella. You know, Stand nobody up. ever defends big labia ladies. 
for those who are too big to stand up for themselves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the times on the beach where I just saw one set of footprints? Ah, but if you look there, there's a streak of your dragging labia from when I was carrying you. You know. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Woody's uh, mom will not like this part of the show. Oh no, she's not gonna like me she's anymore. She's very, she's very anti-small labia. It's yes. Just, is she's a she's a labortarian. Like the European. <laughs> <I'm a laughs> That's good. Uh, Thank you. I feel like I was re-energized by the break. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so we're doing all kinds of stuff here. Like the Laugh Factory has a really big YouTube channel, and we went from releasing uh, like one clip every couple of weeks to we were doing one clip a day for a while, and uh, we're now starting to record every show. We're going to do new web series, and uh, it's it's a lot of fun to be able to kind of be in charge of this brand because it's like it's such a good brand but it, it also gives me an amazing window into because like my youtube comments are like most of the people on my youtube channel are my fans because that's who watches the youtube channel but with laugh factory they're fans of the brand like they're fans of the club but the individual comics they don't necessarily know so they can be brutal on someone they've never heard of they can be like really really brutal and like no matter what clip we put up like there'll be like a bunch of comments like women aren't funny and be like this is a dude like this <laughs> yeah, I was just saying it say for the other again. videos <laughs> I just I just don't know if you heard me the last time so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again <laughs> I think that's even an even greater insult though right if like they watch the comedian do his thing and they're like ah no women aren't funny <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's that's an even harder hitting insult that's all that is like like not only are you not funny like you thought you were a woman. Yeah. You're a man. Yeah, I think I think that <laughs> you're you're giving them too much clever. You're assigning too much clever to their personality. I think the I think the person who's going to mash their keyboard about what gender is funnier is not going to be clever enough to to also insult someone in two yeah, levels. Exactly. It, Why waste the it, effort? Everyone knows the answer. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, what's the answer, Taylor? What that men are funnier than Do women? Do you and Andy Rooney agree? Andy Rooney? Yeah, yeah. Isn't he one of the guys who's always going around saying that men are funnier than women? And like, like, like just not being completely oh, unapologetic uh, about it? You're thinking wait, of wait, was it, are, are you thinking of uh, Andy Kaufman from like the, the 80s? I guess fucking dead. Yeah, like who would, who would wrestle people on stage? Uh, he Those wouldn't just wrestle of... people. He, ra he wrestled fucking like Jerry King Lawler or whatever his name is. Like, like the king. He wrestled, yeah, Andy Rooney uh, is dead too. Thank famous. you, Chiz. <laughs> I, I met Andy Rooney in college. Um, I, Andy Rooney's dead. I was, I was I was uh, I was covering. I was covering. When did he uh, die? Six years covering, ago. <laughs> at, at some point. So I I was uh, I was covering an event for my school paper that Andy Rooney was speaking at. <laughs> so I got to interview him, and like, so I'm like, you know, hi, I'd like to you know interview you for the paper, and, and he just looks at me. He goes, "What does your father do?" And I was like, <laughs> "What? What? What now? <laughs> like, how did this become an interview of me? I'm very confused." <laughs> he's he's a weird dude. Well, now he's a dead dude. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. Rest, in, rest in peace, for, Andy Rooney. For six years, those, apparently. Have, have you ever watched those Andy Kaufman, I think that's his name, videos yeah. on YouTube from when oh, he yeah. like, would call people out of the, the crowd and just wrestle people? That's his name. How dare you? That he was would have, his, his comedy was, was ridiculous. It, it, it's, a, it's hilarious. It's, it's, it's a different thing. Like, he would yeah. go out there and read a book, or he would go <laughs> out there and just, just like, stare that sounds at... really easy. He, like, yeah. I think yeah, he kind well, of forged the way for no, trolling. Like, Right, there, I, I could have been are, him in fourth grade. It's what he there, does with it. There are people who a to get laughs with it, but also like to have the composure to not be bothered by most of the crowd hating you. Like that is that takes a, a very specific personality, and also the the most amazing Andy Kauf, the most, most amazing thing Andy Kaufman ever did was push the boundaries of comedy. The worst thing he ever did was make a bunch of comedians think that they're Andy Kaufman. And like, there are a bunch of comics who will go up and just try to do something like annoying because they're like, "But what about Andy?" Co it's like, yeah, he was brilliant, and and you're not him, and he already did the thing. So God, that guy was hard to look at too. Do you ever see Man oh. on the Moon with Jim Carrey? Great movie. Yeah. <laughs> really good movie. Like Jim Carrey's a good yeah. actor. Um, that 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 was a good movie. Um, Andy yeah. Kaufman's a bizarre was a bizarre guy. Um, I I. I after I watched Man on the Moon, whenever it came out, it's been like a decade ago, but when, after I watched yeah. that, I was like, well, I have to educate myself now. Let's learn who Andy Kaufman is. And I start finding these like clips of like, and I'm like, holy shit, is he actually like, 
I couldn't tell if the wrestling yeah. guy really hated Andy Kaufman or or if you know he's a wrestler, a wrestler technically. So maybe he's playing it up and it's all entertainment. Like him and Andy are like wink, wink. Like like I I don't know what the truth is. Probably that though, right? I, I think uh I, I, like the the best part of Man on the Moon to me was when because like when Andy Kaufman is basically dying and he goes for this like magical treatment or whatever and he Chicken. sees. And he sees that the the shaman or whoever it was is just it's a ma- it's a magic trick, and right, he's just lying yeah. to people. And he starts laughing because he's like, "Oh, he's doing the same thing I'm doing. Like this yeah. is an act." And I thought that that was I don't know if that's a real thing that happened, but I thought that was a brilliant part of the script. Yeah, yeah, I like that part too. That 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 part stuck with me. I, I remember he's like rubbing and he's doing that bullshit thing where like the guy reaches inside your body and pulls out cancer yeah he's got like a bit of chicken fat like concealed (laughs) you know in his palm and he's like there's there's blood there's a little fake blood or something he's like oh chicken fat and andy's like yeah "Ah, i see like uh you got me this is what i would do yeah yeah (laughs) this hairy moles that was fucking disgusting yeah what's your taxi right with danny devito and uh yeah yeah yeah, the yeah, that's how yeah. I know him best. That's how <clears throat> that's how he got, that's Latka. how he became like a household name. As Latka. yeah, what was his character's name? Lot Latka. Latka or something very close. I know. To that. I know you hate Jews, but Latkas are a thing. <laughs> Latka. I haven't even seen that movie. What is it? This uh, is the TV show Taxi. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He, he yeah. played. That's uh, where Danny DeVito got popular too. Yeah, I think, if yeah. I remember, Danny yeah, DeVito's Mary, like the Mary dispatcher, Lupin. and uh, he's the boss of everybody. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Christopher yeah, Lloyd. Show. Hell of a cast. That's yeah. That I call him the uh, yeah the di- yeah Christopher Lloyd is great. I wish Christopher Lloyd's so fucking old now. He's, is he's he still uh, alive? Isn't he dead. He's still alive, right, Chiz? Christopher oh, Lloyd's still with us. Don't, t- don't tell me that the doc is dead. Doc Brown is still alive. There's no way that guy's. <laughs> it. I, no, he died I, I, nine I, months ago. <laughs> Chiz is barely. <laughs> Michael J. Yeah. Fox is still Damn it, Chiz. Wait, can God. he bring us back in time to when he was younger? You know he wishes, Wait, right? Like, God. are you saying that? Oh, oh never mind. I, I, you know the the Italian guy who was kind of the star of Taxi, Tony Danza. Yeah, no, uh, he was older than that. He had a mole. <laughs> uh, Jeff Hirsch, the hero? The actor with probably the mole. John Hirsch. Oh, you're thinking he, of Taxi Driver. Are you thinking of Taxi Driver? It's it's, it's Danny DeVito, Andy Kaufman, Tony Danza, Judd Hirsch. Um, Probably Judd Hirsch. Anyway, for some reason I thought he was Doc Brown for a minute. You guys... (laughs) Tony Danza... He looked really Italian. Judd Hirsch! Tony Danza. Fuck you all. I don't really do name. Anyway, for... So oh, man. a lovely Sicilian No, name. this isn't him. Judd Hirsch. Judd- <laughs> no, this, this guy, Judd Hirsch, is the same dude from Independence Day who's like, yeah. you would, you'd you be nothing without my David. Uh, you, you, are, you are over here with the Apple computer trying your best to figure things out. David comes Close over thinking he's all about you, finds a way to hack into the in system. Modern cinema. And now you won't well, give yeah, him a chance. Disgrace. And that's right before Harvey it, Firestein it, like sees all that shit. That and he's like, oh, I've got to call my mother. Oh, my God. And he's wait, like running. Guys, can we, can we just stop? talking and just have the rest of the podcast be Taylor acting out Independence Day? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, no, it I'm not Mike David. This can be. Yeah. <laughs> but it would, it would be a, a lot like your tech podcast. Very good for about four minutes and then incredibly frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, even at the time, like Today when I first saw Independence is Day. Our Independence yeah. Day. Sorry. When I saw it, I was like, like maybe 13, 14, 15, I don't know, when I saw that movie for the first time. And even then, like, I saw him being that Jewish and being like, this is odd. Like, I've never met anyone who speaks like this. Oh, but I This kind of inflection. Everything's uh, so dramatic. Like, I'm sure you have. Yeah. I'm from, I'm a Jewish kid from New York. I've absolutely met that person. But also, can I get a little embarrassing for a moment? Um, I went to go see it. I was, yeah, probably 14 or so. I went to see it in the theaters. And I said the phrase to my brother, and I remember the exact quote because he didn't let me forget it for years. I said, I was really surprised by Will Smith. He is the finest actor of our generation. <laughs> <laughs> you did not shoot that green shit at me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's Brando. That's got Brando all over in it. Over I, you know what? I was just saying, hey, because I thought he'd be like the Fresh Prince, and it said he was a completely different character. But uh, yeah, I, I called him the fine. And look, he's a good actor who's great in Ali. 
but the finest actor of our generation might be a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of an understated <laughs> push to it. He yeah. was good at Hancock. I saw that recently. That movie yeah. is awesome. I'd love to see. Yeah, Hancock why didn't that too. movie do better? I thought that movie was great. Oh, because it yeah. was shit. They 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 that was the aloof superhero. That movie right? was bad. And they they they, they fucking they butchered the whole. They butchered the storyline. It wasn't supposed to be that like that whole love thing with Charlize Theron or whoever they had playing it. They they yeah. the the executive changed that whole story at the la- at the last minute. And they got all butchered up. There was I love the idea of a superhero that doesn't want to be a superhero because like let's be honest, if you woke up tomorrow with superpowers, like when I was in, I was playing in Tulsa last week and I got bit by a brown recluse, yeah. and so. Mm-hmm. And like, here's the thing, like, I, I had to look it up, like 35% of people who get bit have like really fucking bad symptoms. And luckily, it turns out I'm not allergic. And so then I kept joking around that, oh, I'll just become Spider-Man. And then I was thinking about it. And I was like, if I did develop superpowers, would I be a superhero? Or would, would I, just, I would just go play baseball and not tell anyone I had superpowers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> like, it depends exactly. how powerful you are. Like, like, like take a superhero and, and say you get, if I become Spider-Man, well, I can't exactly conquer the world with my web-slinging skills, but I could become one hell of a thief, or I could become a professional athlete, right? Probably just be the athlete. You get more money and pussy that way, and, and you know, you're... Oh, yeah. You're be great, right? Just become a pro athlete, like you said. But if you're like... I don't know, Green Lantern level powers. Well, I'm going to rule the world now and crush anyone who stands in my way because I'm clearly like a superior being, literally. Like, like Why I'm can't a- you do both? Why can't you be a superhero? I don't think there's any rules in the NBA that say you can't be a superhero. Because right? Spider-Man is incapable. Well, wait, no, I wouldn't see Spider-Man that. would be the best camera. player in the NBA. I'm not getting half night court. money then. By the way, Everyone when, would wear your shoes when, or your underwears or whatever it is you're selling. When you're Spider-Man and getting all the money and pussy, as you put it, is there a moment where she's going to be like, what's that white stuff? And you're like, that's just, that's just webs. And I'm sorry. That's just for my hands. <laughs> that's just webs. It, if you have a problem with it, I can relocate you to dangling seven stories above the pavement. Is it a yeah, problem? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, it's I'd not. I'd be the okay. best. I, I'd be working that webs. Fuck fighting crime. I'd be bondage. Who cares? The, there you go, Woody. Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it tied up, That bitch. chick would be she's bound like, at she's like, ankles no, and, 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 and wrist to the bed in no time. Uh-huh. Wait. So hold on a second. If you, if I, if you became Spider Man, you'd become a rapist. No, she'd love Not it. Come on, it would just make him a more successful one. <laughs> I don't have to rape them. I mean, make, like a Kobe level rapist, right? Like, 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 like top tier rape. Like the <laughs> I, I, I was just saying, I'd like, I'd be like a little selfish, like I'd be a baseball player. I didn't realize it would, it would be no, you that. Have them because they would want your spider seed. We're gonna go full Cosby with this. That wasn't they would really want where your I was headed. Seed. <laughs> yeah. See, the best way to not have to do any sort of uh, web rape is, I think, just to do the athletics because yes. that is like, and also it comes with the most glory. Like if you could pause time or something, like mm-hmm. I'd just go be the best goalie in the history of the NHL because mm-hmm. I could just pause time on my own. And then everyone would be like, how the fuck is he saving literally everything since he entered the league? And he'd be like, uh, you can't prove shit because I'm a magic, basically. <laughs> and, then, like, and if I had another ability that was like, I can also shoot lasers from my eyes, I would, I would never use it. I would never use it. It could do nothing but jeopardize my original power. You know, yeah. so you just right. you lay below the line. Like if I saw someone on the train tracks about to die, I'd have to really deliberate. Like, is it worth risking it? No, sorry, lady. I'm really enjoying blame for the fucking, you know, flyers had, or whatever. You know? I've had that same uh, pause time thing. But it's like if you could rewind time even just a little bit, you could go a whole season of shutouts. 82 yeah. <laughs> shutouts in a row. I, I've thought about that too, where I'm like, like in my fantasy, I'm such a fucking maniac. I'm like, yeah, but like every third game, I'd let one in. I think just so that, like, you know, they knew that I was kind of real. Oh yeah, like, you <laughs> have to, you have to, like, not, you know, like you couldn't, like with Spidey Sense, you know, I could, I could bat a thousand, but you don't bat a thousand. You hit three forty eight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Break 400. It hasn't been done in a while. Pat Cobb, kiss my ass! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, that would be great. And that's exactly what I think we'd all do with it. Fuck fighting crime. First of all, it's it's not like in comic books that they make for children. You can't just go out and fight crime. Like, what do you just walk? How often have we even stumbled upon a crime that we would stop if we had powers? Never, right? Well, Maybe I mean, once, Kyle, twice in our entire lives. It's very difficult for you to stumble on your own crime scene. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Then how are you going to be a superhero stopping crime? That's what Batman's always out doing, right? No, right? The, you see the no but they chase? have like the, the police there. scanner in in all of those things. He's got like a police scanner, so he like goes to the you know when there's a thing in progress. 
Yeah, and he also just watches the business. city. He watches the city from the top of buildings, and he can see all that shit. I feel I like you just become playing video games on easy mode. Woody's Gamertag logo on clouds when they want me. Yeah. Like, That'd be pretty badass, like Batman. No, I, I, no you would very that. quickly get tired of, of fighting crime if it was just criminals of, like, muggings and, like, you know, assaults on the street. Because, like, you'd go down there, like One Punch Man, uh, that show that I, I watched one episode of was pretty interesting, like, where you just win the fight, there's nothing that you going into the fight, you know, there's no chance they're going to fight you like they're going to win. I mean, they mm-hmm. could have a gun, a knife, whatever. You're like, I'm a superhuman. So you're going to get bored instantly. The only thing that's not going to be boring is that breaking every record in multiple major sports and getting so much pussy, your head spins. That's the only thing that's not going to get old. And so you just got to live that life. Yeah, I'm gonna, I feel I'm like gonna that powerful argument. make a big I, web and put this is a powerful in. argument, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> I don't even need my sex swing anymore. I'll just fucking web one up and put her in it on the go. Fuck Kyle, you are so Kyle, fixated on the web ability. Open like, that door behind you. It's my only ability. I'm Spider Man. <laughs> it's all I could do. If I could <laughs> somehow <laughs> fight people and envenomate them and kill them or something, I would, but I can't. All I can do is sling the webs and jump. No, but you're oh, so yeah, strong. You I'm saying, yeah, you have, can you, you still see the swing right? if you open that door, Kyle? Yeah. Can you show it to us? Is it set up right there? Steve, check this out. This is it's, real. Uh, it's not set up for uh, <laughs> as a sex swing. It's uh, set up with all like the, uh, the like the athletic like yoga stuff for stretching and stuff. But yeah, it's right I here. Didn't know he literally bought a sex swing, and I didn't know that it was dual purpose. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this is real. I love when he does this. Oh, I was hoping he'd go upside down. Get upside down, Kyle. This is this is a real. What what show is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is a weird podcast. <laughs> yeah. What am I yeah, on? That's, that's a pretty neat sex swing. But like Kyle, my whole point is that <laughs> if you are Spider Man, Spider Man doesn't just have web. I don't know all of his powers, but I'm pretty sure he's really strong and really fast as well, like faster than every human. And so yeah. you would not go in the NFL and if the quarterback overpassed it, go and go grab it and bring it back to your hands because then the jig is up. You would just be right. the best wide receiver in the history of humankind or the best. Ru- pick your position in and be the best. In my fantasy on this, when I score, I jump on top of the field goal things, you know, the horizontal part. What is that called? That's called a field upright. goal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, field goal thing. Yeah, but I, I just feel like I, like there's a goal line stand, right? And everyone's there ready to like go up against each other and, and I have to somehow find a hole. But instead, I jump so far that I stand and balance on the uprights, whatever they're called. But no, but I agree with Taylor. The jig would then be up. So, okay, what about what about a power like flight where all you can do is fly? Oh, you don't have super sucks. strength. You don't have super speed. But all you can a magician. do is fly. World's you best can magician. fly at like 15 World's miles an hour. World's best magician. <laughs> yeah. all I, that's all you got to do. Run. If, if, if you can fly, then you become a magician. And you just and work that's it your into trick. Your fucking, that's your trick. You work it into dozens of different levitation bits and all kinds of things. Like, like you, can, you use your power that way. Oh, you can market yourself as like fly guy. Yeah. Like that's your... But what well, you, you know, intentionally do is you would start out like building your cult following by showing that you could levitate like four inches above the ground and get the devout people and then over the years as you sell start the DVDs. That, yes, you sell DVDs and what this is happening in the in the not early two thousands now. Yeah, yeah, not even no not Blu ray, VHS. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can sell it whatever medium you want because you can <laughs> fucking fly. And then you slowly increase it like like over time. And people are like, like you've this learned dude, to get like, better? you can't it, it would be one of those like science discussions where they'd be like, for so long people have denied that, you know, Taylor the aviator is able to to lift off the ground, but now evidence is becoming too much to resist. You know, over to you, fucking whoever. Like it would be a news thing. And then eventually you work yeah. up to like levitating in, in basketball stadiums the, and at the, football the, games. The, the nightly news with John Whoever. Yeah, the nightly news with with Stephen reporters, like that. that would be <laughs> um, I I think that like for that, like you could still be like you could be a great defensive outfielder. You could, but then, yeah. like, but then what? I, you know what? I think basketball probably the best because you'd have hops. That would be good. Or uh, you could just do a constant angels in the outfield thing, where just even on like not you know it's it's just a total no risk game. You just yeah. load up, what grab is the a needless ball. What's the power that, like, there's a superpower, like, there's an actual, like, superhero that we know of that has that would be the most useless for selfish gain? Uh, 
any of those people who have a superpower in uh, where they like look grotesque, but they're like super I was strong. Say the, the like thing? the croc- isn't that his the name crocodile. The Fantastic Four. Yes. The thing. He, yeah. Anything where like you couldn't put on a suit and walk right. into like Subway without everybody being like the fuck. Like uh, we got to get <laughs> out of here. This is Even an emergency though- situation. Even though, like, in all of those comic books, they, like, put a suit on them and everybody's like, oh, that's yeah. normal. That's a regular guy. Like the, <laughs> like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles who would wear trench coats and hats. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You've got, you've got a shell on your back the size of a 55-gallon barrel. That suit ain't cutting it, bro. You have but, no yeah. nostrils, sir. You have three toes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and no shoes on. No fingers. <laughs> Whatever yeah. you were talking about, when you were talking about the guy on the subreddit who, who lives in the sewer, I was thinking about yeah. the Ninja, Ninja Turtles the whole time. So this whole oh. time I've been picturing him like Donatello clickety clacking away on his keyboard with his hate. Yeah. Oh, was Donatello, I, I, the, he was the shitty one, right? Well, Steve might regret taking on Leonardo. Donatello. That's true. Oh. I mean, this guy, like legitimate rage might come at me with like a, with like a bow or a <laughs> sigh or <laughs> the nunchucks, which by the way, that's how I learned what weapons were. Yeah, Perhaps like, a quarter staff? From the turtles. But, yeah, from the turtles. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah the katana, katana blade. Yeah, that's what the, and those were the four, those were the four blades. Um, yeah, yeah that, that's one of those things that like every now and then there's like a pop culture phenomenon. And I loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I was growing up. And there's something that like you look back at it and you're like, how the fuck did this become a thing? Like, Even how did this become succeed? a thing. Yeah. yeah. I remember I had all those toys. It's like it, I remember like four or five year old me. I had the turtle van that shot the pizzas. I had the fucking yeah. turtles. I had the He Man shit too. So I was I was crossing two yeah. fucking I was in the middle of a thing there where He Man was dying off. I don't think there's any I don't think anyone younger than me knows that knows anything about fucking He Man yeah. and Skeletor and, and, uh, and, and any of that shit. Um, but I, I had the castle, I had the He Man castle, I had I had all the action figures. And my fucking shitty cousin. I, I I had the best toys when I was growing up. I always did. Like like sure, you had a sex swing. Uh, yeah, yeah. My <laughs> first sex swing was nicer than that. You should have seen that thing. The, <laughs> the, the junior swinger. But it was outside. And, uh, the junior uh, swinger. The yeah, that's the Cadillac of child sex swings. Ages fifteen you right and now. up, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> this child, yeah. you know, per, no no small no small parts. <laughs> boy choking hazards. It's yeah. it's, it's, it's it's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle's not into small parts. No. Oh no, Kyle's I talking about no, Kyle's parts. very into small parts. Yeah. He hates big parts. parts. Yeah. But yeah, uh, he, He-Man but was he hates, awesome. I, yeah, my my cousin hands. took all my toys. I had the full He-Man set and I had like like I had a Play-Doh factory, right? Like I had the <laughs> I had like 80 different kinds of Play-Doh that came in a big toolbox of Play-Doh and they were all organized and you would put them in the things and squish out the the Play-Doh stars and make stuff with them. And all that stuff had to go in storage when we were moving houses when I was like five years old and my cousins got to it. And the next thing I knew, all the Play-Doh was dried out. He-Man had marker all over him. Skeletor was lost to the wind. All my expensive toys were taken. I had a kid try to steal my Pokemon Blue game when I was... I I got it like almost right when it came out. I guess I was... (laughs) I got it it, uh, just three weeks ago. No, I was maybe like seven or so. And I had it, and we were playing all day, me and my friend, as you do. And as he was leaving, he was, like, acting suspicious in a way that another child would not notice, but an adult definitely would. And I was, like, walking with my friend to the door because his mom was there to pick him up. And he was, like, holding his shirt like the way a kid would hide a boner. But we were too young for boners. And he walked up there, and my dad You're never too young for boners. Never too young, but he (laughs) too young to get one. Should have clarified. That's not a thing. <laughs> so Babies we got up there, there, and my dad was like, "Rich, Richard, lift your shirt up. Lift your shirt up before you go." He's like, "Why? Why did you lift it up?" He's like, "Richard, lift your shirt up." And the kid lifted his Speaking shirt up, boners. and like a little uh, sneaky bastard, my my blue Pokemon color cartridge fell onto the hardwood floor, and I was like, "It was the first time that it had crossed my mind. Is like something of mine could have been not mine." anymore like i could have gone back downstairs and been like there's no pokemon to be found like i would have looked around and then i would have been blamed for it and i was oh man like that was one of those moments as a kid where i'm like oh man like dad you've got this figured out and then you really really saw through that like i would have never guessed i would have never guessed that an eight-year-old going like this eyes darting around you know was hiding my father is sherlock holmes as as he as your dad walks away they start playing there goes my hero (laughs) (laughs) did you permanently unfriend him 
Uh, it was such a young it was age before Facebook, but yeah, yeah, it was definitely way before <laughs> Facebook. Uh, so it was kind of just a thing of like, oh, well, that sucks. Yeah. And then like after a while, it's like, well, I do need someone to trade my fucking haunter to, so it evolves. So you want to come over? And that was <laughs> yeah. about how it went. Um, I I I always wonder about like the people who who like green light stupid ideas that end up working. Like, do you know like, what I mean? Like, what do you have in mind? Like, like no, like the turtles. You know, oh, like yeah. the like the guy who made the decision of like, yeah, this is going to be a thing, you know, or yeah, Chiz just said pet rock. Yeah, or like chia who, pets. <laughs> yeah, like the idea of the thing that works because there are also people on the other side of it. Like, you ever stay in a hotel that has an alarm clock with the iPhone four plug in? Yeah, yeah. Someone at that company, someone convinced that hotel chain to spend millions of dollars on those, and they were good for like six months. Yeah, and now they're all completely obsolete, and make the hotel like you can have a TV it's in a hotel, hotel that's that's ten years old and it's fine, but like if you have a like a poor and most hotels you stay in now have those, and it's I want to know if that guy still has his job. Oh, he doesn't need a job. He he sold those to yeah. everybody. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I don't mean the guy who sold them. That guy is a genius. I mean Kyle's the guy, saying that it was a dirty trick that that he convinced them to yeah. to buy his own wares. Oh yeah, but I I'm, I mean like the there's a there's a guy in corporate who he convinced. That's what I mean. Oh, like yeah. the guy yeah. the guy who did made not the decision. That. Yeah, he brought a PowerPoint in and he bamboozled them. I said, wonder about oh. this kind of USB connector, right? Has this thing not kind of run its course? The USB one style connector. No, I think those, those work with everything now. now. Well, the they do now. right now. Yeah, but you see, Steve has the new one. I got the this USB-C. one now. Because I'm a baller. Thing, it kind of sucks. They're a little slower, and yeah. I, I, whatever. There's a fifty-fifty shot of getting it right, and it always takes three tries, which is weird, and it just sort of sucks. Yeah, it should really How take long... two. By the way, it should take two. Well, but it takes me three. <laughs> <laughs> because the first one, you're always impatient. I, I guess. Know? I maybe I didn't nope, thoroughly nope, nope, test nope. it. Nope. <laughs> Still not there. What, am I? Oh, it's HDMI. What the fuck? God damn. Yeah, right. <laughs> wrong cable. Oh, I've been trying to plug this Ethernet cable into my television for half an hour. <laughs> uh. No, but you're you're right. And those are eventually going to run their course because we make mm-hmm. they make things universal and they change them. I and mean, every car is going to look dated that has one of those as a charging station or something. Yeah, every airplane is going to look dated that has one of those as a charging station. Be a long There's time a though. I think they're gonna stick around for a while. USB three is pretty fast. Let me run. Let me do an advertisement here. Tell yes. everyone about ZipRecruiter. Are you hiring? Do you know where to post your job to find the best candidates online? Posting your job in one place just isn't enough to find quality candidates anymore. If you want to find the perfect hire, you need to post your job on all of the top job sites, and now you can. With ZipRecruiter.com, you can post your job to 100 plus job sites, including social media networks like Facebook and Twitter. All with one click. Find qu- find candidates in any city or industry nationwide. Just post once and watch your qualified candidates roll into ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. No juggling emails or calls to your office. Quickly screen candidates, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by over <laughs> 1 million businesses. And right now, our listeners here can get jobs on ZipRecruiter. Uh, excuse me, can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash painkiller. That's ZipRecruiter slash painkiller. Uh, so yeah, right now you go go on there and you can post your jobs for free. ZipRecruiter.com slash painkiller. What is all this chirping over here? Whenever I start, whenever I hear chirping and I'm reading an ad, I feel like Chiz is, is going like, no, you're reading it wrong. That's the wrong one. Don't say that. Don't say that. And I'm like <laughs> peeking out of my corner of my eye to see if I've really screwed something up. <laughs> no, you did a wonderful job. So ZipRecruiter, you guys should all check that out. If you're looking for a service that helps you hire mm-hmm. qualified people easier than you can't can't get a better service. I think I'll probably have to use it when my staff all quits because of what they heard me say today. Oh, uh, your staff probably heard about <laughs> those bad dragon dildos, and they're and and they're going to be sold after they get those. They're going to be like, ah. speaking speaking of staffs. <laughs> oh yes. Ah, I go, I'm so slow. It took me forever. Like speaking of staff, go on, go on. Yeah. Right. Well, Tell me about the staffs and. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you do have a crisis, an exodus on your hands, you know exactly where to go to get people mm-hmm. with our coupon code as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I've got uh, AMA questions here. 
Oh, nice. We should look at those. Do you have to be heading off soon, Steve? I got like five minutes or so, and then I got to take off. Okay, cool. Let's do gotcha. a couple of these questions. Do you have any in mind already, Kyle, or just looking at them now? Um, some of them are just terrible. Um, <laughs> let's do those. I don't like how every single time we get our Patreon questions, the first thing that, that one of us says is, ah, this is so this, oh, okay, I said one of us to try and share the load, Mr. Frodo, but it's always fucking Kyle. Share it's the one. load. Share <laughs> the oh, load. Yes. Does, uh, does Legitimate Rage have any questions for me? Um, I don't. They, they don't have names next to them. Uh, do you have to buy a special hat? To, to do what? I don't know. That's all he said. Kyle. Yes. I, 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 now you bought. Did you end up buying that, like a hotspot thing, so that you could stream, or did you yeah, change? Yeah, it doesn't. It? Yeah, it's not fast enough. In theory, it was going to be. It didn't work out. What? What, what was the symptom? Uh, oh. not fast enough. The speeds are really bad. <laughs> on. On the upload or like, um, really both. The download was pretty poor too. Some of the times it really de- it depends on what side of the house I was on. Um, sometimes it would be like three down, three up. Uh, sometimes it would be ten down, one point seven up. Um, just wildly different, uh, unreliable service. Oh, is my um internet fi- my camera? I mean to say fixed. Yes. Thanks. Thanks, Cheers, for letting me know. Oh, oh, I don't know. They, I, I was on the subreddit and they were complaining about uh, lack of live streams and PKA plays and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know. I just take it personally where like everything <laughs> is my fault in particular. Nice forehead. I just got to say that. I just wanted to give them something more to complain about. <laughs> and I'm like, God damn, you know, like and they're like, why does Woody have to do have to be at everything? And it's like, it's not that it's just the, I don't know. I was the one most likely to record and upload and stuff. Anyway, um, I was wondering. I thought I still think if you live streamed, there's a better than average shot that you could be a popular live streamer. Sure. Yeah. I wish I had the uh, capability. I've got one of the questions. If you guys, yeah, like that. That was one of the questions, kind of. Oh. Anyway. Oh. Um, so if you could, if you could, would you go back? Or I guess I'll just read it the way I said it. Would you rather go back to your birth year as the age you are now or go back as a newborn and relive your life? So basically... You, you, do you ha- would you have your knowledge? Yes, your knowledge now back to whatever year you were born, but you're this age. And so by 2017, you'd be double your age now. Yeah, I'd do oh. that. Or you I can would, choose to be born right now. I, I can't imagine a scenario in which not resetting my age is better. Like, why would yeah. I want to be 44 year old starting again? Like, that's just terrible. And then, and, and the thing is, like, all the things I know, like, my biggest superpower would be picking winning stocks. I followed stocks since I was a teenager and, and sports teams. And yes, yeah. uh, maybe come you, on. You I knew what you, you all you need to know is what a few teams did. And even if there's yep. a year where it's fuzzy, but you know that, like, the Phillies made it to the series. That tells you what happened in the entire NL East. You, you know, you can fi- you can derive There's lots lot from infer. little tidbits. You're well, right. Also, I, I know a lot of Super Bowl winners too. Like, especially if you tell me the two teams, I'll remember which one well, came out. You know, you know what I would love to do. I would love to go back to college, me, and just be like, "Hey, don't be intimidated by college girls because college girls are terrified of life." Like, ah, so you'd it, go back and get yourself laid more in college. Well, at the time, well, not just laid more, but less rejected less often. I think that's the first ah. step. <laughs> you know, let's let's not go to the advanced <laughs> class quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> let's try and lessen rejection before we actually boost success. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I would want to be 44 in 1973. Because by the time I know about good shit, I'll be like 60. Yeah, and also... That also, what I would really do is just take everything I know about comedy and just start doing that when I was 12 and just have my own Dude, TV. Dude, if you like go back, game. you could be like the world's most prolific joke stealer and you'd be the joke originator. Steal from the future. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Steve Don't Hofstetter even releases You People Are All the Same just a month after releasing Hilarious. You know, he's the most yeah. diverse <laughs> comedian we've seen in years. We don't know. He released one called The Leather Special that was horrible, but we forgive him. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I just love the idea of like, he's got some really great insights about growing up a black man in America. Yeah, yeah. You're doing all this? of Chris Rock's material. <laughs> That's yeah. like in his voice, too. Again. You know, I don't. at first I didn't like all the N-bombs, but god damn, if he doesn't know our plight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this dude has fucking empathy. I tell you what. You know? <laughs> I choose God's so, but, so you would choose Woody to be born in 2017, like a newborn... This Wait, year. I don't think that's not how I read the question. Did I misunderstand the question? I thought I could go back at 1973 with all my current knowledge and relive l life. Well, Chiz my way is you know, more interesting, Chiz. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we're doing it my way. I got a, uh, I got a show tonight. I got a piece out. Hey, oh, kill man. it, man. Enjoy or it, break man. a leg. Whichever one's Good better luck. for you. You guys were awesome, and thank you so much. And I just, if I could just say one more thing. <laughs> hey, one more thing, Steve. Uh, where do they find you? What would you like our subscribers to know about? Uh, check out my YouTube channel. Uh, there's a whole bunch of new content up there all the time. Uh, tons of stand-up in addition to the Heckler stuff. If you know me from the Heckler stuff, cool. But I also have hours and hours of free stand-up comedy on my YouTube page as well. And some people are like, how come all I see is your Heckler clip? I'm like, I don't know. Did you ever try Googling Steve Hofstetter stand-up comedy? Did you ever try to, oh, I never thought of that before. Like, well, that's why I didn't <laughs> find it. Um, so anyway, yeah, check that out. <laughs> you can also check me out on Twitter or Instagram or uh, I hate Snapchat. That's fucking stupid. But uh, I'm on it because I'm a slave. I'm on it. I just I just hate it. Um, but yeah, on on all that stuff. And come see me live. I'm doing a. I'm still I'm still doing a 65 city, 18 country tour. I'm almost done with the states, but then I hit Canada and most of Europe. So come That's see awesome. me live. Glad to awesome. see it's going so well for you. Good luck with your show. Thanks, Thanks for coming on. Bye. Yep. He is one uh, of the good ones. <laughs> Jeez, you might have to <laughs> uh, just, I'm having a good time tonight. Oh, uh, this is a good old, bit of good old fashioned family anti Semitism. Or was it anti Irish? Yeah, it's hard. To oh, say. that's true. No, but he's not actually Irish. He's, he's red hair. Hey, the red hair. I, I, Honorary. I, Honorary, I, I, I mean, I, all I, those uh, those lost kingdom people seem to very much be attracted to the redhead Irish lassies, you know, that they're trying to go up there and and rape. They don't make bones about the fact that they are very, very raping. Can I, I like that. A can I? Chiz? Yeah. Chiz, can you confirm that you're fixing whatever layout just changed? Working on it. All right. Thank you. I, I mean, yeah, you know I, what? I'm not producing the show, but I still feel responsible. Oh, yeah, I like that. There's no, uh, they're, 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 you know, they they don't sugarcoat that there would be a lot of rape, and it's not that I'm pro rape and that I want. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I like a show with a lot, a lot of rape in it. The more the better. That's not it. But but I do like realism and like if there's like hot chicks being taken captive by barbarians, and there's not some rape, I'm just as like, hey, well, why would there be rape? As if they don't slaughter all the men, like slaughter all the men and enslave the children and fuck the women. That's what they would do. So if they don't, I'm just like, ah. it would be ridiculous if they didn't, because it's a history yes. or not a history channel show, but it's about the Vikings. Like it would be like a Nazi show where they showed like, you know, a bunch of SS officers finding some gays or something and being like, ah, and now you will go and uh, be alone for the rest of the war. And that, <laughs> that is it. You will be alone, and that will be the most intense punishment. You you won't even be able to speak to fellow homosexuals. How's Is that? This the last Not kingdom? good, eh? Not good. Eh? Like it'd be like totally undermining and downplaying the actual shit that happened. So you need the last to show kingdom, uh, the does have yes. ha have an adequate amount of rape in it. I feel um, and slaughter I, and slaughter. I, yes. What what I found interesting about the last kingdom was how much value people had. Right in many of the wars, they very much don't want to have. They don't want to lose men. Whereas it seems like in other wars, when Romans are going into it, they're always prepared to lose like half of their people. They but here they're like, yeah, we can rebuild villages many times, but a, a warrior can only die once. It's like, aha, that makes a lot of sense. And people have value, even women and children, right? They're like, oh, yeah, that kid, I want that kid. He'll become part of my family. We'll do a thing. That woman, <laughs> you know what? Turns out I love fucking women. So let you know, I, I want this many pieces of silver and a woman. Then we'll just you know like bring some of them in here. And, and 
none of the other shows do I find that people have much value, but in this one they do. It's like yeah, they have I, more value because there are so few of them. It's like a thing where like if they go into battle with 30 men and they're fighting 30 men in a different war tribe or whatever and they lose 12 guys, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, well, fuck. If this happens again in a year, we're shit out of luck because we can't afford another one of these things. We can't. We're going to be like Russia after World War II where there's just no men left and, you know, not you can't keep your civilization hardly going and not even a civilization your little hunting tribe yeah basically. so romans had armies with hundreds of thousands of men in them you know rome had a population of 1 million so that they could expend thousands of uh, of dead soldiers but like by they the dark also had ages roads, which meant that they could move their soldiers way easier whereas like these people these vikings are like oh we need to get reinforcements well, I hope it doesn't take them two months to trek across the frozen wasteland to get here, because if it does, we're all going to be dead by the time that happens. And it's like, well, should we even make the trip to save them? No, they'll be dead long before. Like, like whatever the <laughs> fuck they sound like. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't watched I, much like of it. Vikings. Um, yeah, I, watch Vikings. I just started that. Yeah, I haven't watched much of it, but I, I'm aware of, like, kind of the gist of it. Uh, I've caught bits of episodes, and it, it looks like it's well-produced. It looks like a good show. I like the guy who's crippled. We, Have you gotten to him yet? The guy who's paralyzed from the waist down? Uh, in Vikings? N- yeah. No, I don't um, think so. Later on, there's this isn't a spoiler because I don't even know who the fuck he is, but there is a character who is paralyzed from the waist down. But that is not an excuse not to still be a badass warrior. So like when they're in like the hall or whatever, he's like crawling around on the floor and he's got like a sharp stick in each hand that he like just jabs into the ground and crawls with. And he's totally ready to like fight from the ground if he needs to with like knives and stuff. And they hook him up with a chariot that'll like hold him upright. And he's got like horses and, and, and now he's a fucking like, he's a weapon, you know, he's he's fucking on on the chariot and everything. I I thought that was uh, pretty cool though. That is all. I haven't got to that yet. I'm sure I'll like it, but it's interesting seeing the religious stuff they talk about. They, especially more in the History Channel show. They're focusing more on, uh, like, the Christians over in, obviously, the England area versus the pagans who worship Odin, Thor, and Freya and all those gods over in the Norse Scandinavia area. Like, it's interesting the way that, like, the civilization that has to fight and kill one another to survive, like, all of their glory and all of their, like, good things that their gods like is like, yeah, it's really, it's not just not a bad thing to go over there and slaughter their their people and their children and their men and then take their women and, and goats. It's actually a good thing. Like, the gods are, like, super stoked on us when we do that. Because yeah. yeah. it's, like, it's clearly a thing where, like, when you live in a frozen tundra wasteland and nothing grows and all of your surviving comes from pillaging other areas that do, are able to grow food, you kind of have to rationalize to yourself, like, huh. Man, if the gods think that killing other people is wrong, then we are in some shit because that's all <laughs> we've been doing. And so we got to make sure that our religion kind of, you know, glorifies the behaviors that we utilize to survive. I don't know. I thought that was I think that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, their religion's really interesting to me. Um the the, the whole the whole like conflict of those two religions where the the Christianity is so pious and like it, they find something wrong with everything's a sin. Everything is a bad thing. There's all these rules and regulations about how do you live your life. And then the, on the complete other end of the spectrum, you've got the Vikings over there who, like, their version of heaven, Valhalla, is, like, it's it's all about fucking and drinking and partying constantly. Fighting. Like, yeah. 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 It's like, we'll go somewhere where forever we'll just sit in a big, like, mead hall and, like, drink j- endless tankards of ale and fuck bitches and fight other glorious warriors in yeah him. that's like when they were explaining it in the show it's they're like what's valhalla and he's like well you go to odin's hall and you drink and you fuck and then every night you get in a giant battle and everybody dies and then the next morning odin goes Rah! and everybody goes is right back up and they're clashing their horns together and drinking and i was like it man does like, sound like a great heaven. this sounds like like i remember thinking this as sounds a kid, like it might like, hurt a little learning right? about, like i'm gonna be uh, hung it's okay over though stabbed but learning about the ancient yeah. Greeks and the ancient norse shit like in school or just reading about it because it's always been interesting to me like the gods i always thought like god damn like these gods seem like really way more down to earth and like <laughs> not as upsettable over things like if i if i piss one of them off really bad i can be like odin like thor is super pissed at me so i'm just gonna be praying to you for a while eventually he'll like ease up on me but with like christianity <laughs> it's like man there's only one of you and i Watch and you are not yeah. happy yeah, you're much only more strict fucking show in town you you can't even go to jesus because he'll rat you right out 
There was one, in, this doesn't spoil anything for the Vikings, but I hope it makes you watch it. There's one scene where a guy is getting crucified uh, because, you know, it's easy to forget that it wasn't just Jesus who got crucified. That was just a way of capital punishment back then for uh, for certain people. And the guy was like, it showed like he's getting his nails driven through his palms. He's got like the ropes holding them on there, uh, which I, I think is like the historically accurate way to do it, where they the nails didn't actually hold ways. you up. Right. Uh, it's the rope that holds you up. It's just the nails to like humiliate you and be in pain. And so like he yeah. gets nailed to the cross through his feet and his hands and he's up there like doing the cross thing. Then they like push him up on it and you see like the boom, boom, like jarringness of like him being like pulled on it, like his hands against the nails. And he's up there for like 45 seconds as the people who put him up there are like, you are sentenced to die for blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, the guy who comes around, the, the king comes and he goes, cut him down. And so then they just bring him back down off the cross and like get a, a fucking claw hammer and like take the nails out of his hands. And it's like, holy fuck, like that, that wouldn't even be, I don't know, it was just such a permanent kind of punishment. Thank you, my lord. Like, like if only hands, you'd come upon a few moments yeah. earlier. Your, your, your hands are ruined. Your feet are fucked like forever. I would assume like if you have a nail, a giant thick nail driven through your feet, there's no way you're going to be able to walk fine. You like there's some still die. Bones. Yeah, back then, good point. He might, you might just get an infection, or bleed out, right? What, what if you? I don't know what the veins are called in your wrist, wrist, but you could die. Yeah, uh, they, they put it through the palm. They they did different stuff. Like I, I I've I've read about this mm. a little bit, and I've, I, there are people who to this day like reenact crucifixions. Like I know they had that those those things in Mexico where they do like crazy shit, where they fucking crucify a guy and they actually put nails through his hands and everything. But yeah, yeah, they would sometimes put it the wrist and sometimes through the palm. But it would just rip out if that was all that, that were holding you up. So there's all those ropes. And oftentimes there's a little pedestal that the guy even stands on at the base. But I think the whole point is that you're supported by your arms and kind of hanging there. And it's hard to breathe. Every breath you take, you have to basically oh, lift that. your body with the breath. Every breath. So each breath becomes harder. Ex you know, And it takes yeah. a day, two days. With Christ... He didn't die from the crucifixion. You know, they 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 lan they stabbed him in the ribs with a lance, right? And of course, he was dehydrated after a whole day of torture anyway. And they were giving him vinegar and a sponge instead of water, so dehydration and blood loss, I guess. Yeah, you just can we talk about fitness? When does that yeah, come we can talk up? About I mean, well, I was so about to talk about Jesus' core. Like, you can't talk about Christ without talking about that fucking core he had. That's true. He was incredibly he was. fit. He was a stout guy. Carpentry is. I've always suspected he was a swimmer. Mm. He, he does I don't think he had to. Bod. I yeah, he, he never uh... had to. <laughs> That's actually a good point. <laughs> he was a cheater. He had a, a, a <laughs> walking bod. But, uh, so uh, fitness. What did you want to yeah. jump off with? I, I guess we do an update every week. Um, I'm, I've been really disciplined this week in terms of diet. Not wildly successful in terms of weight loss. I'm, I'm down seven pounds. And uh, from last week's PKA, that's a pound down, which is good. But I know that I'm barely it. I'm at like 213.8 or something like that. And I just ignore decimals. And, uh, um, and also, I hit seven down on like either the day after the last PKA or, or that Saturday. So for me, I've been at the same weight for almost a week. And that's just where I am. But on the other hand, I've been eating d with discipline and I've been more active. So I feel like I didn't really fuck up and cheat a lot. I just didn't have wild success, whatever. I'm down a pound from the last PK. If that happens every week, I, I guess I'm fine. Well, yeah, you're trending down. Like yeah. at least even staying at the same weight, isn't like a relapse. You're still not, you know, gaining weight, but it is disappointing. I know what you mean when you like feel like you're doing so good. And like five days later you weigh yourself and you're like, God damn it. Like, well, yeah, is, I, 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 I don't know. It just seems seems like it goes in bursts sometimes, and I'm sure that has to do with like water weight that you lose. Where like you like one like over the course of one week you lose like four pounds, and over the course of the next week you lose like half a pound, or maybe I'm just wildly yeah. inconsistent. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but I so I've been like my behavior has been good. Oh, I bought a kettlebell. It's not arrived yet. I bought it off Amazon today, so I'm getting a kettlebell. I am. Um, I didn't know what weight to get, but I found an adjustable one. It goes from, I think, 16 to 40, or if not, it's like 16 to 36, something like that. And uh, I think Taylor's stronger than me, and he said 35 was pretty heavy, right? That was the first one you got, 35. 
So I yeah, was I like, got, oh. I have two 25s and two 35s, and I'm getting a 50 when I feel like I can handle that for the God like damn. overhand stuff. Well, anyway, I, 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 if I recall correctly, your first one was the 35. So I was like, well, my first one might be like a 25 or a 30, and this will give me a little growing room and whatever. So I'm adding some kettlebells into the routine. Um, try to look That's better good. in a tight shirt. I mean, you never saw a fleshlight with a big labia, did you? <laughs> not once. Not once did you see a fleshlight with two gigantic butterfly <laughs> lips fucking laying askew on the outside. No, not one motherfucking time. But they're usually not There's full innies either. Ha! They almost always are. I, I, that's just because it saves on rubber. Always are. They're almost always perfect innies when you get a flashlight. There's, there's, there's no, there's no meat hanging out of that bitch. There's a little labia on them. I, it, it's, 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 it's the tiniest head. bit, the tiniest bit. It's an innie labia, super tiny on those things. I'm just saying, Woody's mom. I have been, <laughs> I have been sticking to the the workout stuff pretty good. Definitely keeping the workouts going regularly. Not so much the diet, or at least not you know, the diet. Like can get real bad sometimes. I uh, last night I was telling Taylor at four thirty in the morning. I got the I got a hankering for peach cobbler. So I you know I I, I whipped up a peach cobbler at four thirty in the morning, and uh, it turned you just, out like the, your life as far as making a po- cobbler at four thirty is just oh badly. I was so like, hungry. Like, I, I feel like Kitty is Seinfeld coming out and you're kramer in the kitchen making a peach cobbler and she's like kramer what are you doing in the kitchen it's 4 30 in the morning and you're like jerry it's peach season peaches, jerry you know <laughs> it's peaches, jerry they're only good to the fifth you know <laughs> i gotta get these made it's papaya exactly. season have you tried the papayas you know yeah <laughs> uh kitty, kitty is just as like i don't know <laughs> her sleep schedule is, is like the same as mine and the, the, you know she she was like no i don't want any peach cobbler but have fun you know, there's plenty of nights where, like, 3.30 in the morning, I'm like, do you want me to cook this or do you want me to cook that? You want french fries and burgers at, like, 3 in the morning? And she's like, yeah, I do want french fries and burgers. <laughs> and I'll cook them up. But uh, but last night, I, I cooked up that peach cobbler. And unfortunately, it was a disaster. I used the wrong flour, and I had to throw it all out. Um, but I, I've been trying. do you wake up feeling rough when you eat, no. like, a burger at 3? No. I never wake up feeling any worse or any better uh, because of anything I've eaten uh, I've, or drank the night before. I've never noticed that at all. Like, I always wake up and I'm just like, all right, we're good to go. And as long as I get a fucking cup of coffee in me in the next, if I were to like get up and not shower and drink my cup of coffee, that's a fucking shit day. I'd rather not live that day. I, like, 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 I don't want that day. I, like, like that day's, that day's trash. If I can't wash my face and drink a cup of coffee, then, then what's the point? I, I, I don't want to exist in that world where there's not a shower and a cup of coffee when I wake up. But as my long sleep, as there is, I'm good to go. My sleep schedule has been good. Like since I got that BPAP machine, I don't know when that was, like two months ago almost, month and a half ago. Uh, my sleep schedule hasn't been this reliable since I stopped working at Cisco. So I, that's, that's good. good. You always feel better when your sleep cycle is on. You don't feel like you wasted like a whole day. Like even if, if you wake up at like noon and you didn't have anything to do anyway, I always still get the feeling of like, well, look at you. Ah. Couldn't be bothered to wake up like in the a.m. at the very least. That's because then, you're not taking advantage of your 3 a.m. time. Like there are some times at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. <laughs> I'll do stuff, though. Like I'll come up with something to do at 2 or 3 a.m. I'll be like, you know what? I should do that. And then, like, I don't know. I'll clean the basement up or go wash my car at 2 in the morning. I do all kinds of crazy shit I'm late at night. I'm sleeping four hours out. a day, Jerry. I- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Da Vinci. I 20 get, minutes I, every I, I sleep 20 minutes every three hours. Fine. I like Newton getting up early. Sleep an hour and 20 minutes a day? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, like, get up, have breakfast, exercise, like, do a thing, maybe accomplish a thing. And then it's only, like, 1030 in the morning. And that that to me is really neat. Like when, when I when I live a part of my day, and then there's a lot more day still to go. I like that. I like that too because then, like, if you do take a break and it comes around to like three in the afternoon, you don't have mm-hmm. to be like, "Well, aren't you a waste of space?" You can be like, ah. "Well, I got up and I got stuff done, so <laughs> not totally." No, nah, I like I like starting that day late. It's it, it's almost like there, every day is a journey up a hill. And if you sleep late, somebody else carries you halfway up the fucking hill. You wake up. <laughs> Holy shit, I'd see the top. There it is right there. I'm just going to jog right on up there. Right, yeah. ah, God damn, it's five. I could use a little 45-minute nap. You're like a very yeah. lazy Sisyphus. Yeah. <laughs> recharge here. 
I'm going to recharge, and by the time I wake up, hell, it'll be getting dim outside. I also Jeez. like when it's 7 p.m. Like, for me, usually at, like, around 7 p.m., it's like, you know what? No more is getting done today. From this point forward, I do nothing but fuck off, right? That might be the internet. That might be watching a movie. That might just have family time or whatever. But uh, I rarely get a lot of work done at night. So something about that is nice when I get to just be like, hey, don't expect anything. I'm done you, now. You flip an off switch. Now, if someone comes to you after you flip the off switch and they need not just some garbage taken oh. to the outside, not just could you open this jar of pickles, if they need you to like go get tools and clothes on, like your socks too, not just your shoes, because this is gonna take a minute. If they need some shit done, like like how 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 shitty is that? That happened two days ago. It, it, it so the bedroom doors they're very heavy, uh, and there's there's two of them, and so they're heavy enough that they take four hinges instead of the normal three. And my wife is like, this part fell out of the door, and it's the like cylinder that goes through the hinges. Um, and this one's weird in that it doesn't have a cap on it. There's like two caps so the cylinder can fall out. And uh, anyway, I'm like, oh, and I go and look at it and I see the parts and I'm like, this is a daytime job. And she's like, I just want to know that the door's okay. I was like, you come back to me in the daytime. I'll look at it. And then it was just like, like I am, I am shutting this shit down. I am not doing your, it is like 9 p.m. We know I'm not working now. You, you don't you don't call 911 emergency services for this horse shit. If it was a fire, I would change the rules. But this a door is a tomorrow hinge, problem. Yeah. This is a tomorrow problem. I there are some problems that take precedent and I hate those problems. Like there sometimes shit will go down and you're like all right, my reality just altered. There's oh. no way not there's no no there's no way I, not to just pull something. on address what just happened and make it the what were you gonna say? Because I've got something like that. Uh, just like a couple weeks ago, where I was making bacon in a pan, and <laughs> obviously there was a bunch of grease in it that I wanted to dump out because I was making a sandwich. And or no, I was just th this is a couple. Yeah, I was just I was just eating an entire package of bacon at this point. I think actually, yeah. I wasn't making a sandwich in this one. So yeah. is this pre diet or post diet? No, this was during diet, and I was like for the day, it was like all right. I'm just going to eat a fuck ton of bacon and I'll stay under my calorie goal and it's enough protein with these shakes, but okay. whatever. So I, I made it bacon. all in the, uh, in the pan and my garbage can was like full of garbage. It needed to be taken out. And oh, I no. wasn't thinking straight at all. I was just out of the oh, zone. No. And so I took my, <laughs> the hot grease and just absentmindedly, this is like fucking two minutes after I'd stopped cooking it. So of course it's still hot. I, I, I took it over, dumped it into the garbage can and immediately it just goes, <laughs> and burns through the entire plastic sack and the sack goes <laughs> and it rips down and then there's trash everywhere in my now bacon grease covered uh, trash can. This is at like 10, 15 at night. Just throw the trash can out the door and, and walk I just back was, in. And I was like, <laughs> I, I like had that thought. I'm like, all right, if I just leave this big pile of garbage and bacon grease in the bottom of the <laughs> of the garbage <laughs> can with this like little you know uh hula hoop of plastic still around the top you know I, I can handle that tomorrow right and i was just like oh man this is gonna be so fucking gross as that hardens and like calcifies oh, no. overnight and, and it glues uh garbage to the bottom and so i just this had to get, scrub lucky. it out and take that under control you could have thrown away the was, trash can that would I be my choice I, I i probably should have because it's just a regular kitchen trash can but yeah, that was There's it was one of those things that like, it was it was it was my fault. And so it's just you know what I mean? It just ruins your night. We're like, you fucking idiot. Oh, Only an idiot does that. And you just did it. Yeah, and when, I think it's worse uh, when Kelly, that. when Kelly and white boy were staying at my house, uh, Kelly, I think she was borrowing one of my cars and she was backing out of the driveway at my at my other house. And she backed over where the water line was, like where the water meter was, the water box. And she crushed it and broke the main water line that goes in the house. And it's just spraying water. And I'm like, ah, well, this is my evening now. This, there's no not doing this. I can't even take my shower after the day of work without, without addressing this. And so I'm just in a hole with a hacksaw for an hour. It wasn't her fault or anything, but it was, it was, it was totally something that had to be fault. I, That's I, way worse than the bacon I, piece. You, I don't think you ever saw that drive. You had to back like up a hill, up a concrete driveway, and then you had to cut your wheels twice and kind of – it was a it was a not an amateur driver kind of backing up thing and not I don't know her her driving history I didn't blame her at the time there's I a don't. there's an AMA question well, that I, kind I'm of ties saying, into fitness Kelly's a wonderful person I like her a lot uh, but she is responsible for the things that she drives into right we all are 
yeah, I, but, but but this is this is yeah. like at my at my house in my car, and she did, she, did, she just didn't know it was there. It, it, it's 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 something that anybody could have done, so I didn't care. Hmm. There's an AMA question that kind of ties into fitness here. Hmm. Of uh, oh, I should really fucking find. Oh yeah, what are some your kettlebell routine? Like I, I feel like it's a cheat sheet, and it would save me lots of time compared to learning anything on my own. Yeah, I'll just I'll just type it out to you. But like speaking yep. of the working out, I'm I have worked out at least three times a week for like an hour, hour plus, and I haven't missed one yet. So I've been going like it's six weeks now, and I haven't fucked up. Wait, it takes you an hour to do your kettlebell routine? Uh, it like about like if I'm really really quick with it, like forty five minutes, fifty minutes, but usually like an hour. I might have to work up to that. I might take all of your set recommendations and divide them by three. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fucked. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it, I feel really uh, exhausted afterwards. Because, like, you know you got a good workout yeah, when, like, the last thing that I'm doing is only, like, another set of ten push-ups. And by, like, eight, it's just, like, shaky and so difficult. And it's, like, it's it's like a... It's a weird, like, juxtaposition of feelings there. And, of course, people who have been working out for a long time are like, no shit, idiot. Yeah, this is why we've been saying we like doing this. But like that feeling afterward of like kind of feeling shitty and sore, but it's a good shitty sore because you're like you did it to yourself and it's good for you. I'm proud of yourself. But yeah, I'll send that to you. And uh, oh, the I question linked you to a pretty uh, good one. Yeah, I, that's not the one I'm doing, but I'm sure that's a good one too. But uh, yeah, I haven't missed a workout yet. Thank you. At least three a week for six weeks, and uh, the diet's been been good for the most part. On the weekends, I cheat some, but not too bad. I need to get better with that. But um, the question they had was, what are your some what are some of your favorite healthy slash low calorie meals you guys have discovered since you started your fitness regimen? And the best one I have is uh, BLTs with turkey bacon. And as long as you don't expect turkey bacon to taste like real bacon, it's pretty good. It's still meat, you know, and you can you don't have to eat nearly as much of it to get all the protein that you get in regular bacon. So it's like lower calories, never had higher it. protein per calorie. And I just, and if you get great tomatoes, I've been getting my tomatoes at Whole Foods because credit where credit's fucking due, their tomatoes are better than Walmart's, you know, so I'll pay the extra 60 cents. But those are really fucking good tomatoes they have there. But, um, and then just regular, like, I don't know, I bought kids bread because apparently to buy adult <laughs> bread in the, the section, you have to be willing to eat like 160 calories a slice for bread and then it's like this is a 600 calorie turkey sandwich like jesus christ so i just got kids bread which is 80 calories per slice which still seems like quite a bit for bread i don't know but yeah that's a really good low carb or low calorie snack that i recommend highly i've been completely avoiding the bread thing it's part of keto and and i just do bread substitutes like sometimes i have a salad so it's not really a substitute sometimes well, I'll use like a pepper as the container instead of bread. Just like put whatever you're going to have in there in, in, in a pepper. Um, but nothing I eat is actually good. <laughs> you know, really. Wait, what are you what are you putting in the pepper? Uh, I don't know. Like uh, sometimes like it, my wife might make a turkey thing or a tuna and, and um, tomato inside of a pepper like mixed. I, whatever. I don't, I don't know about the tuna. That... Tuna I think is have... one of the better things you can eat. Yeah, tuna is pretty good. I just don't like but, um, not canned tuna very much. What what I've accomplished thus far is I've lowered my food standards. You know, things that I used to turn my nose up as flavorless and not filling, I now think this is my life and I'm okay with it. <laughs> I, I, and, and another thing, I, I have a certain kind of food snobbery that I've accomplished, right? Like, like I'll see bread or sugars and be like, no, that doesn't belong in this temple of mine. You know, your, your shitty body might be an amusement park, but this is a place of worship, uh, or at least it aspires to be. So, yeah, I, I look at, uh, naughty foods and just think I'm better than that. I like yeah. shredded chicken. Uh, uh, I, I like. I, I want my chicken to taste like something. I think chicken is 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 a good like. Chicken's a lot like tofu. It doesn't really taste like anything until you put stuff in it and make it taste like something. Chicken's a texture, if you ask me, as far as foods go. So like, I whatever you do, you should, you should try to put as. This is me talking to the the audience as far as healthy snacks go. I think grilled chicken is a really good one, but you got to like get some flavor inside of it one way or another. Um, lemon pepper is a really good way to do that. Uh, you just put lemon zest um, and lemon juice and pepper on there, and it's really tasty on the grill. Um, another good way to do it is to use uh, chicken thighs 
instead of breast because chicken thighs you get more flavor because it's dark meat yeah you i don't like, like the dark meat no what? only white meat only white meat i don't eat dark that's, meat. Anything. that is baffling to me like i like all Racist. meat but like yeah i won't i I, I, I will not eat dark meat if it's if it's uh I, I don't really like meat on a bone either uh there's a lot of things i won't eat i don't eat most pork um you know, yeah, most of those things. Not into pork that. Pork is excellent. I, my what wife has a seasoning she pork. puts on the chicken. I, I can't tell anyone what it's called, but it's not just salt. It's some sort of seasoning. It makes it a little salty, a little hot, a little – it's good in some way. Yeah, Better. I like putting the whole chicken in the slow cooker, um, cooking that. And then it's just like fall apart like tender chicken. And I like getting that out with two forks and shredding it up and, you know, making sandwiches with that or wraps or another, with that. Or another uh, good meal is you just get one pepper. of those rotisserie chickens from the grocery mm-hmm. store. That's just already cooked. And then you what you do is you go home and you put on a show like Last Kingdom and like it's you know, they're they're having their <laughs> feast and you're like, Oh, oh, oh yes, <laughs> I am with you, sire. And you eat your you know thing at the same time. It's a good I've even got the Viking cup. I've got a big cup that's made out of like uh I don't know what, what it's made of. It's like a I'll, I'll find a link to it. I, I try to drink out of it, but it tastes awful. <laughs> for lunch today. I had been having salads for lunch with chicken in it, which I kind of like. And today my wife was like, hey, even easier still, I could just like shred up cold cuts like deli meat. Like that, ham? It was, I hated it so much. <laughs> I, like, I, just, I, I hated it so <laughs> much. Oh my God. Like, like sometimes I, I eat like, like a nice meal and a pepper and stuff. And I think this isn't bad. This is a nice healthy lifestyle that I could sustain. Other times I have like fucking lettuce and cold cuts mixed together in some abomination and it's like this is my prison woody you got yourself here this is how you get out this is poor meal planning you guys uh, yeah yeah that's she, a pretty cool she had cup. just gotten back from the dentist or something oh, i'm in on you not her <laughs> uh, <laughs> you uh, gotta take you gotta take some of the response wait, you're like ah, no, 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 i don't, I don't do my meal my planning shit. i just I, <laughs> I'm more of a manager in this situation. <laughs> You're like, I don't well, that be too hard awesome. on her. She'd had a long day. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, motherfucker. You got to get on YouTube and find some shit you want to eat. <laughs> Sometimes I send her pictures. Yeah, Mostly, just... though, it's stuff I wouldn't eat anymore. I like to, um, uh, one thing, like, like, that's what I do, like, is I get on YouTube and I find the things that I want to eat. And if someone else is going to cook them, then I'm like, hey, let's watch this video together. This is what I'd like you to do. Um, but mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's how I pick most of the things. I that's do. what I do with Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> and you blame Jackie on that, too. This is a horrible selection. You know, to, to <laughs> but, yeah, well, we're all sticking to the fitness thing. Hopefully, everybody oh, out there yeah, is losing weight. Do you know? Um, I'm, I haven't weighed myself since Tuesday when we talked about it, so I don't know. I'll have to do, because I'm only doing it. I'm mostly weighing like one day a week on Sunday. I'm around 185. Oh, how much have you put on total? Uh, I was about 181, 182 at the start, and about 185 right now, all the time. Um, don't weigh any less than that any time now. So, it's mm. good. Good for you, man. Yeah, I, I should be easier on myself. I, I so if I, dude, I was. Doing the math, like, all right, if I lose a pound a week, which apparently is about a, a reasonable expectation for a guy of my size, um, it's it was October 26th when I hit my target weight. The fuck? That seems like a really long time from now. And there's some consolation in the fact that, you know, come midsummer, you'll be halfway. Like, you know, it's not like nothing happens till October. Yeah. But uh, I was just like, God damn, like, I feel like, the amount of weight I want to lose is huge. And do you ever go on those like calculator sites where like I've done that before where it's like calorie calculator and like weight loss projection or weight gain projection or whatever. And you put in your stats of like your, your height, your weight, your, your sex, your, uh, calories. And then you like hit go and it'll say like, you'll reach your goal of 190 pounds in, 11.2 11.2 weeks at this rate. And then you, I start fiddle fucking with it and be like, all right, but what if I ate, what if I ate 820 calories a day? What if I ate that many? And it's like, uh, usually it just says like, we cannot recommend eating 820 calories a day, but if you were to eat 820 calories a day, you would reach your goal in four weeks. And I'm like, boom, that's what we're going to do. And like it, I don't know. I feel better losing weight this way, even though it's much slower than I did when I was just, crashing weight 
it, for sure. But you know, I, I should have my pool in June. So to get the pool in June and the body in October is a mismatch that I that I can't be in love with. But it's my life. That sucks. Winter is like a a coma where you don't even consider like I should be getting in shape for summer until it's way too late and you're like oh fuck spring is here well the ship has sailed I'll get them next winter you know like <laughs> that <laughs> that kind of mentality is so easy to adopt <laughs> uh, well I don't know step by step I'm out there exercising I'm, I'm eating right uh, it's fucking fat cells can only hold out for so long they're bound to lose if I keep I- it up I'm so fucking, fucking hungry. Fucking banana cream protein powder. And it's horrible mm. because it looks, <laughs> the fucking packaging looks exactly the same as vanilla. Can you not make it at least like the, the flowing liquid? Like put a big <laughs> banana in it and make it yellow. It's unacceptable. I'm not. I'm gonna a throw guy, it away. I don't want it. A personal trainer reached out to me and and said he would help me come up with a meal plan and do some exercises and stuff like that. I haven't replied to him because I'm like, I don't know. There's something wrong with me. I'm like ah, you know. I could never take up an offer. I'm sure he didn't really mean it. He probably meant it. He wrote a card. He, he's a trainer like as his profession. And his handwriting is immaculate. Like, out of... I, 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 we, dude, so my daughter's boyfriend was here at the time for prom. We were all doing, like, handwriting analysis to see if it was a font. And, like, he had just printed this or something. And, and uh, my, um, my address has the word deer in it. And we're like, look... Those two E's are not identical. Like this isn't a font. This is this is handwritten because his handwriting was just outrageously good. He's anyway. sitting there writing the letter like one of those monks with like the, the <laughs> easel in front of him and that paint, like little tiny paintbrush I, doing the I'm calligraphy. Write it down. I, I, but is that? Uh, let me text my wife and see if she'll bring it to me. I don't know if she has it or what. You should take him up on his offer if. Well, I mean, if you want to, but really you should like it, it. I'm sure he meant it. Worst case scenario is you're like, ah, I'm not going to do that. That's too hard. <laughs> like, and, then, and that's it. <laughs> One of the issues, I think he wanted me to call him. Mm. And uh, something about that was like, like, how long is this call going to be? How nah, do we, man, we don't we don't do call. voice. That's, yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah, can yeah, I text yeah. you? <laughs> you know? yeah, it's going to be a little text too based relationship. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, I said, can you bring the fitness letter? She said, what? The card with the handwriting. She'll know what I mean. Yeah, we were all like carefully d- dissecting it. I need to show you that handwriting. It was outrageous. Oh, she said, okay. Maybe she knows where it is. But um, yeah, so and, and, and he's a fan of the show. Like, he said he was a fan of the show and of my content, and I thought that was nice and everything. And then he said, "I'll make those dry fit shirts look good on you." And I'm like, "Ah, he's a real fan of the show. Like, <laughs> like he's actually he remembers that." So that's uh, an eye opening thing. That's another way to solve shame. That's really useful is to buy uh, uh, workout clothes that are just like the ones that you see on those incredibly handsome mannequins at Dick's Sporting Goods. You you buy those and then you'll be feeling good about yourself and then you put it on and you stand in the mirror and you look at your you look at your fat fucking back and you look at your your, your punch belly like in it and you just you just stare for a bit. <laughs> I like you how you like, get a little closer to the microphone when you insult just, yourself. You're, 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 you're fat fucking you guys fat see these letters? fucking idiot. Belly. Yes. Can, can you see how outrageously good his handwriting is? Yeah, it's quite good. I like it. I like it a lot. Dude, yeah, I. Two thumbs. My up. handwriting is always terrible. My thumb kind of hurts. It's even worse right now. But that looks um, like a letter that you would pick up in like uh, Skyrim as it goes like, <laughs> and then it's yeah. open in front of you, and you just read the you know, the very fancy calligraphy yeah. letters. Yeah, that, anyway. yeah, that's quite good. It's written in print, which is I, I for some reason I expect a cursive, uh, like a calligraphy style thing. But it's just a really nice font of print. It's nice. Yeah, the, we were theorized like the uh, Hope's boyfriend was like, maybe he does the thing with the ruler where he writes out the lines and he races the lines afterwards. And that's how all the like things are so wavy and even like not wavy and evenly spaced. And um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing for the listeners. This isn't written on notebook paper. It's written on a blank piece of like paper paper without lines. And, and he's written a very well formed p- paragraph or so there that looks nice as well. Like it's it's. Yeah. Letters are all the same size without the fucking lines. You know, you can get out of whack pretty quick. Yeah. 
<sighs> so anyway, I, I suppose I, I should call him. Oh. Sorry. I was going to say, I'm just like having that memory back to fucking like elementary, middle school and shit where like you'd run out of space at the very bottom, but you didn't want to go to another piece of paper and like the words start like turning into like a caterpillar down the edge of the paper and stuff. Yep. <laughs> and the reason that King Henry did not invade in 862 is because he didn't have enough men and also he was sad. Uh, the end. Uh, you know, partial credit. Oh, good. You know, like, I'll take it. Good for something. Oh. All right. I think I have one more advertisement to uh, just let everyone about. Sweet. Go on. A little word from Bull and Branch. If you've ever stayed at a luxury suite or five-star hotel, you, f- you feel like you could sleep forever. You know how good you feel in those sheets. I want to tell you about a great brand, Bull and Branch. Their sheets turn your bedroom into a luxury suite. You've never, you're never going to want to get out of bed again. What makes, uh, what makes these sheets unique is that each one is crafted from 100% organic cotton. That means Bull and Branch sheets not only feel incredible, but also look amazing. You're getting twice the comfort and style at half the price. You'll love these sheets. Try them for 30 nights and see for yourself. If you're not impressed, return them for a full refund. Uh, anyone who sleeps on Bowling Branch sheets loves them. That's why they have thousands of five-star reviews. The New, York, the New York Times, Forbes, and the Wall Street Journal rave about them, and even three U.S. presidents have Bowling Branch sheets. Go to BowlingBranch.com uh, today, and you'll get $50 off your first set of sheets, plus free shipping when you use promo code PKA. That's $50 off, plus free shipping, right now at BowlingBranch.com, B O L L and branch.com promo code pka that's what i've got on my bed right now i've got like the 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 pka sponsor duo you know every night when i go to sleep i got the casper mattress wrapped in the wonderful bowl and branch sheets yeah they really pillowcase. really are good like I, I put the bowl and branch sheets on a little while ago and they're fantastic i feel like such a poor having been using those like t-shirt <laughs> sheets and yeah, whatnot poor. Yeah, a poor. A poor. And like and I I'm proud to say I'm no longer a poor because I've, nope. I've boosted myself up to Bowling Branch sheets. They accidentally B-O-L-L. sent me uh California king size sheets and I was like, "Chiz, they sent me the wrong sheets. Can you get me the king size?" And he's like, "Ah, I thought you had the California king." And I'm like, "No, that's Woody." And Woody was like, "Yeah, that's me." So they sent me the king size sheets and they sent me this thing to send them back the California king size sheets, but well, I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so now what I've if got, I sent you a thing to send them to me? <laughs> oh, well, that could be uh, that could be arranged quite easily. <laughs> Wait, uh, did uh, my you wife, got... I have a I'm... California King, and my wife loves those sheets so much. Like, I like the sheets, but I, I guess I, I just don't have fine tastes. I don't know. I'm like, yeah, these are nice. What'd you say? I have a second set for you. <laughs> she like is legit like can we make clothing out of this for bumming around the house and she's been brainstorming on on it's how to excellent just cape material. exist in these sheets Ooh, all the time. Bowling branch That's... capes coming this fall. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. She would like that. I think they might You'll sell. feel like you never left the bed. Oops. Yeah. I don't know. I need to check again. Perfect marketing campaign <laughs> for it. <laughs> Everyone has spent all day in bed. Now you can with Bowling Branch brand capes. <laughs> Who cares if everyone thinks you're a maniac from the past you know? <laughs> or some sort of vampire hunter because you'll be comfortable all day. You know? <laughs> She's good. She came in here and modeled capes one show. I know. I remember that. That was funny. You should get credit for that. She should. That's yeah. what's happening right now. She's getting giving, credit for it. I'm giving her credit for, for the I don't know if this is the woman, but she'd want that. I think she'd rather have. But she doesn't listen to the show. Right. No, it's just the mom that we got to yeah. be wary of. And she has no position on capes, as far as I am aware. It's strictly, <laughs> unless they're uh, lady capes, as I, we're now going to call them. Oh, you know? uh, <laughs> lady drapes. The drapes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, my internet connection's still down. I'm glad we went and tethered off my phone and such. Otherwise, it just wouldn't have happened. I'm glad it worked. We were, uh, we were sitting here, myself, Taylor, and our, 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 our guest. And Taylor was like really sweating. Getting, he's, he's really upset. I could tell. And I, he's like, I just, I just hope the recording worked. I, I would have to start over. We have to start over the recording because you know that's two hours in, and and, and I, I just don't. I'll be really mad if if if, if we don't have the recording. And I'm, and I'm like, well, it sounds like his internet went out. So probably he's still recording himself right now, doing kind of. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he, he's like, yeah, you're right. Kyle talked to me off the edge of that. 
<laughs> I was sitting here because, oh. like, I, I, oh, I just immediately, like, my face got hot. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. You better not be fucking gone, you last two hours. And then Kyle had to be like, no, no. Well, he's still recording. Like, he obviously wouldn't lose it if he's still recording on his end. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> yes, 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 you're right. I'm like, oh, 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 he wouldn't lose it if it was on his end, would he? Oh, of course not. Oh, oh, Kyle, thank you. And then I, I felt a little better about it. But that was like the level of elation that I felt. Yeah, uh, I could tell. You got some early morning we- meetings, I think, on Friday. So, so Taylor's never looking to stay on up to two or three a.m. with us. <laughs> yes, I, I don't have time for uh for fries at four thirty. Or, uh, or you had first PKA, yes. but what about second PKA? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, We've had oh, one yeah, guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny how like the first time through things are funny. It's great. There's a good vibe and everything. You tell a joke, like like try to do a replay of anything that worked really well. The magic is gone. Like if we were to like recover that guy with the tinfoil head or or whatever, like it just it would be terrible and yeah. ruined and the whole like and, uh, uh, turkey guards or whatever assaulting all those people, like having yes. to like fake that again, like it's it sucks because it, it, it the worst is like not knowing that the listener can tell you you're faking it a bit because they can, but it's knowing that the people who are laughing at what I'm saying and what I also said the same thing forty minutes ago. They also know that I'm saying the same thing, you know, and so it's like, oh, like I feel like a I, piece of shit. I remember we, like back in the day, you do dual comms or something, right? And uh, you know, everyone's new to YouTube in the COD community at this point. There'd be tech errors and stuff. It seemed like a third of my dual comms were ruined. So then, like me and the other guy, um, it's like I guess we do it again. And he's like telling a joke he did before. I'm fake laughing at it, and I'm like, man. Not only is this not as good as the first time around, but now you know that I have the like I could be fake about it, and and it's like I've exposed myself. Yes. Now and, you know and, the level to which I can fake it. Y- yeah, and it was just like man, like it it, it, just, it was terrible. It'd be better to do a whole different conversation, even if it was worse, because that's better than the first I one. I feel like right? some people probably could have benefited from that, right? And then you get a second take. There was one time. I did a, a a dual com with someone, and this is ancient history. But I said something I regret about another YouTuber, and I faked tech issues. I'm like, ah, the whole time my voice wasn't recording. We need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> this time I won't say regretful things. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, oh no, it's all been lost. Oh, and it's being dragged to the recycle bin. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Someone's remote controlling my computer. <laughs> this is some swordfish shit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> John Travolta's in here. Uh, uh, it was a dual cub I did with Saspen Jr. Uh, some people might remember him, but uh, yeah, I just I, I totally lied and said that there were tech issues and we had to do it again. Yeah, I saw that guy Stone Mountain. Uh, he makes Battlefield content. I, it gets suggested to me a lot. Um, He's as, funny. Uh, yeah. He's funny. I wonder if he'd like to be a guest on PKA. Is he funny all the time? I wonder. So, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, you know, I guess we'll briefly cover the Trump thing. It, it's there's a special investigator, a special prosecutor. What, what, uh, what new has happened since Tuesday? I'm not really up on it. Oh, since Tuesday. Um, the senator, whatever. So, of course, you know he fired Comey. Now, there's an acting person there. That acting guy, Rosenthal, maybe? I might have his name wrong. He uh, he, appount- he appointed a deputy, a special counsel is what he's called. And his job is basically just to get to the bottom of this thing. Uh, he was the CIA director under both Bush and Obama. Apparently, both this is W. Both W and Obama were very happy with him. His name's Robert Mueller. And uh, and apparently this guy is the dream choice from Republicans and Democrats to get to the bottom of the whole Russian connection thing. And uh, I want to get this right. It included two things, like the Russian connection and maybe a campaign thing that he, he has going on too. The only downside of it is it happens kind of in privacy like like it used to be handled in these senate hearings out in the open and such 
Now it's like we're going to find out the results a year from now when everything is over. So, uh, uh, but, you know, at, at least the truth will come out. We'll see. The thing, a similar thing happened to Clinton, except I don't think he was a, um, a special counsel. I think he was something else like a investigator. And they started looking, they were with Clinton, this is Bill, they were looking at Vince Foster's death. That's a thing that a lot of people like to say. He murdered this guy, Vince Foster, and some sort of real estate investment trust. And that witch hunt just took like every turn until they eventually found him uh, in adultery. He was cheating on his wife. And that's and and more than that, like cheating on his wife was a problem. But like it was the perjury, not perjury, but lying yeah, in front of Con- it, it is, it's a, perjury when you lie in front of Congress oath, or under maybe oath. It, it is. It, and, and he uh, like kind of obstructed justice. But it was about covering up his extramarital affairs so some people were like, eh, perjury around cheating on your wife is not the same as perjury around like governmental affairs. Uh, you can be your own judge on that. But uh, um, I wonder if this thing I can also see that has argument. the capability of winding and finding Trump guilty of like whatever, bribing someone over a golf course, you know, which is not where it started. So yeah. we'll see what the deal is. But uh, um yeah, now there's a guy investigating Trump, specifically f- starting with the uh, Russian thing. Oh, also, he can subpoena apparently anything. Like, if this guy wants Trump's tax returns, by law, he, they have to turn him over. If he wants any campaign documentation, their emails, all that stuff, um, they can, you know, he, he's able to request it. So, all right. I well, wonder if good. they would like they ever to- subpoena ridiculous stuff. Like, all right, we're subpoenaing Twitter for all of your deleted tweets for like the history of your. <laughs> oh, that's already like that's that. that's already a thing. That's already been. Uh, I, I'm going to say this wrong. They, they like they they cataloged all of his deleted tweets, right, for like perpetuity. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure Twitter has every single tweet everybody's Not ever tweeted. Twitter, but the U.S. government, like like like. Um, I read. I, I know there I are read websites well back. That too, even non-government stuff. No, no, I'm sure Kyle's right. But I think that I don't even know what it is. But there's a domain that like specifically helps you find famous. Isn't there tweets. something like a the Wayback way machine? machine yeah, that shows you internet old web pages. Archive. Yeah, it shows you yes. what the internet looked I like. Just uh, wanted to put it to Twitter. Go. You can go to your YouTube, you know, channel back in like 2011 and see really? like what I've you can see. You, yeah, do it. You can see what kind of like oh, design you, you, you. You you you'll see that old. Remember, you used to be able to really customize your YouTube homepage, like your mm-hmm. home channel page. And uh, have all kinds of designs and graphics and stuff. And, of course, give Taylor credit to some fuckers. Didn't you have, like, really good branding and it was, like, tan and, like, artistic and curvy? Yeah, I had really good uh, channel art because I had someone who, for some reason, liked my stuff and was really fucking good at it. And so for a while yeah. there, I had really good stuff. I remember Woody telling me, like, God, your, your background looks great. And so then when it oh. finally changed and they changed it to the new layout where it wasn't, like, your own page with, like, your banner at the top if you're a partner that says your title or whatever. Like, I was, like, and with, the, like, the column at the side that's got your subscribers, your views, your mm-hmm. fucking when you joined, your little description. I I was like unreasonably upset when they changed that format. I was like, oh, but it's all over. Like, what am I going to do? I don't know why. Taylor, I like, I, I'm making up numbers, but Taylor might have had like 50,000 subs at the time. And his branding and art and such was as good as the million sub channels or better, you know. And and I wanted mine to be good. And all my ideas were kind of like, and I, I hated myself for it, but it was like, huh. How much can I copy Taylor without copying Taylor? <laughs> you know, like, like where, where is the line? He's clearly the answer key. So maybe I'll get like a 93 on this test and still be happy. <laughs> you know, like, like that, that was my like approach to channel. But then people work with me who were also good. But I, I always really liked his because like mine was good, but his had like a class to it. And I'm trying um, to find it on this Wayback Machine. This is neat. I've never looked through this. You never looked at that? No, I've never yeah. like gone back and checked on my YouTube page, but I'll do that another time. This isn't, yeah, it's okay. Not, not yeah. For now. <laughs> Now's not the time to go down memory lane. No, especially when I'm having trouble finding a good goddamn picture of the. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh well. Impatient? Uh, it's asking me. Yeah, I am impatient. You mean you can't just immediately search through the annals of history and provide me with the content I'm looking for? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's neat. 
I, oh. I wonder how big is it, that internet ad boycott? People stopped talking about it. Did it get better or are people just adjusting to it? Internet ad boycott? Oh, like p- advertisers saying, I don't want to be on this channel or that channel kind of thing? Yeah, there's like an ad apocalypse and, and people's ad rates were cutting in more than half or something like that. Chiz found it for Taylor. He can't. He can't uh, not no, look. Is, he wants to see the whole channel. This check-in? Like, <laughs> like when they sent out that email <laughs> where they were like, uh, um, yeah, nothing before 2011 for me. That's weird because my channel's been around since 2010. But uh, I remember when they were like, hey, we need you to put this pre-roll and this post-roll on all of your videos for like the <sighs> oh, like machinima thing uh-huh. where it spun around. And I did it for like, I did it for one video and then I forgot for the next video, and then nothing happened when I forgot. And I was like, I'm just going to not do it again until someone mentions it. And it, uh, you know, six years strong. So. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still with Machinima? Uh, I, yeah, I think, I, I guess I still am. I just, I just don't do anything. So I just kind of a passive thing. Uh, I, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, Machinima, I guess, left me. I mean, I, I guess I could have technically stayed with them, but uh, they changed my like rate or something in, in some extreme way. So, whatever. Uh, I ended up going to Atomic. I don't know. Is Machinima still around? I guess so. Like, if you're with them, they do yeah. their thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if a Titan like Taylor is still booing <laughs> that uh, that organization then they must be around <laughs> like no it was uh it was nice i always thought of myself as machinima as like that uh one of the soldiers of one of like the shitty lords that they only called upon when they were in real deep shit where they're like <laughs> you know call on the rest the small ones make them make them tweet this make them like that you know we were in real <laughs> in real trouble here what will happen if this shitty little channel doesn't like all of fps russia's videos and it was like god damn it like you can't ha- have fps russia like one of my videos like give me a little help but obviously I, yeah there were that. times where i really felt like i don't like get, Sometimes I was treated well. They they had a thing with their like top ten or top twenty channels that got like a special support. Right, a different person dedicated to me, and I was in that group. And then there were other times like getting promoted via, uh, videos where it was like, man, you know, like it seems like you're promoting everyone but me. And like, you know, with the size of what I've got cooking right now, I should be in that group of cool kids. And and every so often I'm doing special effort videos. Like usually they were musical, and. Uh, and I'm not getting any kind of push. I, what I, I don't know. You give a yeah, little. Yeah, I feel you. I just remember at the time the thing that like bothered me was I w- like having my channel like all those Halo live action videos or whatever, <laughs> and it was just like God, because at the time Machinima was so Machinima was so enormous. It was like they just would upload it, leave it on their homepage for three days, and promote it on Respawn and whatever other ones they had. And they would have you know 10 million views or so, you know five million views, whatever, something bananas. And it was, ah, in retrospect, it was just so annoying. When they wanted me to make my channel, because now I feel like your channel's homepage doesn't do very much. It plays a yeah. trailer, but people don't go to it. That's not how they find videos. Back in the day, though, the pre, the like auto play on your channel was significant. Like for a channel like mine, I might get 40 or 50,000 views because that thing is auto played on my channel page. And they would want me to put their shitty Halo videos as my auto play. And it's like, ah, I'll do it, but for like three hours, you know, so I can say I did it, and then I'm putting my own shit back on there. That's all yeah. you get, you know? You, you want me to be that much of a team player? You got to fucking be on my team, too, you know? It can't just be take all the time. Mm. And that's kind of where I felt like they went wrong. Yeah, I didn't care for that. Especially, you know, all the... I, I, I think I put... I bet there's still three videos in my Dropbox from 2010, like, or 2011 or whatever for those machinima things sure, where, war, sure <laughs> wars or whatever yeah where it was yeah, like hey yeah. do you have you have your videos in your dropbox it's like yeah you clearly haven't opened my dropbox because if you did you'd see ah videos in the dropbox like with titles and like all oh, like they're done but, <coughs> yeah after a while i just stopped i, I remember putting them there so i was on the phone with people from machinima i think it was optic something or other and uh Maybe one of the Dubois or something, Aaron Dubois. And uh, 
Anyway, what happened was another network had fired up, and they had offered me a higher CPM. So I was like, hey, Machinima, love you guys. Don't want to leave, but I'm getting this other CPM there. Can you match it? And they eventually had me like fly out there and, and talk to them in person. And in a cube, <laughs> somebody's like they had taken a picture of Benedict Arnold, put my face on it, and pinned the fabric in their cube. And uh, I'm walking around like the Machinima's offices, and it's like, the fuck? Like, th- this is what they think of me here? Those assholes. But more than yeah. anything, it's just wildly unprofessional to to be in a business because at the end of the day it is a business you know and if yeah. you if you're a big pr- performer and someone who is bringing in views for them and then y- you walk through their office and it's a picture of you with like darts thrown in your face or some Dude, shit it's were, like oh yeah. that, that makes it that's a good work environment hooray those guys were running <laughs> that thing we're doing cocaine in the back oh, yeah look at that look at that shit like as i say the word cocaine she is just like they did coke there laugh my ass off I'm like yeah yeah like they did. I, don't I didn't name know any, any of names. Can, and, 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 and I'm not talking about Hutch. Let me just. I, I'm not going to name any names, but I'm certainly not talking about Hutch. Uh, but but yeah, the the higher ups there C were. Dinners. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'll fucking say it. Yeah, he, a lot of coke. <laughs> I, what? what? C Dinners may have a very calm and soothing voice when he's when he's making those videos, but at nighttime he gets all coked up and goes on whore rages as he calls them and. <laughs> Yeah, whore rages. Whore <laughs> rages. So, yeah. like, how do you know that they were doing coke in back offices there? I, it was like it was. It wasn't even back offices. It was very well oh, known that on the, the pictures of Woody. Yeah, were, were, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they take a picture of Woody, lay it out, fucking snort a line, do a rail right off Woody's calf, a picture of it. <laughs> <clears throat> no, um, it was poorly run from the start. The people running it were idiots. They mismanaged millions of dollars, blew millions and millions of dollars, and. Um, like, I remember me and uh, me and Sam X Jaws were when we used to get in these like Skype chats that predate this show. They were kind of the origin of this show. The fact that we would get in those Skype chats and talk. We were always like, "What the fuck are they doing there? They got 140 employees or whatever it was. What do they do? What do they do? Like, give me the job titles of these people." And I've been I've been there a time or two or whatever. And like, I used to defend them. I used to defend. I'd be like, you know what? I'm sure they're doing much more than we realize. It's a <laughs> very complicated. Thing. It takes 140 people just to scrape, um, you know, money off of everyone else's channels. <laughs> you know, but, uh, whatever. I, uh, yeah. And then they didn't defend me back. Yeah. Um, tisk tisk. That, that was a that was a poorly run organization over there. Um, they 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 had. Uh, they had it all in the palm of their hands at one time, and they let it slip right away. I mean, they 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 had so so many uh, like big gaming YouTubers all locked up right on the start, and uh, and they mismanaged. Yeah, they had a damn near mon- monopoly. It. If they like had you taken could that, be with, uh, I was going to say you could be with full screen. You could be. I mean, Yash was a thing. Uh, like I don't know, there were a bunch of choices. Makers was one, but for whatever reason, at the time, if you're a gamer. If you're not with Machinima, it was like you signed with Second Tier. Even though those other ones in in the long run turned out to be like better, but you were Second Tier if you weren't with Machinima. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely the thought at the time. I uh <clears throat> but but yeah, that that was a poorly run organization. It was I don't know, money had to have been uh, you saw the projects that they invested in, and what you saw the the, the decisions they made with content creators that that you know to me and you we were like, well that's Sandy Ravage. Someone should really hang on to him. He is a like like I would have seen Sandy Ravage in the middle of Modern Warfare Two as a real fucking asset, like a guy that mm. we need to be exposing right now when he's red fucking hot to as many eyeballs as we can garner as Machinima as a network. Like Sandy Ravage was so hot at one point. He was so, he, and everybody loved what he did, and it was marketable, you know. And it, and it, it wasn't even personality based. It was just like there's a thing called Sandy Ravage, that isn't necessarily a person. It's just a channel that's fun that gets these millions of views, a quarter million views of him just running around with a shotgun. Uh, there's there were so many talents that they mismanaged, didn't take advantage of, let slip away, um, and then and the money that they did invest, the tens of millions of dollars in projects like Mortal Kombat. Or um, at any number, take take your pick. Uh, the, the the Halo series they did, all that live action bullshit, where they're going and hiring someone else, someone else's product, uh, and, and paying them a premium to to make content when 
They've got they basically, a so they just there. hired a production company, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, what I'm saying is, like, they had, they're like a baseball team with this huge minor league uh, system, and they've got all this fucking talent. But when it comes time to play big league ball, they go and buy like free agents from all the other uh, established networks. It didn't make any sense. It, it, it was then, like, if you're going to make a Mortal Kombat show, fucking stick Hutch in that bitch. Fucking stick Hutch in that bitch at the height of his, uh, of his, uh, you know, uh, YouTube popularity. Uh, popularity, and and like he doesn't make make Hutch like the guy who's under like the one of the masks of like one of the main Mortal Kombat guys. You don't even need him doing kung fu. Just let him make a cameo, and you get an extra million views or something. Like they they completely mismanaged their talent pool, <clears throat> wasted tens of millions of dollars, and uh, it was it, it, they, even that office they had. There was no need for that expensive office right there in the middle of L.A. I. Yeah, you're not saying it, but I'm putting it together. Like, yeah, and some of the people that really did get the push, right? That seemed to be like in the front line. Uh, who was the bad player from Europe? He used to. Th- I don't even know oh, if it was. Oh yeah, a- yeah, 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 yeah. He's an, another old guy, right? Yeah, he used to throw smoke. Ken, Ken, oh, Ken, uh, Ken, Bur- Ken, Bur- Ken, something. Ken, Ken, Burton. B. Ken, Ken Burton. Burton. Yeah. Yeah. He was a, a, the, the junkyard of England. Yeah. Yeah. England's and then junkyard. junkyard got a huge push. And then guys like Sandy Ravage and me got nothing, you know. And and I was popular, you know, like it, it, I would look at <coughs> random days and stuff and be like, oh, you know, I'm the 65th largest or fastest growing channel right now. I was never in the top 100 largest. But as far as like fastest growing or most <laughs> views, I, 60s was kind of my home. And, uh, you know, that's pretty good. Like, by comparison, yeah. 50s is where you'll find Casey Neistat most of the time. Like, you know, 55th most views. And, of course, everything's bigger. And, you, like, you know, they were every foolish. generation every, leapfrogs every step of the, way. the previous is accomplishments. But every step of the way. And, and that was very early, like, like with the machinima stuff. It, you know, because Modern War, <clears throat> Call of Duty, especially uh, Modern Warfare 2, I guess, made machinima. Like that game made Machinima as much as it made so many YouTubers, as much as it really blew up. Uh, well, I guess COD Four had already came and, and mm-hmm. made Activision a lot of money, but it was just so successful that that all ships rose with the tide of that game. And Machinima before then had been a small thing, and guys like Junkyard <clears throat> and Ken had been longtime loyal guys that had been working there, and I think that loyalty. Uh, was paid back to them in fucking spades for like two years after their time had clearly passed. You know, there were guys who had been doing other kind of content, machinima content uh, in some cases, and then all of a sudden the new norm is Call of Duty commentary, which requires you to either be really fucking good at Call of Duty or be funny or quirky or interesting or smooth or informative or something. Your voice has to add a thing to the gameplay most of the time unless one is just so fucking good that the other doesn't matter and i use my voice to hope that nobody even (laughs) paid attention to the gameplay yeah because then it would betray that it was not good (laughs) yeah (laughs) i'm so i because people like to listen to you uh just bullshit around I, i was always surprised that you didn't like do something like Lefty did, but not quite so pretentious, like go in your backyard and smoke a cigar while you talk to the camera, something like that, some kind of vlog. Yeah, I should have done that. May, mayhaps. Who knows what the future will hold? I've <laughs> still got my machinima contract, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in perpetuity. In perpetuity. I haven't. Yeah. They probably have to pay you two dollars. They probably have to pay you a two dollars CPM, whether they like it or not. They they would. Yeah, what I'm sure the- they do. <laughs> what is the current state of gaming on YouTube? Like, I I see I PewDiePie no live stream. I see that. It seems like a lot of gaming has moved to Twitch. Um, I, I mean, we talked before about my work ethic. I used to make two, like, commentated <laughs> Call of Duty videos on above average gameplay a day. And someone was writing, I, I might have saw on the subreddit, I'm not sure, that uh, by today's standards, they've leapfrogged anything I've ever done, that people put out, like, you know, six great videos a day. That's I, bullshit. That's bullshit. I, all right, so I'll tell you who I watch and what they do. Um, uh-huh. and, and and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, like, I, I haven't found the... Because there's so many out there, and I'm not plugged into a network of interconnectivity, <laughs> so I could be missing some guys. <clears throat> but I've mentioned him before. I really like that Acculite guy. It's A-C-U-L-I-T-E. And I really like Jack Frags. Um, they, they both do PC gaming, and they're both very, very good at it. 
Um, those are the guys that I watch. And what, kind, and what are their videos upload, like? like? Is it? Um, half, uh, well, they, um, <clears throat> act, I think they both do multiple games, but primarily what I watch, of course, is Battlegrounds footage. And that kind of lends itself to half hour videos that have like multiple playthroughs in it because, you know, it's a battle royale. You, I've described the game, but each game can last two minutes. You drop in, get in a crazy gunfight. Maybe you win a little, you, you make a little progress, but then you're dead. And it's just a real quick, like crazy shit show. But then your game might be 25 minutes. So he'll mix like 30 minutes of good content together. Both of them seem to. And uh, and I love those videos. But like, so it's, is it just him? Like, uh, what do they used to call it? Not a live com. Live com. Maybe it was a live com. Yeah, it'd be live com style <laughs> stuff where they just take their comments as it's happening and edit it together well, into something. It's a mixture because they both seem to do a lot of different stuff. Sometimes you get Twitch stream highlights, which I which I like. Um, they they play duos a lot, which is two guys or squads, even which is four. And so it's it's live commentary, <clears throat> but it's more like live teamwork. You know, it, it's. There, there's so much communication required in that game already that it's a constant conversation going on about who's where and what's where and like what competitive cod kind of very much so. Um, mm. So uh, yeah, well, I, like I wouldn't the, say that outworks the sort of thing I did. No, you know, I wouldn't either. That's what I was getting at. Is is like, I, and what I what I was gonna say is like the amount of videos that they upload. It seems like one every other day, one every day maybe something like that. It's not twenty videos a week, or I'd be consuming it. It's just good videos from the previous, like good moments from the previous day and such. Yeah, they're both so good that they win the game fairly regularly. Like you know, maybe t five, eight times a night in a play session. Like they're they're often winning. They probably win ten percent of their games. You know, that take take the first place out of a hundred. Um, and so, you know, every one of their clips, there aren't too many of those that I describe that that I usually have where I drop in, I play for three minutes, it gets intense, and then I die. They get really deep into the game. It seems fairly regularly, or at least regularly, to to show it happening two or three times a day, every day. I would bet they just figure out what not to do. That's a big part of it, you know. It, it I only know the game casually, but it, stay away from this section. Don't do this kind of risky behavior. This is you know the baby buffalo stuff that end your night. Sure. Yeah. There's a lot of that going on. Um, they're very good though. There's a there's a huge skill gap. I'm I still suck. I'm still so bad at it that I can get turned on quite easily. I got turned on. I played a game right before I I, I took my entire gaming setup and moved it upstairs so that I could play in my bedroom. And uh, and uh, before I moved it all back down here to do the show tonight, I, I was I got a few quick games in. And like, I mean, there's a guy running in a field right in front of me. And I'm like, ah, I'll get him. And I go, bang, 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 and I hit him the first two shots. And then I kept missing, just bang, 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 and he just turned around and murdered me, and it was oh, what a shame. That happens on a regular basis. That 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 sort of thing happens a lot. Is it because of the mouse skills, the mouse and keyboard skills? Oh yeah, it's just hard to fucking hit him. There's no auto aim in this game, you know. It's right, and the sights are like real life. So he got a holographic sight, and he's 50 yards away and and moving around. It's a hard fucking shot. At least for me, it is. Um, I'll, but those guys I described, their videos, they, they destroy people. That's why it's it's so uh, satisfying to watch. They're just fucking insta-killing people all, all over the map, making long shots with sniper rivals and shit. Hmm. <sighs> what do you think of our guest? To... I liked him. He did well yeah. tonight. I, I, liked his, I liked this appearance better than his previous appearance. I can see that. His best sure. appearance yet, according to Kyle. Brave <laughs> reviews. <Yeah. laughs> you should title it that way. See if it, that's not clickbait at all. You know, I, I meant to ask him. I, 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 I like business stuff so much. <clears throat> and I, like, I often want to talk to, like, a YouTuber comes on, like, how's the channel doing? What are you doing over there? You know, how's the apocalypse treating you? Um, but when, who's the other comedian who invented the scorpion? Uh, he was on that. Like Beast Man, you know, Ninja Warriors before there was Ninja Warriors. He, he seemed to do a lot of comedy things like in these great vacation resorts. What was his name? He's on the show. Oh, that guy that we were talking about with tonight's guest in the interim. What, what the, the John something or another guy? The guest Henson? that we had previously, right? John Henson? John, the Talk Soup yeah. guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Talk Soup guy. Anyway, yeah. what I'm saying is. 
Rogan told the talk soup guy, hey, go on podcast, get your name known. Then you'll be a guy who can like fill up any comedy club. And there's a career in that. You know, it's not impossible to achieve. I wonder if that's the same business model that Hofstetter comes on. He's like, hey, I go on PKA and now I'm in shows and people are like, I liked your PKA appearance more so than their Joe Rogan appearance, more so than their Adam Carolla appearance. I wonder if that's what he's doing. Like, I just like being able to fill up comedy clubs because there's a job security and, and business model there. Well, yeah, it's, it's good business for comedians to be going on podcasts as much as possible, you know, getting themselves out there. There's so many comedians, it's hard to get known. Yeah, so... Or was he coming on to promote his new gig? The land, you know, he had his best year ever, and he also took on like a day job. Like, oh, you know, what's the motivation there? I don't know. That's a pretty good day job, though. Yeah. I bet. I bet he's going to be able to hook his own career quite a bit from that position. Yeah, it seems like it's something to like ton of networking. Like, like if you're going to go on the road, like it's one thing to go up yourself on the road. Like, hey, yeah, I'm Jim and I'm in town. But if you go on the road with like Louis C.K. or something, let them headline. Like, like if you could get. If you could go with somebody who was already good, you, it, it's like, it's like getting to fight the same night as Conor McGregor. If you can network just right and make some friends. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I hope he does well. Yeah, I hope so too. You guys well, want to call it a show? Yeah. If anyone wants to play Battlegrounds with me, not you fuckers, because I know you won't. But uh, but you cool kids <laughs> out there uh, in the world, um, uh, you know, hop on Steam and uh, play with me sometime. I'd love to play some squads with a good squad. Uh, it's uh, that's hard to come by. I like communication. I like people who can shoot. Um, real team player here. Very good. All right. Um, so, Chiz, I guess you'll wrap it up. That's PKA episode three hundred. Any post rolls? I don't think so. <laughs> All right. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. So this time I'm not pressing the button. We could be recording or not. I really don't no, it's 